Hey! What's up, everybody? Oh my god, that was so loud. Hello! Hello, 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 hello! Hope everyone's doing well. We're, uh, finishing... The Ludlock today. It's been a long time. We've been playing this for like, I don't know, like five streams now? Six? I don't know. It's been a few streams. It's been, uh, definitely a few streams. But we're finally finishing it. I don't know how many hours in we are. Can someone remind me? If you don't mind me asking, when are you doing Pokemon Coliseum to again? I actually played it last year, and the videos are just coming out now. Uh, I'll be doing X to Gale of Darkness soon, but Coliseum's done. The video on YouTube is coming out, like, on a weekend or something, though. Of part two. Ah, Have you beaten every single Pokemon game? Pretty much, yeah. But hello! You sold the sh pencil sharpening record? No, I'm actually, like, third or fourth place now, I think. I think I'm third. Uh, so yeah, yesterday, or last stream, we had Mathaldus die deliberately. Um, but also... Xanity. Uh, we didn't realize that in Mogul Platinum, they fixed Fake Out. In regular Platinum, Fake Out has the same priority as Mach Punch, and so we specifically made Xanity outspeed a Pokemon with Fake Out. And then Fake Out happened anyways, and it died. You are second? There's an unverified run that's third. Or that's second. You also forgot that the enemy had a potion so you could have healed? Yes! Well, it's not that I forgot, it's just that it's not listed, and so there's no way to know until they use it. You weren't gonna use them for the Elite Four anyways, right? Yeah, I wasn't gonna use them for the Elite Four anyways, so it, did, it didn't matter. <laughs> anyways, if you don't know what a, a, a Nuzlocke is, uh, a Nuzlocke is you can only catch the first Pokemon of every route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies. You have to name every Pokemon. If you ever white out, you restart the entire game. With it being a Ludlock, there's some additional rules. Uh, Ludwig, big Twitch streamer, came into my chat and said I couldn't do it on the first try, so this is his version of a Nuzlocke. Uh, with his own custom game, like you can see, like, oh, never mind, he's not on the trainer card. But you can see that, you know, look, look, see the shirt I'm wearing. It, we kind of match, don't we? Right? It's uh, it's some, it's uh, it's Ludwig stuff. Yeah, uh, right. Ludwig said I couldn't beat his his challenge at all, and we're on the first attempt. This is attempt one. Uh, I need to release Xanity and Mathaldus, so I think I might go do that. At some point, we should probably go do that right now. Uh, fly to the Pokemon Center. Going strong, we are going strong. Yes. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, go watch any Pokemon video. Yeah. Oh, wait. I ordered food, right? I'm gonna go pick that up. One sec. There's someone at my door. I need to go get my food. I completely forgot I got food. Uh, one sec. Uh, if someone comes into chat, tell them what I'm doing.
sorry that took so long. One sec, I just... I gotta... Give me a sec, I gotta get a, give a bad review to the... To the d delivery person. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry that took so long. Okay, well... Oh, they delivered the food, great. Yeah, how was... The order, it was bad. They did not follow instructions. Submit review. Okay. The order was good, though. It was all good. Okay, good. Sorry about that. Um... So what happened was, um... There's a specific entrance to my building that I need to get food delivered to. And so I say deliver to the specific entrance, and I'm very detailed. So it's very obvious where to deliver it. If they deliver it to any other entrance, it's about a five minute walk. So I had to check two of those entrances before I found it. But I'm back. Where's my headphones? I took them off. I don't know where I put them. One sec. Yeah, so I, so I just had to... I just had to jog for, like, entrances so you guys didn't wait 15 minutes for me to run across every freaking entrance. Uh, usually they're good, but sometimes... So, bad tip. I don't know if I can undo a tip. Oh, good, and it's not a five-minute walk? Well, it's a five-minute walk there and then back. So, yeah, I just jogged. Okay, so first things first, we got to release two Pokemon because two Pokemon died at the end of last stream. I'm so sorry, but we have to get rid of you. Make sure the cutie is actually defeated. Okay, I'll just I'll reload save. Uh, what? Oh, I accidentally changed hotkeys. One sec. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, hey. That's what it looks like without the the game. Don't look. Uh... Is there just like a restart button? Reset. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, it didn't... It didn't save the battle. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I think I have a solution. Wait a minute. Aha. Don't worry. I always do a backup. I always do a backup. The timer's at 51 hours, 27 minutes. Thank you. All right, yeah, the, the save didn't work, but we're good. The sub counter isn't active. No, let me turn that on. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, actually, I need to hide something again. Because the way I capture my uh, DS is not safe for stream. NSFS. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're good. Which Pokemon in this? This is Pokemon Mogul Platinum. But yeah, these are the Pokemon we have left. Uh, that's a joke. That's the Pokemon that we have left after that last battle. We had two Pokemon die. One was on purpose, but we got a good group of Pokemon here. For defeating the rest. I think we have maybe one normal trainer to defeat. So, he wait. I'll, I'll give you a summary of what we have left. Let me double check. So, after we defeat... Cutie, which we are done now. We just defeated Cutie. <clears throat> we have... Barry, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
Uh, I don't wait. Do we not have anything left? We might not have any trainers except for. I think we have six battles. Looks like we have six. The six trainers we have to defeat are Lud Lose, Eamon, Neeper, Slime, Nick, and Cynthia. Lud Lose is the rival. And then all the, the Elite Four members and Cynthia. That's it. So we're going to have to prepare for the Clevin battle, which is Lud Lose in my game. What the f Bro, you got to be kidding me. Um, so our Pokemon can go up to level 72 because that's Eamon's. Because we have a, a, a level cap. I'm gonna eat my muffin while we're talking about this. And maybe take eat this smoothie. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't have alt teams, exactly. Could someone type the game in chat? It's called Pokemon Mogul Platinum. <laughs> so he's a Staraptor with a choice scarf. It's reckless, it has double edge, brave bird, close combat, and U-turn. There's a Heracross. Has a Toxic Orb. It has Guts. Megahorn, close combat, stone edge, and protect. There's an Arcanine with a life orb. With Intimidate. Flare Blitz, close combat, wild charge, crunch. There's a Snorlax with leftovers and thick fat. Body Slam, Earthquake, Curse, and Slack Off. There's a Breloom with a Life Orb. It has Technician. With Bullet Seed, Force Palm, Stone Edge, and Spore. And then there's an Empoleon with a Citrus Berry, level 71. It has Torrent, Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Grass Knot, and Blizzard. So, we need to figure out how to beat this dude. Life Orb, Staff Technician, Bullet Seed. So, I see a, I see a big flaw with this team. I'm sorry about these sounds. Um, <clears throat> he opens up with a Choice Scarf, Double Edge, Brave Bird, Close Combat, U-Turn. If we Choice Scarf him into using, like, close combat or brave bird or double edge. Uh, specifically, like, maybe close combat. Timer, oh yeah. If we bait him into using close combat, and we switch in a ghost type, he is now choice scarfed into close combat, and we have a few turns to set up. So if we could have a ghost type Pokemon that potentially could set up, do we have any ghosts, actually? If we have a ghost Pokemon that could set up on Staraptor, won't he switch? I don't believe he will. And we're allowed to use Bubble now because uh, as long as it doesn't go above level 72. Close Combat does only have five power points, so we'll have three turns to set up. He switches if he won't hit you. You would think that, but he actually didn't in the previous battles that we've done this. So I'm just going to check to see what moves Giratina can learn in this. Giratina cannot learn any setup moves. No. It needs to learn a speed move as well. Because it needs to outspeed things. It can't learn Dragon Dance. It can learn Ominous Wind. <laughs> <clears throat> Calm mind. It needs to have speed, though. Hmm. If it can learn Swords Dance, we might be able to Shadow... Um... Shadow Sneak everything. No, it's not gonna take out Napoleon, no matter how strong it gets. Hmm.
Uh, Crobat doesn't learn any setup moves. Dusk Noir. Did Dusk Noir die? Wait, did Dusk Noir die yesterday? No, it's in our party, right? Okay. <sighs> Bro. Um. <clears throat> okay, thank God. Rightful Air, thank you for the 25 months. Plus special defense minus speed 144. Uh, Crobat can learn nasty plot. Do they have any priority moves? They don't have any priority moves. Wait a minute. Yeah, if we buff its... Oh, man. The thing is, a Staraptor's close combat is going to do so much. Why can't you go over level 72? It's there's a level cap rule. Special attack 87. Nice. I don't think we have any EVs in that though. We could probably max out defense and Speed and see where the special attack gets to. It is only level 50. How did you get all these high level Pokemon? I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Beans. Grinding? No. No, not grinding. So, in the Ludluck, so because grinding is not skill-based, it literally just wastes your time. We have infinite rare candies. Um, you're just given them. But, you cannot go above the level of the next gym leader, or in this case, Elite Four member. So, our Pokemon cannot go higher than level 72, which is Eamon's highest level Pokemon. You can't go higher than the next boss in the, in the, in the game. Basically, so we have a level cap and this actually makes it more difficult while also cutting out the grinding, which is just good Sell them. No, that's not the point of the Ludlock is to just make money. It, the point of the Ludlock is to beat the game um, I think Fantry would be a good thing to bring as like a good backup. They don't have any electric moves uh, except for Arcanine with Wild Charge, which, I mean, Fantry is about the only Pokemon we'd bring to fight it, which sucks. <clears throat> Just sell the Pokemon you won't use, yeah. Will you be using Rare Candies between the Elite Four members? I believe Ludwig did, so I'm allowed to, yeah. Yes, yes. It'd be funny if we just baited close combat. I I, I believe that the Elite Four... <clears throat> there is a good chance that we use Munch quite a lot. Um, because it has Shell Armor, it can learn Amnesia and Curse. So it can't get critical hit. We give it Amnesia, Curse, Synthesis, and then one physical move that hits every Pokemon, and we win every battle. I'm hoping that that works out, but we're gonna have to prep. It's gonna be an insane amount of preparation. How many attempts did it take, Lud? I have no idea. A fair bit. <clears throat> you could use Protect just for Seraptor just to make sure it's going for. Um, so specifically for Staraptor, it's always going to use a move that is, it's going to use its strongest move against you, I believe. If it's a one-hit KO, it will always use that move. So we send in a Pokemon that's like, Steel Rock type, it always uses Close Combat. So we're going to bait Close Combat with that. <clears throat> Uh, 
So, like, maybe we'll bring in um, a, a Pokemon that's useful, but also gets destroyed by a close combat. <clears throat> How do you get Jirachi? It's... It's Pokemon Mogul Platinum. It's a modified version of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, which gives you a wide variety of Pokemon. It's funny how you're asking me how I got Jirachi, but didn't ask how I got, like, all of the other Pokemon. I guess Jirachi is a legendary, so that makes sense. But, like, normally you can't get a Sceptile or a Feraligator or a Dugong or a Swampert or an Anorith or a Lairon or a Manaphy or a Zapdos. But I guess Jirachi is the one that stood out for you, huh? Interesting. Isn't Oregon Giratina pretty fast? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it, it'll be fast enough. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Jirachi is a bit wonky. We just happen to have the right Pokemon for Jirachi, yeah. Apparently, it's uh, it's IVs are some of the worst anyone has ever seen. It's like it's zero across the board, basically, so we're almost never going to use it. Um, is Ludwig's version of Renegade Platinum? I believe on his YouTube video you can download it, yeah. I love how power is called PP. No, it's power points. PP, power points. Thank you for all the subs, by the way. I missed that. Lil Munch, you made it all the way. Yep. Based. Ultra Goon. Uh, Italian, thanks for the 28. Italian with the gift sub to Dennis. Katarina, Sacred Shadow. Uh, Suryukin, Glanny, thank you for the subs. Hmm. When's the next Coliseum coming out? Uh, Saturday or Sunday. I'm not exactly sure, but Saturday or Sunday. Have you used all of the areas? I think so. I think so. What's in box one? This. This is in box one. I love how we have a level two Togekiss. That's so funny. Um, Calculatio. Mm, this is actually kind of the perfect Pokemon to bring in against Staraptor, isn't it? There's no way a U-turns on this, but it's also a pretty good Pokemon defensively. Does this deal with any of the Pokemon? Okay, so this uh, gets destroyed by Breloom's Force Bomb, by Snorlax's Earthquake, by Arcanine's Close Combat, by Heracross's Close Combat, and, and Polion can just Hydro Pump. Okay, we're not bringing that then. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Uh, never mind. It has Sturdy. Ah, good. The worst ability in the game. Yeah, I'm really happy it has the worst ability. <laughs> Sturdy does like nothing until Gen 5, guys. So much prep is like a big puzzle. It really is. Why is it bad in Gen 4? It only stops moves that are one-hit KO moves, like Fissure, Guillotine, Sheer Cold, etc. Only those, like, four moves. Why are you prepping so much? What are the stakes? 51 hours are the stakes. If I make a mistake, these 52 hours were pointless. And we have to do it again. From the start. It's stupid. Isn't that damp? No, damp prevents like explosion. <clears throat> I also lose my pride, exactly. Because this is my first attempt. On my first, like, uh, okay. Well... Technically, this is my second Nuzlocke. But my first playthrough of Sword and Shield was a Nuzlocke, and that was... It was a normal playthrough. I think two Pokemon fainted. Like, literally two. And I'd never played the game before.
Has anyone beat Ludlock on the first attempt? There's probably someone out there that's done it but didn't stream it, I bet. But, not that I know of. I'm pretty sure Pokemon challenges, I think, took three attempts. Like Jan. <clears throat> ah, this is so tough. Okay, what's a Pokemon that can take close combats? PC doesn't play with the shiny claws, that's probably why. Okay, he wasn't smart enough to follow the rules. I guess that's his prerogative, right? Is that is that right? Per pierogi? Prerogative? He does what he finds fun, I guess. Okay, fine, fine, okay. So let's just say that Crobat can take a close combat from a Staraptor, okay? Let's just say that. Does it have good enough moves to take out the entire team? Because it learns Nasty Plot at level 47. But what 100% accurate moves... What 100% accurate special moves can this thing learn? It looks like it can learn... Giga Drain? Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball. <clears throat> okay, so it needs to, with a special move, one-shot a Snorlax. Can we one-shot a Snorlax with Sludge Bomb? Wait, isn't Sludge Bomb physical and Sludge Wave is special, but Sludge Wave doesn't exist? Let me check. Do we even have Sludge Bomb? Did I miss it? Did I pass it? I feel like I passed it. TM36? Damn, you just know the name. Okay, we don't even have Sludge Bomb. I don't know where to get it. Alright, I'm gonna do some calcs. I'm actually- I hate this, this much sweat, but we literally have to calc it. Pokemon calc. Pokemon showdown. Diamond Pro Platinum. Let's figure out the stats. Why are we special attacking a Snorlax? Its defense is lower. <clears throat> Alright, so we have, we don't have any special attack EVs, I think, so we'll be able to figure out the EVs on, or I, yeah, IVs on Snail right now. So let's go Crobat. Uh, I don't think Crobat's stats were changed at all in this, but let me double check. Crobat stats were not changed. Uh, okay. Crobat, a blank set for now. It is level 50 currently. Let's check. So, it's special attack. IV is not bad. It's actually 24. Okay. Yeah, so it has a 24 uh, stat in that case. Oh, Pokemon Challenges beat Renegade Platinum on the fourth attempt. Oh, it was Renegade Platinum and not the Ludlock. Okay, that's different then. That's a completely different thing. That's not fair to compare at all. Renegade Platinum has some changes. They're, they're quite a bit different experiences. <clears throat> and plus, he probably had different rules. That made it more difficult. <clears throat> toxic stall might not work. Uh, Snorlax has thick fat. We're not going to toxic stall, though. An NPC will give you all of the TMs before the Elite Four. 
That's nice. Okay, I no items. Uh, for example, I mean, I can't use items either unless the other trainer uses items. So it's it's uh, most battles you're not allowed to use items. I think he wasn't looking at the dock in Renegade Platinum. If he did it on the fourth attempt, I think he was looking at the dock. There's no way he, he beat it on the fourth attempt without having a document. Okay. Can you use items outside of battles? Yeah, every... every yeah, every, every gameplay. Mm -hmm. Fifty-one hours, yes. He is a self-proclaimed Nuzlocker in the world. Every YouTuber is the best at whatever they do on their channel. That's how you get views. Literally, like... Like, every one of my videos is just like... If I do, like, a playthrough. Pokemon Pro... Poke Pokemon Pro... Um... Two speedrunners... Going against the world champion... Um... Mario speedrunner, I'm clearly an expert. A Minecraft speedrunner. You know, a lot of a lot of times people are just like, speedrunner, they're one of the best people in the world. You know, whenever you upload a video to a YouTube channel, it's obviously how you get views. You know, you you, you gotta I don't think anyone can reasonably call themselves the best at something unless like you've literally like won a world championship like Wolfie. I I, I think he 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 is like I'm so sorry. Um I hate that sound. Jan is literally the best. I mean like like he might be but there's no way to know. Like, I'm sure, like, what's a, what's a Emerald, Kaizo, Nuzlocke, Attempt 1? Yeah, this person beat the Emerald, Kaizo, Nuzlocke on the first try. You know, what if that one random person that has... 178 views... What if they're better and just no one knows about them? There's no way to know. Right? There's no way to know. There's no, like, official rankings. I, I think if you're gonna say something like that, it, it's more accurate to say you're one of the best. And, I mean, that's accurate enough. But in a YouTube video, just say you're the best. No one cares. It's, it's shorter. Everyone knows what you mean. Like, if I ever say I'm the best at something in a YouTube video, just take that as, oh, yeah, w one of the best. And when when I say one of the best, I mean, like, maybe top 1%. Which, you know, out of a million people, isn't actually that great. But, you know, it sounds good. It's, it's, it gets the message across. But, I mean, no one's denying he's actually insane. He's cracked at it. I mean, considering he does it all the time, I'd hope so. A mod for PC, he's a cool guy. Oh yeah, he's super nice. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, so next YouTube video I'm uploading, uh, I'm saying best YouTuber. Exactly. I'm gonna say best YouTuber uploads YouTube video. <clears throat> the Bright Oath, thanks for the Prime Zethos. Thanks for the tier one. Best Twitch streamer, that's me. My next Twitch title. Best YouTuber streams on Twitch.
Anyways, let's let's figure out let's figure out this battle now. <laughs> we're getting we're getting sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. Um. All right, I was doing calcs. I was doing calcs. Okay, so if I give this little dude 242 special attack and 242 defense, and then crank him up to level 70, or yeah, 70 versus a Staraptor, which is level 71. Um, no, wait, we need a, against a, what's it called? Snorlax. Snorlax. Uh, we need to use Sludge Bomb. What's the damage on Sludge Bomb in more recent gens? Is it still 90? Or is it less than that? Uh, we're preparing for the battle right before the Elite Four. There's just one battle with Barry we need to deal with. 90 or 95? It is still 90? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a Snorlax that's level 70. It's a possible 5 hit KO. 71, the Snorlax has leftovers. And Slack off. It's a six hit KO. If I get to plus six. So that's three nasty plots. It is a two hit KO. So we cannot use Crobat. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. We need a Pokemon that outspeeds their entire team, but can also we need to, we need a Pokemon that can set up on Staraptor. No poison type item boosters. I'll give it a item. We'll give it a poison barb. 31% chance to Oko. Dragon Dance Gyarados sets up on Staraptor. Uh, can we take a close combat? Even with a crit with Intimidate, we could max out this Gyarados's defense. It is a minus defense nature. And then just like Dragon Dance Earthquake everything. <clears throat> multi scale Dragonite Dragon Dance. Uh, multi scale? We don't. Multi scale isn't a thing. I think it might be time to use Goggy. Because Goggy has Marvel scale. That's multi scale! No, it's a Marvel scale. Can you paralyze it? No, I am not gonna paralyze it. We will be poisoning it with regular poison. When it evolves, it becomes multi-scale. Patasaur. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet that I bet it keeps Marvel scale? Chat, I'm trying to win a bet. Stop telling them that multi-scale was added in Gen 5. <laughs> Damn it. What the heck? Why did that... 
Oh god. Just opened up a million things. Control F Dragonite. Okay, so yeah, blah 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 doesn't have that. So it can learn dragon dance, yes. Like a, a dragon dance, extreme speed, dragon claw, wing attack, garbage. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Like we burn it to make its defenses absolutely insane, or I guess we can't burn it, we'd have to poison it. <clears throat> I think we could do this. Because we could just max out its defense and, and uh, HP. So it could take uh, close combats all day. Wing attack is the best round one flying move. Yeah, it's his best physical one at least. Bro, it can learn roost. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wing attack or aerial ace? Well then aerial ace, yeah. Okay, so I guess I need to calc a uh, Staraptor. Uh, we need to calc critical hits on Staraptor with the scarf, uh, item, scarf, scarf, where's the scarf? Scarf, 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 choice, scarf, choice, scarf, it's probably adamant in nature. Um, it is level 71, it will be using close combat. Uh, against a Dragonite. Well, what is this Dratini's stats? We haven't used Goggy at all. So a level 10 Dratini. Let's figure out its stats. Uh, no, really? Plus speed, minus attack. Bro! <sighs> Timid. It has 12 attack IVs. <laughs> uh. And 7 HP. This might be the worst Dragonite anyone has ever seen. Uh, its defense is 15. So its defense IV is 10. Bro. God, these are awful. Okay, but um 7 12 10. Okay. Dragonite. 7 12 10 at level 70. Uh, we'll give it, uh, 242 defense, we'll give it 242 HP. Uh, we're gonna hope Goggy's strong. Uh, its IVs were crap, so Staraptor, if it uses close combat, uh, it is a 7 hit KO, it says. But if we're poisoned... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, 252, my bad. I, I always forget it's not 242. Two. Alright, yeah, still 7 hit KO. Why is the... Why is the did you name it George not found? What is... What is that? What? We named it Goggy. The, someone in chat was named Goggy. This is all named after Twitch subs. Give it lefties? Yeah, we'll probably give it lefties. Don't poison. Use citrus lumberry. What? What? Just have it hold multiple items. Do you have a Pokemon in mind for sticking out Snorlax? Goggy. Goggy's gonna sweep the whole team. 
We're gonna teach it uh, Dragon Dance. So it says it is a possible seven hit KO. With Marvel Scale, that turns into a 10 hit KO. So even if it crits, we can take five turns. Uh, so what are the op- What's the optimal moveset for this team? We need to take out a Napoleon, a Heracross, an Arcanine, a Snorlax, a Breloom, a Staraptor. Uh, so Earthquake takes out Arcanine, Empoleon. Uh, probably Aerial Ace takes out Heracross and Breloom. And we just need something to take out the Snorlax. Dragon Claw. Stab, probably. Let's check Snorlax. Snorlax, blank set. Um, versus, let's say it's plus two. Let's say it's plus two attack, Dragon Claw. Not going with Roost? I don't think so. I don't think we need Roost. If Snorlax last, it's in any order. Use Brick Break for Snorlax. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we could Brick Break. That's a good idea. Brick Break against Snorlax. Snorlax is level... 71. Tch. Wow. Guaranteed 2 hit KO. Five poison turns is 60%. Wait, actually? I mean, maybe we don't poison it. Maybe we would just give him lefties instead then. It looks like it only does two hits of two hit KO. Plus three is an 87% chance to one hit KO. Plus four is a guaranteed at one hit KO. Huh. So we need to be at plus four to take out the Snorlax. We cannot get to plus four though, that's the problem, I think. Poison it before battle. I don't think we can poison it. I didn't yeah, I didn't think that through. We we the only reason you poison something is for like a switch in, and it, it needs no recover. Um, Dragon, I can't learn Swords Dance, but Dragon Dance will do it. We're not going to use Marvel Scale. I think we're just going to give it lefties, because I think lefties will heal off uh, close combats well enough. It's also badly poisoned with a Toxic Orb. No, we're going to go fight wild Pokemon until something poison points us. We are preparing for the Elite Four. Instead of poison, paralyze the thing. No, I'm never paralyzing. We, I'm not gonna... We could get a 50-50 like four times in a row and then lose. It's not worth it. Is sleep a status? Technically it is, yeah. Busy, thanks for the prime. Is Shell Bell viable? If we could get Shell Bell, yeah. My merch is still available. Just freeze it. Yeah, just free. <laughs> It'd be so funny freezing Marvel scale. Uh Yeah, I'm never gonna deliberately paralyze my own Pokemon. Never. What the hell's a Ludlock? Don't worry about it. It's a Nuzlocke. Dragonite can learn superpower. That would weaken our uh our Pokemon. Even if it could. Doesn't look like it can. Maybe with a move tutor, but I'm not gonna risk that. Okay, so let me think. Let me think about this. Even if the Snorlax survives, it has Slack Off, Curse, Earthquake, and Body Slam.
so if it survives, it uses body slam, it paralyzes us. That would be really bad, but it's a 30% chance. Um, if it has curse, that doesn't matter because, you know, if we get to plus three, it's fine. Body slam can't paralyze if you're poisoned. True. No, I don't know. We, we have to get to so many pluses, though. We can't. <clears throat> he can't do anything on a default Rotom. Yeah. Toxic Orb, Marvel Scale, Roost. That is a terrible strategy. We'll get to plus four and our Pokemon will be taking 50% damage every turn. All right. So here's the, here's the strategy. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, I will be bringing a Pokemon where they are guaranteed to use uh, close combat. Right? I think... I can't bring Calculatio because every other Pokemon is going to one-hit us with close combat. Why? This, this one... This battle sucks. Specifically because... Breloom, Arcanine, and Heracross all have fighting moves. Um, I think the best Pokemon to bring, though, is a Pokemon that can survive an Earthquake. Or that doesn't get hit with Earthquake, but also gets one shot to close combat. I don't have a Pokemon like that. I need to guarantee. Huh. I need to guarantee, the, and it needs to resist normal. It needs to be, so the Pokemon needs to resist U-turn, Brave Bird, and Double Edge. It needs to get one shot by a close combat from Staraptor. It needs to get one shot by close combat. <clears throat> I'm afraid of Aggron because its defense might be too high. Needle King that resists close combat. It also hopefully needs to not get hit by Earthquake so we can actually use it in another battle. So, like, a levitating rock Pokemon, maybe? Glalie doesn't have a levitate. Togekiss. Good one. Solrock? Solrock is... Oh, oh, bro, think about... Think, think about Solrock for a second. So let's think about Solrock. Why can we not use Solrock? Against double-edged brave bird close combat U-turn. What move do we want to avoid the most? U-turn. <laughs> we cannot have the strap to use U-turn. If it uses U-turn, we are, uh, quite simply put, fucked. Just straight up. I'm not I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're fucked if it uses U-turn. <clears throat> uh We have to use a steel type. I think Skarmory is really the only thing we could reasonably use. It is 225 defense. I'm gonna have to calc this to see if uh, Staraptor can one shot it. Staraptor, blank set. Um, level 71. Has close combat. Wait, Staraptor is normal flying? What? It's not fighting? I always thought it was fighting flying. Huh. I had no idea. That's wild. Anyways. Uh, 71. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, I'm just calcing this the uh the skarmory really quick. Sorry about this. It is some of the worst defense stat I've ever seen. This is almost the lowest that we're gonna have. Anyways, um, Staraptor's close combat has a chance to four hit KO. Do you think it would still use close combat? Maybe. I, I just I don't know exactly know how the AI works. Is it guaranteed to use close combat on Dawa? Or does it U-turn? Like, it's the best move. Because here's the thing, U-turn is the weakest move in existence. U-turn is quad resisted, so it won't use U-turn. It might use, like, Double Edge. It might use Brave Bird. But, like, it resists every move except close combat. I don't know how the AI will work. Can Skymory and Sergeant one shot with half health? No. I believe it heals us before the fight. There's a chance it straight up swaps if it's using champion AI. It might be using champion AI. Mmm. Yeah, reckless double edge might be stronger. I hate this, but we might have to bring like Magnazone or something. And just give it like a focus sash so it can hit at least one move at some point. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad 74% of chat know how sturdy works. <clears throat> I just typed in calculatio into the into the calcs. I'm an idiot. Magnazone. Oh, my headphones just died. I was like, why is the Pokemon not showing up? What the hell? I have a crazy question. Could max speed EVs and Choice Scarf outspeed the bird? We're not trying to outspeed the bird. We're trying to set up on the bird. That's the whole point of this. We're trying to set up. Please. Where's the... Where? Where, where does it plug in? There it is. Okay, good. Why is Sturdy bad? It literally does nothing. It does not do anything. It doesn't... In Gen 4 and below, Sturdy does nothing. Sturdy is one of the worst abilities, if not the worst ability, in the Pokemon games up until Gen 5, where it turns into one of the best abilities. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you won't get hit by Fisher, though. Sure, true. Very true. Bow. Yeah, well, Truant is, is the worst. Truant and Slow Start, I think, are the worst abilities, right? Antique, thanks for the 11 months and just anoint. Thanks to Prime. Ayla, thanks to the two. Aerocell, outright. Thanks to the subs. Klutz is bad? Okay, Klutz is terrible. Defeatist is bad. I don't think Defeatist exists. Uh, 
Ping Lu. Why is it better in Gen 5? Because it works like a focus sash in Gen 5. Instead of, like, nothing in Gen 4. Bro. I don't want to bring Magnazone, because it li it's, like, literally useless in the rest of the battle. But, like, I'm pretty sure I just gotta. What's half of 252? 126? I'm just trying to figure out the, the stats of this Pokemon. 20, okay. 19. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure it has max HP. Yes. Alright, I just need to see if it's a it's a KO against Magnazone. Wow, Staraptor doesn't even KO Magnazone with the close combat either. <laughs> Staraptor sucks. <laughs> its attack is 120 though, it's not that bad. Of course not, it's a steel type. You know what? I am just gonna bank on the idea that it's using close combat against Star Skarmory. Uh, but it might not use close combat because Reckless Brave Bird is gonna do more. It has Reckless. Why do you need a steel type? Uh, so it doesn't- we can't have it use, uh, U-turn. You think it's just gonna switch to Arcanine? Can we set up on Arcanine anyways? And it's Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Wild Charge, and Crunch. What about Houndoom? It'll just U-turn. Will use Brave Bird. Flying is not very effective while fighting is neutral. Yes, it will use Brave Bird, I believe, because uh, Reckless boosts da self damaging moves by some amount and it has Stab, so technically, even though it's not very effective, Brave Bird does more, I think, right? Oh, it's only 20%? 50%, 20%. One twenty, so that's one eighty. What's twenty? What's twenty percent of one eighty? Twenty percent of one eighty is uh, uh, thirty six. So two sixteen divide that by two hundred and eight. So it technically does less than close combat. Okay. Brave Bird technically does less than close combat. Yeah, Double Edge also does less than close combat. Show death box I just released. If it's close, damage rolls might mean it'll be a random choice. How much can damage rolls affect it? How many how much does a damage roll? <laughs> what if you kill Staraptor with a bolt switch? Uh I'd be an idiot for doing that. What's the death count so far? Like 11. It's like 85 to 10. Oh, okay. <clears throat> huh. 
Hello, Nerd. Thanks for the thousand bits. It was a fun stream yesterday. It's a flex on Ludwig. He challenged me to do it. Is Slack Off not in this gen? Slack Off is in this gen. Slack Off is a move that restores 50% of your health. Tr Truant is probably what you're thinking of. Truant is the ability that makes you not move every second turn. So Slack Off does exist, yes. But I think you're thinking of the ability Truant. Which was introduced in Gen 3 for slacking. I don't think Giratina can ever outspeed. Giratina stats. Giratina would be nice. Because uh, what's its stats? It's... Jesus, it's insane stats. What the hell? It is so good for a Nuzlocke. Oh my god. 120 in its defenses? 150 HP? 90 speed? Bro. Is there any way we could give it enough speed to outspeed some all of the other Pokemon at all? Like, what we could do... Can Wait a minute, I need to test something. Dragon Dance? It can't learn Dragon Dance. I wish. I wish it could. You realize you were allowed to catch it? Yeah. What's its ability, by the way, as well? Just pressure? It's just pressure. That's bad. That means we can't set up as much. Choice scarf it? it can't, we wait, can't one shot if we choice scarf though. We need to set up. I'm gonna check to see if it can learn uh, Swords Dance, and then maybe we just like outspeed everything and just tank the other hits, you know? I'm pretty sure we have Swords Dance. I don't think it can learn Swords Dance, but I'm just gonna check. I don't know where Swords Dance is. <laughs> It's around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, okay. Do we have Calm Mind? Show me near the top if I... It just feels like it would be near the top, yeah. <sighs> you can boost its speed with Ominous Wind. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a 10% chance to ruin my run. Is there anything left to do before the Elite Four? This is it. Uh, one battle. One battle. Bulk up? It does Calm Mind is basically the same thing, right? You can't learn it. I just, I just needed a boosting move, because we can learn stuff. <sighs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Substitute Calm Mind, we give it a Leftovers. Um... Right? We max out, maybe it's HP and something else. Uh... God, this is tough. Arcanine is Wild Charge this time, so we can't use our Water type. Does so he have the power to one-hit Snorlax? It actually literally doesn't matter because we'll have a sub up and I think we'll outspeed the Snorlax. So we need to give it two moves. So I think... Uh, what two moves would be really good for this team? We need to take out a Staraptor, a Heracross, an Arcanine, a Snorlax, a Breloom, and an Empoleon. Uh, with special moves. It's not going to one-shot the Snorlax, we know this. Um, Aura Sphere. 
That should take out the Empoleon. That'll do a lot to the Snorlax. Um, the Staraptor will literally be struggling, so it doesn't matter, but... Hmm. Oris here is 80. Hmm. Orosphere. I don't know. Earth power does so much. Earth power Orosphere doesn't deal with the Breloom, I think. Because the Breloom has, uh... Hmm. Why would it be struggling? It has a choice scarf. It can't switch moves. Origin form? Yeah, but we need we need that item slot. Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is stab, so that's 120-ish. A little more than that. 127. <clears throat> Will struggle be powered up by Reckless? That's so funny. I assume a switch before struggle? In a previous battle, they didn't. Shadow Force is physical, so we can't use it. That's so funny that... Yeah. Struggle might be powered up by Reckless. I mean, we're, we'll be in a sub by then anyways. Mr. Whale, thanks for the five. Man, this is tough. So, Heracross has Megahorn, Close Combat Stone, just to protect. Toxic Orb. Hmm. Reckless specifically doesn't power up struggle. Oh, okay. Orosphere takes out Empoleon. It, it hits the Snorlax pretty hard. Is there anything that we can deal with the Heracross, Arcanine, and Breloom? A flying type move? Can Bubble learn a special flying type move? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, fly? No. Air Cutter? No. Air Slash? No. Those aren't 100% accurate. I'm not going to use them. Maybe Dragon Pulse. Let's see what like a, a plus one Dragon Pulse does. Or plus two Dragon Pulse. Because I think we'll be able to get the plus one or plus two. Uh, so we're going to use Giratina. Blank set. Level 70. Um, let's check its IVs. Docile neutral, okay. Uh, 15 HP, okay. Special attack is 166, so... 161. Sixty-one. Okay. Special attack is 161. Its speed is actually zero, I think. No. Well, it's not bad. Anyway, I was just checking special attack. Special attack at plus two. Uh, Dragon Pulse versus what? Please check hidden power. Hidden power does ass. It's so bad. It's so weak in this game. Is the Giratina over leveled? No, it has it can't go higher than level 72. Uh Hera Cross. We need to like one shot most stuff. Um So here's our issue. Here's our issue, right? 136. We need to outspeed a lot of these Pokemon. We need to outspeed Hera Cross, I think. See what's gonna happen in this fight. <sighs> Anyone why you can't use physical moves? We haven't set up physical moves. Or sphere does like 25%. No shot it does 25%. No way. Really? 71 blank set uh orosphere orosphere 
It does 44%. Come on. I think Arcanine might be the only one outspeeds. So, Arcanine has Crunch. So, we'll be using Crunch. Psychic? Psychic deals with the Breloom, it deals with the Heracross. Psychic and Aura Sphere, maybe? We need to one-shot the Arcanine. So difficult, dude. Are you calculating the Snorlax IVs and EVs? Snorlax, I'm just calculating it as if it is max IVs because I don't know how the battles are working. So I'm just assuming worst case scenario for everything. Yeah, we have to have Earth Power. So Earth Power... Earth Power Psychic, but then we can't take out the Snorlax. We might have to do Earth Power Aura Sphere. Um, it's fighting neutral against Bug. Because Earth Power takes out the Empoleon, it takes out the Arcanine. Aura Sphere takes out the Snorlax ish, it takes out the Staraptor. Bug does resist fighting. Okay. God, this battle is so hard. There's just so much garbage. These teams are built so well, I hate it. We have the Grissy Sorb, yeah. Why don't we just, uh, why don't we just bait in the Snorlax? There's Body Slam and Earthquake. <laughs> we just give Grissius Orb to Bubble. Just sack him on. No. Yo, Patty Sword, chill. You'll switch though? I don't know. That's the thing. I have no idea. Hear me out. Shuckle. Jumbo Technic. I know we're just looking at this. There's so many. Okay. I'm pretty sure Dragon Pulse is stronger than Shadow Ball. I'll check. Do we have Shadow Ball? Yeah, Dragon Pulse is better than Shadow Ball. <sighs> we got a spreadsheet for going for Elite Four that we can cross-reference to see what moves will work best across the board. Kind of, not really. Aura Sphere and Psychic, you think? You don't need do low defenses? Aura Sphere, Psychic. Uh, okay. If we're doing Aura Sphere, Psychic... We would be using... Psychic on Arcanine. I'm gonna calc that, then. If we max out... Uh, special Attack... And we Aura Sphere. It's a guaranteed two hit KO against Snorlax. It might start out with Curse though. Okay, Aura Sphere two hit KOs if we're at plus two with Giratina. Um, I'm gonna check that on Arcanine. Because Arcanine is the big one. We need to be able to take out the Arcanine. Arcanine blank set. 
Stab is better? No. Super effective is better, ideally, on everything. Psychic does 90. So we're going to use Psychic against a level 71 Arcanine. It's a guaranteed two-hit KO. You are a liar. A dirty liar. It does not one-hit KO. The Arcanine. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Wait, where's my... This is all caught up. This is a tough battle. Maybe we just need to prep a Pokemon for each Pokemon, you know? Maybe we just do a prep for each one instead of setup. I don't know. Ah, man, this is so tough. What if we just prep a Pokemon for each Pokemon, you know? One for each. So we're just like, alright, Seraptor, it is double-edged Brave Bird, close combat U-turn. We just, like, switch in, like, Giratina, and it just takes, like, a Brave Bird or something, right? And we just Thunderbolt it. And then they send in Arcanine or Empoleon to Blizzard or Crunch, and then, you know... Arcanine's coverage is actually insane. It has Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Wild Charge, and Crunch. Fire Fighting, Electric, Dark. What the hell can take that? I don't even know. I guess a... Fairy... Dragon? Altaria? Earth Power and Thunderbolt, you think? I wish I could, like... Oh, wait. Why did it go so far up? Do I need to actually make it smaller? I'm gonna have to squint to look at this. Smaller, smaller, even smaller. It it's just so wide. This is the this is the trainer we're fighting. Yeah, I need to squint to see it. I'm so sorry, everyone on mobile. I'm so sorry. Ludlock count? Wait, what happened to Coliseum? I'm waiting, sir. Okay, I, I'm getting enough questions in chat about this. I will, I will show you what happened to Coliseum.
Do do do. Um. Uh, there we go. October 30th, 2020. October 30th, 2020. Right there. Pokemon Coliseum on the second screen. It was a year ago today that we played Pokemon Coliseum. Um, you feel behind the times? You're not in the stream? That's what happens. We're playing XD Gale of Darkness sometime soon, though. I literally just missed my mouth. What am I doing? How? That was a year ago? Yeah, it was. Okay, I have a question. Why was it called XD Gale of Darkness? Where did the XD come from? Why wasn't it just Pokemon Gale of Darkness? XD because it's so random? Lol. Why does it say XD in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness? I'm looking. I'm looking. Why does XD Gale of Darkness have XD in the title? XD, the title of the game stands for Extra Dimension. XD is named after XD001 or Shadow Lugia. Spoilers! Jesus. Okay. Yeah, what well, if it was extra dimension, why didn't they put ED? I guess that's a common thing for eating disorder, isn't it? Or erectile dysfunction? ED. Oh, your guys are on that side of TikTok, huh? Pokemon Erectile Dysfunction, a classic. Nobody but Ant thinks of eating disorder first. I've seen it used more for eating disorder than erectile dysfunction. I'm on ADHD TikTok and I see eating disorder a lot because apparently people with ADHD forget to eat. Speaking of which, I forgot that I ordered food this morning. Uh... <laughs> quite often forget to eat. I don't forget to eat because my roommates message me every day and say, hey, eat your food. And I'm like, okay.
<laughs> yeah, you remember that classic one meal per day that normal humans have. Uh, yeah. Obviously. You use DoorDash or Uber Eats? There's Skip the Dishes is the most common one here. Your roommates are just paid moms that cook for you and tell you to eat. I don't know if they would appreciate being called paid moms. It's more of a... More of a... Uh... It's a unique situation, okay? <laughs> Who pays them? I do. Where did the strategizing go? So we got this, we got sidetracked. <laughs> oh. Shadow Ball for the stab against Snorlax. Okay, I, that one was obvious enough that it was a joke. Good one. We got sidetracked by Pokemon Erectile Dysfunction. Sorry, guys. Um... What are you waiting for right now? Nothing. I'm just waiting for an epiphany to pop up. So we can win. Do-do... Don't breadstick, dragon fairy. Breadstick is actually a perfect counter to Arcanine. It is so good. We give this thing, like, Roost. We give this thing Roost Dragon Dance, it could sweep by itself. Its defense is super high, right? Never mind. I thought it... Isn't Altaria's defense supposed to be really high? Am I wrong? Did they change it? Oh, I guess not. Huh. Special defense is high. Damn. Level 44? No, I'm just looking at its defense compared to its other stats. I'm not looking at its- Oh, it's only 84 defense! No, I'm looking at its other stats. Adamant? Yo? You know what I think we're gonna do? We're just gonna- We're gonna- Here's what we're gonna do, okay? We are going to do the setup strat with uh, a Pokemon. We're gonna try and bait close combat, okay? We're gonna have a setup Pokemon, but if that Pokemon just happens to not set up for whatever reason, we're gonna have backups for everything else. So this Altaria, we're gonna buff its defense, we're gonna buff its HP, we're gonna make it, uh, be able to switch into any Arcanine hit, we're just gonna, like, Dragon Dance once or twice, and then we can just Earthquake everything. We'll teach it Roost, it'll be great. Um... Uh, a Heracross. It is Mega Horn, Close Combat, Stone Edge, Protect. Do we have a Pokemon that can take all of those hits? Honestly, I mean, it has Guts and a Toxic Orb, which is terrifying. Uh, so, how do we deal with that? How do we deal with the Mega Horn, Close Combat, and Stone Edge? Do we have a Pokemon? So, let, let's just start bringing out Pokemon to, that we're actually going to use, okay? Um, it looks like uh, our Skarmory can deal with Snorlax. We're going to bring Skarmory. Uh, for the Staraptor, this can deal with the Snorlax. We just need it to be able to take out the Snorlax. How can we have this Pokemon defeat Snorlax before Curse destroys us? Let's see, what can Dawa learn that is good against the Snorlax? Uh, Skarmory. Can Skarmory learn any status moves? It can learn counter. But, I mean, if it curses up, we're fucked. Um... Taunt and Toxic. Can you learn Taunt? I don't even know. 
We could toxic protect and taunt. I don't think you can learn taunt though. Skarmory can't learn taunt. Skarmory can learn taunt. It doesn't look like it. Brave Bird, Leer Peck, Sand Attack, Metal Claw, Air Cutter, Fury Attack. Fun. Wait, oh wait, as like a... Is Taunt one of these moves? Oh, it can, okay. So yeah, we can just like Taunt and then counter or something, right? Yeah, so we can just taunt, and then, uh, do- I mean, we need- we need to be able to destroy it. I don't know if counter is good, because we don't have much HP. It can learn counter, but it has so much HP that I don't think it's worth it. Um... I don't know. Doesn't defog remove stats? I don't think it works in this gen. Defog reduces evasiveness, yeah. Gen 6 defog removes stats. Okay, so yeah. Let's see. Breadstick deals with the Arcanine. Um, what deals with the Staraptor? I mean, this is going to start, and it's going to bait the Staraptor into using close combat, so I think... I guess we could use Dawa for the Breloom. I think we could use this for the Breloom, because Breloom is Bullet Seed, Force Palm, Stone Edge. It does have Life Orb and Technician, but my defense is 225. And we could just, like, use Fly on it or something. <clears throat> right? So we could just, um... We could just fly Breloom. Uh, for Snorlax specifically, I think we should bring base form Rotom. I'm not sure if they changed base form Rotom stats. I bet they did, though. I'm gonna double check. Because it literally can't touch Rotom. The base form has... No, it's still completely... Its stats are complete ass. 77 special defense, 77 defense, 50 HP, base form. Uh, yeah. Wait, no, that's... Yeah, regular form. Okay. Um, I think what we do... We switch in... Base form isn't based? Yeah, I think we use regular Rotom, though. Um, and I mean, we can just burn it, probably. And... Uh, Confuse Ray. We like burn Confuse Ray. Maybe Pain Split. We could probably just Pain Split it. Move. Where's my Rotom? Our beautiful, beautiful. Where is Rotom? Hello? Oh. Huh. Stall, what are you doing in there, buddy? You scared me for a minute. Okay. Can you save before the battle so you never white out? Oh, honey. Oh, honey. No. So, yeah. Uh, it literally... If, if we just have a, a ghost-type Pokemon with Levitate, that could be enough. Honestly, I think instead of Rotom, a better Pokemon to bring is just the, the special form Giratina. Then we don't have a Pokemon with terrible stats on our team. We'll just bring a, a Levitate Giratina, because then it can't hit us anyways. And, uh, if it switches that in, all we need- we can set up with Giratina at any point we want. We can just, like, calm mind and destroy whatever comes in next, right? <clears throat> so we'll bring Giratina, 
For the Snorlax, uh, the Arcanine is all Art Art Altaria. Uh, Staraptor is going to come in. It's going to double edge Brave Bird, close combat, and U turn. It most likely will use close combat. Uh, do we have a Pokemon that can set up on a Staraptor? I think our Pokemon that we were going to bring is Giratina, so I might just bring Giratina anyways. Shawning, thank you for the 10 gifted subs and noise help. Thank you for the five and the two months. This is Mogul Platinum. Um,. Close combat. Can Dusk Noir set up and just like Shadow Sneak? Its attack stat is actually okay. Are the Elite Four harder than usual? The Elite Four are absolutely insane. Like, they're stupid. Uh. Okay. Don't think Dusk Noir could set up. We could try Gyarados to Dragon Dance something. Mm hmm. Okay, Snorlax. Breloom has Bullet Seed, Force Palm, Stone Edge, and Spore. You'll never be upset you have Gara. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't using legendary Pokemon cheap? It's allowed, but Ludwig didn't use any legendaries. He tried, but they died, I think. He did use legendaries. They just died. Or, like, just didn't fit the battle. Also, a lot of people saying that my, my shiny hunting thing is cheap. He did that as well, but in previous attempts. He just didn't show it in the YouTube video. He actually released Giratina? Oh, it's too bad for him. It's allowed. It says in the rules. Brelum doesn't have a focus sash. No, it has a life orb. Use rare candies grind like Lud. I'm literally following his exact rules. Uh, okay, but we need something that can take on a Bullet Seed, Force Palm, Stone Edge, Spore, Breloom. Manaphy. No, that's a terrible suggestion. Okay, Stone Edge, Force Palm. What resists Stone Edge and Force Palm? Like a... Fairy Steel type? No? Uh, Jirachi? Force Palm and Stone Edge and Bullet Seed. Grass Poison would work. Right? Or Stone Edge still does a lot. Tropius? Grass? Po Wait, does poison resist rock? No, it doesn't, right? No shot. Metagross? Did our Metagross die? Our Metagross died. It died. It's gone. Yeah, it died yesterday. We had a, a really, really bad battle. Force Palm, Stone Edge. You lost the second one, yeah. Agron? Yeah, Agron would do great against the Force Palm. It got crit or something. There was just a Snorlax that we couldn't kill, and it knew Earthquake. And we didn't have anyone on our team at that time that could handle Earthquakes. Uh, Meganium can take a Bullet Seed. It can take a Force Palm. Gra Grass doesn't resist rock, right? It just, it doesn't resist rock. Does it? Correct. Okay. I'm, I was wondering why. Force Palm, Bullet Seed. I think we might have to use Torterra. Because ground resists rock. So we could just max out Munch's defense. We can't get crit with Stone Edge. Force Palm isn't going to do anything. Spore can't hit us. And we could set up, like, a Reflect as well. So, that would work. Force Palm is going to do a decent amount, but... We have Synthesis and Reflect. We give it a Light Clay, we're good to go. Um, against Breloom, I'm sure we can learn one move that's okay. I'll check Torterra's moveset to see if we can learn anything good. 
Torterra. Yeah, its defenses were actually buffed in this. Um, yeah, it can learn like Body Slam, which is enough. That's good enough. Or like Iron Head. Body Slam's probably better. Da -da. Zen Headbutt? Oh, can you learn Zen Headbutt? No shot that this can learn Zen Headbutt, right? You cannot learn Zen Headbutt. Okay. Okay, so this is for the Breloom for the Empoleon. Empoleon has Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Grass Knot, and Blizzard. Choice Scarf. That's so ridiculous. Mm. A water type immediately seems good, but it also has grass knot. Tentacruel? Good special defense. Um... Has Giga Drain? I think Tentacruel would be good. I'm gonna double check what it can learn. Because we don't want to put it in uh, Torrent range. Oh, it cannot learn anything that's good against it. The best it can learn is Giga Drain. It's neutral to grass knot? Yeah. I think Gyarados would be best for that. Gyarados would probably work. We just Gyarados Earthquake. Our special defense is 193. Pretty useful. Do a dragon dance and then uh, do the other stuff. Alright, so now uh, Pokemon changes. There we go. Okay. So we have a Pokemon. This is for Empoleon. This is for Breloom. This is for Snorlax once we give it the item. This can deal with the Arcanine. Um, like, we can switch into the Arcanine and take it out. Uh, the uh, Heracross. We need to be able to switch into it. And then one-shot it. Uh, I think just a really fast Pokemon with, like, Aerial Ace will do the trick. Torterra will take neutral damage from Bullet Seed, though. True. Uh, okay. Crobat, Megahorn, Close Combat, Stone Edge. No, it has Stone Edge. We can't use a Flying type, it has Stone Edge. Come on, guys. Uh, do, 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 do. A flying a Pokemon that can learn a flying move that resists close combat, Stone Edge, and Megahorn. <laughs> Skarmory could take that, but does it outspeed? I don't think so. Sceptile. Yeah, I'm sure Sceptile can take a Megahorn. Sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, sturdy for sure. Uh huh. Skarmory can tank. It's just. Ugh. Ugh. Who's Ludwig? Uh. Sixth largest Twitch streamer in the world. By income. Da, 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 da. He challenged me to do this. Gastrodon? Togekiss. It has Stone Edge. How are your stats? Minus defense. God damn it. I just need. Oh, this is. Their coverage is insane. Their coverage is absolutely insane, dude. Switch into something that tanks a stone edge. Uh, 
You're pretty bored right now? Thanks for sharing. Doesn't make me feel great. Um... Intimidate and U-turns to Raptor? Nah. Hair across. Doug Trio? Doug Trio can't take a hit at all. Magnazone. Close combat destroys it. Why not 252 HP ditto? I don't have a ditto. Swampert? Can Swampert learn a flying move? Swampert takes its stone edge, it's neutral, close cons. God, those are gonna do so much damage. It's just... Guts, Toxic Orb, Heracross. I mean, I guess it, it won't be... Toxic Orb activates on the turn after. I don't know, man. Close combat and Megahorn. Okay, Rotom can't take that. How did Lud do this? Less thinking, for sure. A bug type, or uh, sorry, a, a fairy type takes the close combat. Do we have... If, if I had like a fairy seal, that'd be so nice, but those just don't exist. Our counter against Breloom, uh, it's our freaking this dude, Munch. Septile can aerial ace. Oh, we have a special one because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's modest. You know what? Why don't we just sash something and say, fuck it? We'll just sash something and, like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna sash Garchomp. I'll just sash Garchomp. And we'll just Aerial Ace. Screw it, we'll just sash it. No shot, we, uh, like, we, we basically have to outspeed with this. 188, yeah. Sash it, give it Aerial Ace, it'll destroy. Okay. So that'll work against that. We'll switch in. It'll probably use Protect first turn anyways. Uh, or Pin Missile. It has Megahorn, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Protect. So if, like, a Close Combat crit comes out, like, it's totally chill. <clears throat> you know what would be really funny? That I just thought about? What if we just do that for every... For every Pokemon in the Elite Four. Right? Focus Sash, a strong Pokemon, so we can just switch in and attack. Destroy it in one hit. We'll just bring like 30 Focus Sashes in. <laughs> right? Except for the Pokemon that have, like, Focus Sashes themselves. I think we're gonna use that strategy a hell of a lot, now that I think about it. That is so cracked. We can get- I, I'm pretty sure we have, like, just a, an a, a absurd amount of money. Because we, we can just get infinite money by selling these rare candies if we really wanted to. Because, I mean, grinding for money isn't an issue. Like, we would just have to do the same battle over and over again against, like, level 30 rich trainers. Sandstorm team? Nah. Because, like, I'm looking at their team, right? Like, Cynthia has a Spiritomb, a Roserade, a Togekiss, a Lucario, a Milotic, a Garchomp. Oh, wait. It's a, it's a jolly Garchomp. We wouldn't be able to outspeed that. With rough skin. Damn it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, like, let me see. Espeon, his Psychic Orsphere of, like, light screen. 
Nine Tails has Overheat, so it would be Moonblast, Confuse Ray. Hippowdon has Earthquake, Crunch, Stealth Rock, Slack Off. Brion has Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic Protect. That's so bad. Uh, actually, we could... Huh. Wait a minute. Almost every team, except for Slime, we could set up on. Huh. Interesting. Is prepping for the Elite Four? No, yeah, we are. We're, we're prepping for Ludlow's still. We're prepping for Ludlow's. I just got distracted. Okay, is this our team? Uh, Staraptor, we don't really have anything specific for. But it has Double-Edged Brave Bird, Close Combat, and U-Turn. We'll probably just bait a Close Combat and maybe try and take it out with Bubble. Uh... If that doesn't work, I mean, Bubble can take a hit anyways. Bubble can take it. Bubble my boy, yes. Okay, so we need to quickly retrain some Pokemon. Because I'm fairly sure certain Pokemon don't have the right stats. Certain Pokemon need to be EV trained. Um, Breadstick? It looks like Breadstick has not been EV trained. So we're going to do that. What's the level cap for the Elite Four? We can't go over level 72 on any of our Pokemon. So let's just uh, reset the stats on... Yep, totally. Reset the stats on Breadstick. Base speed fell. Okay. Yeah, we didn't do any... I mean, it shouldn't be fast. Wait, did it say its speed can't go lower? Wait a minute. Oops. Special defense... We're just resetting breadsticks. Special defense can't go lower. Special defense can't go lower. Good. Use. Special attack can't go lower. Base defense fell. Okay. Defense can't go lower. Use. Base attack fell. Base attack fell. Okay. Looks like it's a. It did have some attack EVs. Okay. Base attack fell. We're figuring this out. I think we have a team for Ludlose at long last. Attack can't go lower, and then we'll do HP. Because we need to be really confident in the max. Where do you get all the berries? You can buy them. Uh, in this house that I'm standing in front of. This is a Pokemon Sword, my man. Yeah, okay. Won't have any effect. Good. Ludlow's easy compared to the Elite Four? I don't know. The Elite Four seems to have easier teams to set up against. Can you switch between Pokemon each battle? Not in between... Not in the Elite Four, no. Okay, so we're gonna max out because... Breadstick is specifically for the Arcanine. The Arcanine is Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Wild Charge, and Crunch. We need to max out its defenses... And it's HP. So we're going to do six quick battles with uh, with the HP band on. So let's find the HP one. HP, breadstick, good. So we need to do six of these battles. Uh, pluck. Okay, there's... Why? Am I still getting the full EVs for this? Because one Pokemon has the... One Pokemon has an EXP share. <laughs> Did I still get full EVs for that? Yeah, okay. Take. Okay. It shares them, it doesn't split them, okay. HP. So that was one battle. We just need to do five more of those. And it'll take less time now because of uh, stuff. This trainer only exists to get their Pokemons. <laughs> yeah, this Poke this trainer only exists to get destroyed. Did you get full EVs on all? Yeah, well, all my Pokemon are being EV trained. Why'd you lower all the stats? You can only get so many EVs. 
And so what I'm doing... This is battle. That's battle two. Two battles done. Uh, you can only get a, a maximum of... 500 and... 256 times two, right? 512? Is that right? You can only get 512 EVs total. But each stat can have up to 256 or something. Or 255. 510 total. Yeah. Each Pokemon can have up to 255 EVs. There's no reason to go above 255. So... Um, we're going to 252 in the two most important stats for the specific battle that we go into. So that's three battles done. Okay, Ashley's keeping track. Cool. Is Eevee's like breeding? No, it's nothing like breeding. Basically, whenever you defeat Pokemon, in, in addition to EXP, it also gives secret stat boosts. Depending on the Pokemon you destroyed. Just four battles done. It's basically, yeah, special that's five. And this is the last one for HP. We're good. Yeah, 508 is the usable max, exactly. How difficult would you rate the Ludlock? It's... it's hard... It's really hard to rate the difficulty of it, because... As long as you prepare properly... The battles themselves are very easy. Like, as long as you prepare, and prepare well enough, it's not hard at all. But the preparation can take a long time. Like... You, as long as you do it right, you never need... There's no pressure of ever messing it up. The preparation, like, takes time, but that's literally all it is. I feel like this challenge is just, like, a time investment. The problem solving is really fun, though. If you didn't have information about the trainers, this would suck. This would not be fun. Because you just, like, go and... I, I think it would be... How did that survive? Bro. Like, this would not be fun at all if you went into this blind. Because then you couldn't even strategize. You're just going to get destroyed a hell of a lot. Like, you, you could go into a battle and they could have the perfect team to counter you. And there's nothing you can do. You're just dead. You're done. Sengo, thanks for the 10. Alright, there's two battles done. Gonna play Emerald Kaizo? Probably not. What stats are you missing right now? So, because Altaria is going up against a physically offensive Arcanine, I'm raising my HP and defense to the max stats. Uh, we don't need to boost any of our attack stats or speed stats because we have Dragon Dance, which we'll do that in battle ourselves. So we'll probably have Roost and Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and then something else. Um... <clears throat> yeah, so there's three done. But the prep does take a while. Did Focus Sash is available? Did Focus Sash is available? Yes. Royal Storm and the Axe Man. Thank you for the subs. Appreciate it. What's Altaria's nature? I believe it's adamant. Would you know what IVs and EVs were? Um. I learned what IVs and EVs were once I played Pokemon X and Y. What happened to the Giratina plan? It's still a plan, but we have a backup for everything now instead. Basically. Uh, that's five done. We do one more. This is like, we have a regular plan, and then if we get crit like four times in a row and we have to go to another plan, this is the uh, the other plan. Or if like, they switch on us. What happened with the Dragonite plan? Wasn't gonna work out. 
Alright. So Atari is done training, we just need to teach it some moves. Um... We'll level it up as well. Uh, I believe we need to change the defensive stats of Munch. Because that defense is really low for some reason. I'm pretty sure Munch's stats are really low. Let me check. I'm lonely. Uh, Tor Terra. Level 65. It's lonely. Uh... Yeah, I'm fairly sure it has zero IV or EVs or something. Yeah, it must have zero. Okay. Munch is a cool name. Munch is a good name. Plus one attack on Altaria. That actually wouldn't do anything because it's not level 100. Munch is a lonely little dude. Yep. So let's reset Munch's stats. And we're going to max out its HP and defense, I believe. I'm gonna have to go buy some reset berries. You! Yes. Alright. There we go. What's the level cap? 72. Can you check how many IVs it has? No, not really. I, probably, but I don't feel like it. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Much adores you, HP fell. Looks like we may have. Trained it up in a s HP, but I think Munch was a really early game Pokemon before we were caring about EV training. And so I bet we boosted its HP and attack. No? Oh, did we mix it? Did we do mixed defenses? We must have done mix. We literally gave it zero defense. That is so funny. Wait, what? Did we give it special defense? Oh. We give it special defense, huh? Interesting. Huh. So, how many potions do the Elite Four members have? That's something that I need to know. Because we're allowed to use as many potions as they have, and I think because we're allowed to use po potions, I think setup Pokemon are going to be the best in this game. Like, if they all have four full restores, we can just send in a single Pokemon that can't get hit with critical hits, like Munch, and just set up. We just get set up. Like, we, we set up, get to, like, plus six defense, plus six special defense, we can't get crit, and we just sweep. But it's full, full, four, four full restores. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna max out uh, Munch's defense and special defense now. But yeah, full, four full restores each means that we can set up on almost every single Elite Four member, which is great. Super useful. That that will make setting preparing for those battles way, way, way easier. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay, speed stat, HP, and defense. Okay. Okay, so we need to do six defense battles with Munch now. Good. You missed Shiny Metang? Yeah, it's sad that he died. Is this a Nuzlocke? It is. Yes. We're just doing the final prep for the final five battles here. Defense. Hi, good. You miss Armado? Yeah. No, it's not. It's a Ludlock. A Ludlock is a type of Nuzlocke. But we have a team lined up. Yes, inept. We have a team lined up. We're just we're focusing on Ludlose right now. It's the battle right before the Elite Four, where he stops you right at the front door. <sighs> All right. 
Alright, I'm just reading Ashley's messages <laughs> to keep track of this. Are there eggs in this game? You're not allowed to breed. Did he challenge you to complete a first try? You just flexing? Uh, I'm just trying to beat a first try so I don't have to do it twice. Three done. I don't wanna, like, we, we've spent this many hours already. Ludwig tricked me into playing this for this many hours. It's so sad. Okay. Do you think the challenge will be completed after today? I sure hope so. I don't have time to do this again. Is the Ludlock randomized? No. It's a modified version that gives all the Pokemon better, or all the trainers better Pokemon. Specifically, like, designed to have good teams. Yeah. Okay. Shorter than took- oh yeah, I mean, it took him, like, a few months of, like, doing it fairly often. Yeah, if we lose today, we'll probably end up doing, like, a weekend stream and just using speed up the whole time and just being really reckless on attempts just so we can get through it faster. Because after the first attempt, it doesn't really matter. If I don't get it the first attempt, you might as well just, like, like, throw yourself at it until you just get lucky enough. Did you say the Ludlock would take one or two streams? I can't remember. I I have never done a Nuzlocke before, so I didn't really know exactly how long it would take. You have to do EV training again for the other trainers? Uh, We might need to train one or two Pokemon, yeah. Bag. Okay. Um, Give it the HP one now. Good. No, do not train EXP. We're gonna do HP, and now six of these, and then we're almost done with the training. I know it's taking a while, but we gotta do it. Um. Boom, boom. What was your first shiny ever? Uh, my first shiny ever was a shiny Rayquaza in my Pokemon Emerald game. I reset for like 12 hours and found one. Did Ludwig EV train? Yeah. Yeah, I sat down one day. I had played through Gen 2, Gen 3, uh, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6, and I'd never found a shiny Pokemon. And one day I was like, screw this, I want a shiny. My Pokemon Emerald is right at the point where you're able to catch Rayquaza. I'm just gonna save and reset until I get one. And I got one. Like, I want a shiny Pokemon. It's been too long. I've ma literally maxed out my hours in Pokemon Ruby. Like, my Pokemon Ruby was at 999. I hadn't found a shiny. I think my first shiny that was random was a shiny Altaria in Pokemon X. Or I was in Pokemon Y. Yeah, a shiny Altaria in Pokemon Y. Uh, I had the shiny charm. I actually had a living dex in Pokemon Y. Of every Pokemon. Full living dex. What did you do to play it that much? Um, catching Feebas took me like 100 hours. Because I didn't know how it worked and I just read it from a book. So catching Feebas took 100 hours. And then evolving Feebas, I think it took me like 3 Feebas. But I knew to breed it. But yeah, I, I got all of the Pokemon. Like, that was before I had internet. You know how long it took me to get a Huntail? Oh my god. Did I, did I ever tell you about the Huntail story? Huntail was one of my first level 100 Pokemon in Gen 3. I had my Sceptile level 100, and I think I just used that a lot. Um, so, of course, this was before I had even any guidebooks or any internet, and so I didn't know. I just saw the Pokedex, and I was like, okay, Clam Pearl, and then there's two empty spots. It must evolve twice. And so, what I did was I leveled up my Clam Pearl over and over and over and over again. And I just used it. I used it in battle. 
and it sucked. And I was like, this Pokemon sucks. And I was like, I, I was exploring the world. I found a deep sea tooth. I'm like, this is sick. It specifically raises Clamperl's attack. This is great. And so I raised up Clamperl to level 87 and it never, devo never evolved. I was like, what the hell? Well, clearly this isn't going to work. And then I remember my friend had a Reggie I need for my Pokedex. And I was like, hey, can I have that Reggie? I'll, I'll give you my level 87 Clamperl. And he was like, sure, we'll just like trade it and trade it back. And so I traded him the Clamperl. I get the Reggie. And he's like, it's evolving. And I'm like, what? It's a trade evolution? Did you never check online how to evolve it? I didn't have internet until I was like 16. I didn't know. The internet didn't exist yet, dude. For me, at least. It evolved and I'm like, oh my god. And I have a level 87 Huntail and I'm like, I might as well just give it to level 100. So yeah. Um, I wound up, uh, getting a Huntail. And then, after that, I was like, what's the Pokemon after Huntail? It didn't have, it, it can't trade evolve again. And then it, it took me probably another month of, like, trading Clamperls back and forth to figure out that you have to give it the deep sea scale. I was like, oh, it was the item. Yeah, okay. It took me about a month to figure it out. Because I, like, leveled up another Clamperl, because I was like... Maybe it was because it, it evolves at level 87 when you trade it. So I think I did it again. Because I was like, okay, okay. Maybe it's like a 50-50 chance. So I like leveled another Clamperl up. Or I, I traded a regular Clamperl. It didn't evolve. And I'm like, oh, it must have been a specific level. So I like level 50. No, level 60. No, level 70. No, level 80. No, level 87. No. I'm like, what? Why is it not evolving? And then I'm like looking through my items this someday, and I see this deep sea scale, and I'm like, "You have to, you have to give it the item." And then I gave it the item and traded it, and it evolved. But God, that was awful. That was a terrible time. Also, I remember catching Feebas, where it's just like, ugh. catching Feebas sucked. That took me so long to find. I remember sitting at my grandma's house, and I think. I think someone told me, or so, I can't remember how I f found out that you have to like fish in like a million different spots. And I would fish in the spot, I'd fish two times in every single spot in a route, and it took me a super long time. But I remember I was at my grandma's house when I finally caught it. I was leaning over the, the, the table beside the, the couch. And I caught it, and I remember I caught like three, because I was like, if I don't evolve it right the first time, you can't really reset its stuff. Anyways, uh, I think we're done with the training on this guy. 190 defense, incredible. Uh, I think we need to train up Bubble, but other than that, I believe we're good. Yeah, Fantry special defense is trained. That's awesome. You have your speed and attack set. Good. We need to give you a fo. We need to give you a focus ash. We need to give you leftovers. We need to give you leftovers. We need to give you. Probably leftovers. We give you leftovers as well. Why not? Uh, and we give you something else, I think. No, we give you leftovers. Okay, everything is leftovers except for the focus sash. Good. <clears throat> Bro, you know what's actually insane? I just remembered something. Uh, what was the Pokemon that you have to... Um... Oh, what's it called? What's it called? I remember I evolved a Pokemon by sheer luck. You know Inkay? You guys know Inkay, right? You know how to evolve Inkay? Inkay, you have to physically hold your Nintendo 3DS upside down. 
You know how I evolved it? I was laying on my bed like this, and it evolved, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was hard to evolve. I was just happened to be playing that way at the time. <laughs> <sighs> so I, I didn't realize it was a hard evolution until later, and I was like, how did I get this? <laughs> how did I get this Pokemon? Uh, oh yeah, wait, Grissius Orb for Giratina, right? Grissius Orb for Giratina, okay, wait, uh, just in case we need a backup. Giratina, we probably buff its HP and defense, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna buff its HP and defense as well, but we'll also give it Calm Mind. Because once we come out against the, uh, the Snorlax, we'll probably give it, like, Calm Mind Aura Sphere. Uh, some other stuff. I don't know. Doesn't the orb change its form? Yeah, so it has Levitate. Light clay for Munch. Oh yeah, Munch is gonna have the light clay. It's gonna have synthesis, uh, synthesis, reflect, and the best move that we can have, basically. But it's attack and defense switch. Yeah, it's still really good though. Here's the thing: the great thing about Bubble is that it can't get hit by Snorlax. Uh, we're only giving it these stats just in case. Actually, you know what? What if we just give it speed and like attack? I could just give it speed and special attack. Screw it. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna give uh, we're gonna give it speed and special attack, just so we can take out the Snorlax faster. We'll give it like Calm Mind as well, and maybe it can sweep through a few Pokemon if we are good. Mm -mm. Item. Give no. Item. Take. HP and special attack? Maybe HP and speed. Because we can just have- we can have it calm mind anyways. What about Staraptor? It's gonna close combat. Staraptor's gonna close combat. Rock climb is normal type? Yeah, it's changed to rock. I think we're gonna do HP and speed. So it can take some hits. Chance you finish today? Pretty high. Although I have been streaming for a bit. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna do HP... Yes, okay. Strength is uh, normal type in this. Boom. 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 Okay. So we need to do six of those. HP. Yes, good. How many hours have you been setting up? Probably half of the time at least has been just figuring out how to win battles. Have you ever gotten Poke Rust? We actually got Poke Rust in this playthrough. We got Poke Rust. Age delivery. Thanks for the prime. Hmm. Sandbag. Thanks for the sub as well. What's our sub count at? Eighty-eight hundred. Okay. You got Pokerest in the map randomizer and again here. Oh, that might have been the map randomizer then. I don't know. You allow legendaries and Nuzlocks? I didn't allow it. It's not my. I didn't. I don't do Nuzlocks. I'm just following Ludwig's rules. He challenged me to his Nuzlocke. I'm following his rules, dude. Want to turn off battle animations? We're almost done. Ah, <sighs> ok. 
Okay. That's four done. You do two more. Poke res doubles EVs, yeah. This isn't sword. Look again. Wait, do I have the thing still? Oh, I don't have the thing still. Damn it, sorry. How rare is Pokemon Poke Russ? How rare is Poke Russ? It's a super rare virus that your Pokemon can contract in Sword and Shield. In fact, your Pokemon have a 121,845th chance of generating the virus. 1 in 21,000. Rarer than a shiny. By a lot, especially in the recent gens. Playing sword right now, I can confirm this is shield. Yeah. Crazy. What does Poke Res do? It just increases EVs. Okay, now we need to raise speed. I imagine in a casual playthrough, you look at uh, this item and it doesn't make any sense. A Pokemon hold item that pr promotes speed gain on leveling, but it reduces the speed stat. So it does nothing? What? Like in a casual playthrough, that item probably doesn't make any sense. It just looks like it does nothing. One. Two. Three. Yeah, Pokerus is super rare. I thought that when I was a kid, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I would always like theory theory craft some like really um I, I would just theory craft random uh What's the word I'm looking for? Random strategies. I'd be like for like double battles and stuff. It was so much fun. I never used any of them, but I had, like, a, a doc where I just wrote down stuff. I'd, like, find a cool item or cool Pokemon move, and I'd, like, write down. Like, I remember I had... What is it? Is there... There's a move that gets stronger the less PP you have. And I was like, I, you could spite your own Pokemon to make your own move stronger. That'd be so sick. I remember I had one that was super funny. It was just, like, a... A Pokemon with only the move Last Resort and, like, a Choice Band or something. I was like, this move is so strong. <laughs> yeah, Trump card. Yep. Oh, yeah, we banned Trump in chat because people kept fucking spamming it during the election. And I'm like, I'm not American. I don't care. done now? Four done. Okay. How many deaths do we have? Like, 11, I think. We are American. Okay, North American, South American, whatever. You know? You look so defeated, it's just a lot of mindless grinding. Okay, we're almost done. This is our last one. And then we're finally able to do the battle. We'll just shuffle some moves around and then we'll go fight our rival. Took long enough. Does it still make sense to train up to the level cap of 72? With Bubble specifically, yes, I think. Uh, something that I'm afraid of is... I'm fairly sure stats only update when you level up a Pokemon. So, like, we look at its speed stat, 161. I'm pretty sure in this game, I can deposit this. 
and I will withdraw it, and its stats won't have updated, but their stats are actually supposed to be higher. But the thing is, if I level it up again... Oh no, its speed was updated. Okay, thank god. I was spooked there for a moment. Okay, never mind. We're good. 183. See, it has 183 speed. So we need to give it the Grissius Orb now. And that will give it the Levitate ability. It also changes its stats a little bit. So, I mean... Wait, it's actually really fast. <laughs> what? It's as fast as RX? Nearly? That's nuts, dude. Three hundred fifty HP, Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to to rearrange our moves, I believe, and level up some Pokemon. Do any Pokemon even outspeed Bubble? I need to check. Arcanine... Level 71 is 161 speed. Bro, what? Yeah, Bubble might just sweep. What the heck? That was... Scary? Why did- was I pressing a control button or something? Hmm. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Abel and bro, thanks for the subs. The Elite Four of EV training? I don't know. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Um... Okay. So we're gonna have to go to the move deleter. I believe that's an Orberg. Wait, maybe not. I'm pretty sure we need a Pokemon with a Rock Climb, at least. You have Rock Climb, you have Fly, you have Waterfall, you have Rock Climb. Oh, this is going to be annoying. I'm pretty sure we need at least Surf. Some other ones. We'll get Rock Climb of you, because... I think Garchomp can afford it. We need to go pick up a Focus Sash. So we're going to go buy a Focus Sash now. And Veilstone. They really should have made these cheaper in this. Okay. Really vibing the calm before the storm? Yeah. I'm scared though, man. Focus Sash, yes. Good. Reading the title right, Ludlock? Yep, you are reading it right. Focus Sash, give to you. Yes. Okay. Can't you just fly to the place? No, we have to go through this area again. And I'm not sure if there's any any battles in that area. Okay, uh, breadstick. We need to make sure our move sets are good. So you have Dragon Dance and Earthquake. Need to give you leftovers. I need to check your EXP. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine, okay. Are you in BC? Yeah, I'm in Prince George. <clears throat> Pretty sure we have a ton of leftovers. We have leftovers to Yudawa. We have leftovers to... Breadstick. And we'll give leftovers to Fantry. We'll give Light Clay to Munch. Uh, we need to... Uh... We need to have a move on- what's the best move that Munch can learn for Breloom? Probably Body Slam. 
So we're gonna reteach it Body Slam. Um, and maybe Synthesis, I'm not exactly sure. Red Six supposed to be that level? No, it's not. Let's see. Body Slam is 85. Yeah, that's slightly better. Um, I think Body Slam is our best move to use against that. Munch needs to learn Synthesis. Uh, and get rid of Earthquake. Okay, good. We got dual screens for you then. Dawa needs a good move against... Hell, I can't remember. Um... What were we using you for again? What were we using this for? I can't remember. We're baiting Seraptor, but... I think we were using this to just debate with, right? Yeah, honestly, that's fine. Okay! Dawa Protect to guarantee that close combat's being used. Um, I think that's a good move set. Breadstick. Uh, its stats are fine. It knows Dragon Dance. We're probably gonna give it Earthquake. Is Play Ref of 100% accuracy? Nope. Pluck does fly. Um, okay. So we need to give it Earthquake. Let's do that. And we want it to also know Roost, I think. Play Rough. Because it's actually not even a flying type in this. It's Fairy Dragon. Uh, is Roosta... Yeah. You. We'll get rid of Pluck. Cool. I'm pretty sure Fly is 100% accuracy in this. Yes. 100% accurate. 100 move. Yeah, 100, 100. Incredible. Um, you attack minus speed. You need to know Aerial Ace. You have your Focus Sash. You're good. Um, Aerial Ace also takes out the Heracross as a backup. It takes out the Empoleon as a backup. It takes out the Breloom as a backup. Brick Break takes out the Snorlax as a backup. Earthquake takes out the Arcanine. Uh, Staraptor. We will Rock Climb against and fingers crossed. That's our backup Pokemon. Uh, Bubble, I'm gonna stick with the strat where we set up with Calm Mind. Because it does outspeed the entire team, I believe, except for Staraptor. Uh, but I mean, wait, Staraptor won't hit us, ideally, so we're gonna teach it Calm Mind, which I think Calm Mind is 36, right? Or no. Calm Mind's higher than that. Calm Mind is like the first one. Yeah. So we're gonna do this. Yes, uh, Shadow Force. Uh, I might also give it a sub. Well, actually, it outspeeds everything, so we don't really need to give it sub, do we? Right? It outspeeds everything, so we won't need sub. Because it's 183. So, Aura Sphere for the Snorlax. Snorlax can't hit us. Um, I guess if, if Snorlax can't hit us, it doesn't matter. So we don't need Aura Sphere, because it can't do any damage no matter what. <laughs> uh, Arcanine, Earth Power deals with Arcanine and Empoleon. Uh, Breloom and Heracross. I don't think he can learn a special flying move. Let's check, though. Tony, thank you so much for the five subs. Yeah. Uh, maybe he can learn Flamethrower, then. Hmm. 
No, it can't. Really? Okay, psychic then. Yes. Psychic is 90, goes to 180. Good. Um, so we'll get rid of Dragon Pulse. So yeah, we're going to... I'm gonna check Breloom's speed stat, but I'm pretty sure none of the, their Pokemon outspeed me. Yeah. I'm fairly sure none of the Pokemon outspeed. So we should be able to sweep with Bubble if all goes well. Giratina's item boosts dragon moves? Wait, what does Grissior, Grissiosorb actually do? It boosts the tra power by how much? It says it boosts the power of dragon and ghost moves by 20%. Uh, so... Um... Dragon Pulse is 85. <sighs> okay, uh, so it needs to be higher than 180. So yeah. Let me, let me see, let me see. Dragon Pulse is boosted by 50%, so that brings it to 120... No, Psychic is always better. Because 50% and 20% is not enough to go higher than a super effective Psychic, I think. Super effective Psychic goes to 180 base power, but Dragon Pulse, that is just Stab, goes to 127.5, and then 20% of that is... Uh, 50-ish, so it only goes to like 177 or maybe 150, 150 something. It's not enough. There's no way it can be enough. So why not Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball is literally just weaker. So Psychic is better. And Draco Meteor, that's a dumb move to use. Gets rid of our setup. Yeah, we need something with 100 base power. Okay, I think we level up our Pokemon now. Stab on Shadow Ball. Stab on Dragon Ball, which does more. Okay, Fifth, five out of six Pokemon on your team have a ground move? It's a really good move. Yeah, no wonder they do. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Okay. Might have battles in Victory Road. It says on the dock that we don't have any battles in Victory Road. But I have so many rare candies, they give you unlimited rare candies. It's in the rules. Okay, be very careful. Join us a sub, let's go. Uh, something to remember is that I believe our rival does have some potions as well. So we will be buying some potions. Uh, most likely two full restores. So we're gonna go buy two really quick here. So we can use two in battle. 
The mod add fairy type? Yes, it also changed Pokemon. <sighs> nice hoodie, thank you. Do we have Repels? We need to make sure not to encounter any po trainers. We also need to teach Pokemon Surf. I just remembered. To get through the frickin' place. <sighs> what? Why is Rx able to learn Surf? Uh, whatever. Um... We need to get rid of Crunch. Yes. Doesn't Ludwig use no potions battle? No, he uses... Uh, no. He used, he used items if the trainer uses items. I haven't done this in so long, I can't remember the route. I'm pretty sure it was this way, though. Okay, we already fought this person. Garchomp is a shark? I guess so. I wonder if they added that in as a joke. Rhydo can use Surf too? Well, yeah, obviously. I would hope you could ride on it. Boo! What do you mean? It's a good one. Okay. I really hope we didn't leave any trainers that I haven't fought yet in this area. I'm pretty sure I fought this one. Yeah. We fought you. Yes, we did. Okay. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Do we have to fight two more trainers? No. Really? <sighs> Do we actually? We did this area already. <sighs> okay. Trainer Pokemon. Let's see what this might be. Victory Road. I need to go to the bathroom. I can't focus. Nice pun. You got me. Take my prime. Thank you. And yo, hello from YouTube. Thanks for the 15 bucks. I appreciate it. It's all right. You don't need to watch the Twitch streams if you don't want to. I got gotcha. you. Hopefully my current team works against that, dude. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
What does this old man even have? Victory Road, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What does he have? A beard, yeah, but I don't know what Pokemon he has. He has arthritis, but I need to know the Pokemon. Um... He's probably a veteran, right? This guy would be a veteran, yes? He's most likely Veteran Edgar, which has a level 64 Porygon Z, a level 64 Tangrowth, a level 64 Empoleon, a level 64 Golem, and a level 64 Typhlosion. I might be able to avoid him now that I'm looking at it. Wait a minute. There's no way we avoid that one. Can we go around? I believe that is... no. I think we have to fight him. <sighs> Porygon Z, level 64. I think we can one-shot a Porygon Z with, uh... Brick Break? Has this entire stream been prep? Yeah. Let me see Porygon Zed's learn set. Although they might have TMs. I don't know. Level 64. You can know Hyper Beam, Zap Cannon, Psychic, Trick Room, Thunderbolt, Discharge. It's mostly electric moves, honestly. Can you check with the Versus Seeker? I don't know what you mean. These trainers are the most dangerous because we don't know what they have. Ice Beam will kill your Garchomp. Fortunately, we have a Focus Sash. Why are you so stressed? Because we just did three hours of prep and this guy could kill a Pokemon and we'd have to do a lot more. Veteran Tangrowth.
We don't have any special attackers on this team. Looks like they don't have Porygon Z. It must have been removed. So it looks like it's just Tangrowth, Empoleon, Golem, Typhlosion. No, what the hell are you doing? It's most likely going to use a grass move here. We have Psychic, Aura Sphere, check moves. Probably Bubble. That's annoying. That's very annoying. <clears throat> okay. Power whip. Bro, okay. Uh A legendary is allowed. Look at the screen. Um, what does Empoleon know? These have custom learn sets. Yeah, these have custom learn sets. Guaranteed this has an ice type attack. Guaranteed. Fantry. Yep, yep. Freaking called it, dude. We should sweep everything now, <clears throat> as long as we don't have anything crazy come in. Yep. Tangrowth. Okay. <laughs> Who said I'd kill with waterfall? How wrong were you, Cyndaquil? What the fuck? Really? That's so mean. It's gonna have fucking endeavor. It's a fear. It's obviously a fear, Cyndaquil. What do I do? I guess attack and then switch, right? He used protect? Wait, why did he use protect? What the f- You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, well... Wait, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Okay. How fast is a level 64 Flygon? It's 
defense is increased. Okay, this next person should have... The person up here will have... A Flygon, a Gyarados, a Dragonite, and an Aerodactyl. Clearly, we need an ice move. And I have a Gyarados. Ice Fang Gyarados, 95% accurate. Never using it. We might need to teach Play Rough to Breadstick. Ice Beam on Bubble, that'd be dumb. <sighs> Flygon is just gonna Earthquake. Can I take an Earthquake? Not really. Uh, Ice Beam on Altaria? No. Can I learn Play Rough? And does Play Rough has 100% accuracy? Uh, Breadstick Altaria. It does learn Play Rough. Does Play Rough has 100% Play Rough is 90? We're never using it then. Then I guess Dragon Claw. I don't have Dragon Claw. Do I? And it doesn't learn Dragon Claw by level up. <sighs> Dazzling Gleam, it's a physical attacker, guys. It's adamant. It is Dragon Dance. Where that is Veteran Graviti? Well, that it, their names were changed for this. I'm looking at the, the other, the Renegade stuff. Um... You don't have Dragon Claw. I'm gonna have to leave and come back. This is so dumb. Is Giratina outspeed Flygon? Yeah, almost certainly. But we don't have a super effective move. You get all the TMs before the Elite Four. Yeah, I know. Okay. I think we're just gonna open up with you. We're gonna just try Dragon Dancing, maybe, on the Flygon. But if it, like, outrages, we're just done. Yeah, Flygon could have Thunder Punch. Hmm. I'm just afraid because it could have Thunder Punch and destroy Fantry. I do have a wide lens, but we I just don't want to have to leave.
I need to double check. Can it learn Thunder Punch? Fly gone. By level up, fly gone. Dragon Dance, Outrage, Dragon Pulse, Hyper Beam, Dragon Rush, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Bug Buzz, Earth Power, Sandstorm. I'm afraid of its Earthquake because its, its attack was buffed to 110. Okay, here's my idea. I have, I have a, a pretty good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Um. <laughs> Man, it should work. It should work. It should work. No port. It has three Pokemon. Flygon. Pokemon. It's going to use a dragon move. It's going to use a ground move. No. Use Hurricane. Okay. Wait, is Bug Dragon? What the hell? That's weird. Wait, so Waterfall... Wait, does it have Levitate? Switch to Giratina. You idiot, dude. Wait. I did not know Hurricane hits flying Pokemon! What the hell? Bro! <sighs> ah! Jesus! Oh, what the? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? What's it gonna do? Don't sword dance. Outraged. Okay. What's it going to do now? Earthquake. Okay. That was a crit. Just rough skin. No, 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 no. Okay, thank god it didn't crit. <sighs> I 
I need to check Gyarados' moves. He probably knows Ice Fang. Yep. Freaking knew it, dude. It'll probably use Ice Fang again. This team's so bad against Ice types, man. I only have Earthquake and Waterfall. Every one of my teammates is weak against Ice. If we get crit on Skarmory, we're done. If we Roost, it's going to use Earthquake. I think we have to D-Dance in Waterfall. It might be crit range. I'm going to try and flinch. Come on. Come on. Flinch. Don't crit. God fucking damn it! <sighs> Fuck! We can get another one. It's just fucking sucks. Sorry, Fantry. You can fly here now? No. <sighs> Give me a sec. We're gonna get another one. It'll only take a bit. God, that's annoying. Of course it had to crit on the last turn. At least it's a shiny that's super fast. This route is new? Yeah. This is a new route. Do we have an old rod? We haven't caught a Pokemon here yet. <laughs> well, there's a replacement. Cool. All right, who's gonna be named after? Who's gonna who's gonna be this Magic Carp? At least we don't have to shiny hunt. The freaking thing. A critical hit outrage on the last turn it possibly could have. Um. 
We're gonna name it Grace after Grace East 19. And then we need to release Fantry. I just need to check that we can fly here. We are able to fly here now. Okay. Let's go train up this Pokemon real quick. And check out our new one. I need to release Fantry though. Yo, Sushi would have been such a good one. Sorry, Sushi Box. This is now our fourth Gy Gyarados. <laughs> But we're allowed to catch it. Summary. We might just get a shiny one just so this one isn't his ass. Our last one was gentle, I think. <sighs> I'm gonna check the stats on this. If it has bad IVs, I'm just gonna get a shiny one. I'm just gonna get a shiny one. I'm just gonna level this up to like 30 so we can get a more accurate numbers. So bad, dude. Can you not change the natures? No, you can't. Alright. If, if, if Grace's stats are good, we'll use it. Did Gyarados die? Yeah, it got hit with a critical hit outrage on the final turn of a battle. The rules disallow breeding? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm checking its stats. Grace is level 30. It doesn't have any IVs. I'm going to check stats. Gyarados. Blank set. I don't think Gyarados was modified any at all. No. Okay. It is level 30. It is uh, plus defense. It is bold. Plus defense minus attack. Okay. It has literally two defense IVs. It's it's really bad. It is so bad. It has two defense. Like none of its stats are good. We might have another encounter. I'm pretty sure we didn't get anything in Send Off Spring. And Send Off Spring, we can still get something, right? We have not got Send Off Spring yet. I'm just gonna double check. Because Send Off Spring, we can just catch another Magikarp 100%, I believe. What about Dupes Claws? Dupes Claws is if a Pokemon you've already caught your encounter, you it's optional. You can choose to catch it or not. Dupes Claws says May. You don't... Have to skip it. Exactly. People are saying you Palkia and Dialga. Really? That would be nuts.
Why not use Zorachi? Its stats suck. Looks like I got a bandit, dude. There you go. Yeah, because Spring Path and Send Off Spring we haven't seen yet. That's post game? Okay. Did you take the object fancy resulting? Yeah, we're good. Andy, thank you. Yeah, Water Dragon is an insanely good typing. Like, the only thing super effective against this is Dragon and Fairy. Okay. Does Dragonite not fit in this team well? Nah, I don't really need it. Okay, we're just gonna run over to Send Off Spring now. Oh, okay. And Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry doesn't exist in this gen. Right, is pretty good though. Spring path, blah 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 blah. Alright. Send off spring. Here we go. We have not caught a Pokemon here yet. I'm just gonna make sure that. Boom. Just need to get to that water again. Still linger. Okay, good. About to run out though. Yep. Make sure to use another one. Okay. What are you doing here? Dude, I'm about to fight you. Go away. Okay. Old Rod! <sighs> Alright. Let's hope this one's better. Yes! We're gonna name this one Sushi after Sushi Box. Sushi. I never got an encounter on this route, correct. Yeah, luckily we did have some encounters that we hadn't used yet. So, this works out well. This... Its attack stat is already higher than the other one. What? This one's kind of goaded, it looks like. Okay. What's the nature of this one? We're about to find out. It's okay. Okay, It's not bad. I'll take it. It's quiet. It doesn't really screw with our defenses at all, which I'm happy about. Um... Wait, its attack is worse! It literally has 11 attack IVs. Yeah, its attack IV is literally worse. Its attack is higher, but the IVs are worse. Also, it has two speed IVs. Bro, this thing is complete ass.
It has two speed IVs, 17 HP, 11 attack. Twelve defense. The special attack doesn't matter. Special defense is nineteen. That's the only good stat. Some gas station sushi. Back. We're just te too terrible. Do we shiny claws this for just a better one? It wouldn't take that long because you have guaranteed encounters. This is so funny. Alright, Gyarados number seven or something. Wait, female Gyarados have different. I had no idea there was a, a difference. They have gray. Huh. They got the whis whiskers. Alright. Nope, that's not right. Are IVs really that important? Yeah, it raises our stats by like 10-20%, depending. I think we can fish right here. I'm just gonna mute the game. Let me turn on some music. We're shiny hunting for just a moment or two. Okay, this shouldn't take that long. Love disc, frick off. We're going to a place where we're guaranteed. I want a guaranteed uh, one. I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed it at the Pokemon League top. We weren't guaranteed a Magikarp when we were fished there. Oh my God, who said we were guaranteed one? Uh, I'm pretty sure the lakes have guaranteed ones why is it snowing bro it's october have we caught a pokemon here yet Oh, our starter, our starter, okay. Alright, this will only take a moment. See, we've already gone through four Magikarps, isn't it quick? Encounters are fast as ever, dude. Starter's on the other route. Fortunately, Dupes Claws says we can catch a Pokemon whenever the hell we want. You may choose to not catch it. So we can just wait until we get a cool one. Just a moment? Sure, buddy. Sub to Technoblade 123. I will have a shiny before it gets to 55 hours. If I don't have a shiny, I will give you a sub. If not, I'll time you up for the rest of the day. If I don't have one by then, you get a sub. If I do have one by then, I'm timing you out. Turn left to get a shiny. Okay, sounds good. Lies. I'm 
going back up. This is a good spot. We will get it. It's only gonna... I'm, I'm a lucky man. What can I say? We're gonna be here a while? No. I'm gonna have it within the next few minutes. Alright. Because I am an incredibly lucky guy. I'm just lucky, okay? What the hell are you doing here, Feebas? Go away. Can we have a side bet with channel points? Alright. Can one of the mods make a uh, channel point thing? Will he have a shiny Magikarp by 55 hours? Doesn't dupes clause mean you have to take the fee bass? I already caught a fee bass before. I have a mylotic. Literally doesn't matter. If I catch a shiny during the prediction countdown, we're canceling prediction, by the way. Like, obviously, that would not be fair. This seems cheap. Okay. Did you make the rules? JC, thanks for the five. Do you already fight against Ludlus? No, we were using a Gyarados for that. Hmm. Lud fans are so salty about this. Ludwig literally did it in his runs. He did it to catch a shiny Milotic and a shiny Shroomish, I believe. If they're so salty, then why didn't they get mad at Ludwig? He just didn't show it in the YouTube video. They did? Oh, fair enough. I feel like if I make a YouTube video for this, most of the plot of the YouTube video is just saying screw you to his rules and like just taking advantage of all of those loopholes. We did a battle where our Metagross died. So I caught a shiny Metagross. I wanted a Slowpoke, but I didn't get one in this area. So I got a shiny Slowpoke. Like, a good, a good amount of the Pokemon we've used, we've always had at least one shiny Pokemon on our team, and it's... It's so funny, but I mean, he set the rules. He, he's making me waste 55 hours of my life on something that I wasn't gonna do otherwise. I'm gonna take advantage of any loophole that I can. He didn't use legendary Pokemon. Okay. Where in the rules did he say you can't use legendary Pokemon? Nowhere. I'm using legendary Pokemon. Too bad for him. How is that wasted? Uh, viewership on the Ludlock has been consistently lower than any other Pokemon challenge I've ever done. In recent memory. It's like there's a lot of people watching, but there'd be a lot more people watching if I was doing something else. I'm pretty sure his Giratina died. Yeah. Ten minutes left? Yep. 
I'll cry if we get a shiny freaking uh, Feebas. I just I don't want to run to another place because it takes too long. Alright. What if we get a shiny Feebas? We cry because we don't need one. Our, our Milotic's actually kind of goaded. It's so good. Water Fairy is such a good typing. Do you fight the rival? No. There was a trainer in Victory Road before the rival that hit me with a, a Guard Chomp Outrage crit on my Gyarados. And it, it, it destroyed it. So I had to... So we're, we're just catching a, a, another one. What do you want a shiny Magikarp? Because our Pokemon, our, our Milotic's good, but the two Gyarados we currently have suck. The stats are god-awful. Oh, it, no, it was an Outrage uh, Gyarados, right. An Outrage Gyarados killed my Gyarados. What an Outrage, right? Believe we're sweating right now? It's only been a third of the time. You don't expect me to get a shiny in four minutes. It's a bit ridiculous, don't you think? The shiny clause isn't Ludlock basically unlosable? I mean, if you have infinite time, I guess, but like... I don't really have infinite time, so I don't want to shiny hunt for every freaking Pokemon. I'm only doing it when chat is very insistent, and chat is very insistent that I catch a better Gyarados. Like, we could still wipe for sure, just because, like... If we get crit like a million times in a row, we're done, right? Their reaction time was godlike. You see that? It was like a millisecond. Oh. Tried to predict it. Anticipate it. Still no shiny. It has been seven minutes. Shiny hunting ain't that easy. We have seven minutes left? Yeah. Well, it's gonna take 12 minutes. Will you finish the run today? Let's read the title together. No, I'm not even gonna read it. You read the title. Read the title. Please. I beg you. Modest zero attack IVs? I cry, dude. I would cry. Isn't there a do- okay, something that I don't understand. I, I- I was just scrolling through random Pokemon streams the other day, and there is this dude that has been fishing for a shiny Feebas for like 200,000 encounters. The thing is, it's like a 1% encounter where he's fishing, and he's caught like a hundred other shinies or some garbage. Reversal. Yeah. It's a 1 in 51,000, apparently. He's been doing this. It seems... I, I would imagine he's been doing this for, like, years. Why? Two years. Is it all two years of his stream he's been getting a shiny Feebas? Is that his whole stream for two years? Is just fishing in the same spot for a shiny Feebas? It's not all of his stream? He also streams Tetris. Your mom's live? Uh, your mom's live. <laughs> God. 
got, got him. Write that one down. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he a big Pokemon player? I don't know. Alright, we have four minutes to see a shiny Magikarp. I'm starting to get concerned. Come on. Come on, I'm lucky. Please. Please. I'm sweating now. I'm sweating. I'm nervous, dude. Please. 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 No, I, ah, did you already fight the Elite Four? No. I wish. We got stopped by a stupid random trainer in the middle of nowhere. And he killed my Pokemon because we didn't know his team. How many badges are we at right now? We have all of them. We literally have five battles. Six. We have six. we have to fight a rival. And then we have to prep for the Elite Four and Cynthia. And that's it. And then we're done. That's the whole thing. It's on the left. All right. Nice try. You could have survived as you switched to Altaria? Yeah, but then it would have just earthquaked instead, and Altaria was at really low health. Because then Altaria would have just been in crit range. Like, no matter what, we were in crit range. And I figured it would be better to lose a Pokemon that's easy to replace than an Altaria, which is harder to replace. That's what went through my head. I was like, what is the easiest to replace Pokemon here? If I get crit. Because we have to risk the crit. Bro. 90 seconds. If you swap to Torterra, though... I think no matter what... The crit mattered. And I'm not... Oh, wait. We couldn't have got crit with Torterra. If it was using Outrage, then... Fair enough. Sixty seconds. Ice Fang on Torterra? Yeah, but it was sucking Outrage. So it couldn't have switched moves. Come on, come on! 40 seconds! Yeah, I guess Outrage could have ended, that's true. Twenty seconds. Probably one more counter. No, we get a few more counters. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! We're so close! Uh, shiny! No! Ah! No, okay, sorry. I'll give you a sub once we get it. Sad. No shiny there. Did you already fight the Elite Four? Yep, that's why I'm wasting my time fishing.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, one more prediction. One more prediction. Will I catch it before? Will Will I catch it in the before the next fifteen minute mark? Maybe. Maybe. Will he catch another shiny before 55-15? How about let's do 55-20? Oh, never mind. The prediction's already made. 55-15. We're doing another prediction. Again, if I get the shiny during the prediction, like during this little timer thing, as people are predicting, uh, we'll just refund everything. Time to double down. No shot. No shot. Come on. What are the other catching one? 100%. Check this out. Damn it. Go away. No, not that. What, what's, a, what's a magic card? Oh, I missed the shiny. Damn it. Okay, this it came back. Nope. That's not the same one. The one that I missed the fishing on it. It's, it's this one. It's right here. Please show up already. It's coming up in 15, you think? No way. Really? Will I catch a shiny? Yeah, it's a shiny. Even if I catch a Feebas, it counts. 100% baby, let's go, let's go. What's the probability on a long enough timeline? 100%. Someone in chat said 55 minutes, 11... 55 hours, 11 minutes, and 36 seconds. I, they think I'll catch it at 55 hours, 11 minutes. Tch, nice one, good luck. Do, do, do. I'm a streamer. I just got streamer luck, please. Give me that Linkus luck. It's like dream luck, but undetectable. Pico, Linkus, and the gang are playing Mario Party without you? Mario Party? That's okay. I was invited to a different thing. Yeah, I think Eric was doing Mario Party with them and then something else with me and some other people. Besides, how much of a party could it be if I'm not there? Exactly! Right? Yeah, plus, like, that'd be weird if we just collabed, like, two times in, uh... In, like, really short period. Like, we did a thing last Wednesday, we did a thing on Thursday. We don't collab every week. You know? He's got a- he has other friends. Did Silver invite you to a thing? No? Is Silver planning something? Did I not get invited to something? Possibly. <laughs> I cry. <whistles> oh, the Pokemon got away. I was just so sad. This be a long stream? It could be, maybe. I don't know. I might need to get another coffee. How close did you get to winning the Ludwig Game Show? Were you spam Blast as an answer? I did win. Yeah, I won two episodes of Hive Mind, and then I got to like the big old championship bits. 
and Wubby's chat is just, at that point, if it's a 1v1, it's just like, damn near impossible to, to overpower Wubby's chat. It, it's just so, it, it's bigger than mine and more organized. Wubby's chat's insane. Did you and Point Grow kiss to make up after the random map fiasco? What do you mean, fiasco? Who's Wubby? Pay money, Wubby. He's a streamer, YouTuber, content creator. What, us unorganized? You're actually the... You guys are were probably the most organized chat, except, like, only second to Wubby's chat. You guys are actually so coordinated. Sweater looks great. It is. It's great. Come on. Bow. XQC had a, a bigger chat, but they were so unorganized. He had a big enough chat that he could split up all of his answers and dominate the entire board, so you literally had to steal his answers to win. Like, you had to steal his answers, which was just insane. How much time we got left? Seven minutes, okay. XQC's chat insults him? I mean, for how big his chat was, they were actually very, very coordinated. Like, they were able to dominate the entire board. <clears throat> Like, he, he actually had a good handle on his chat. Like, the people that are in his chat, like, when he says to do something like that, they really did it. Like, the only reason he lost was because he didn't steal my answers when I stole his, because I had to to win. It was the only way. I've never heard anyone pronounce coordinated like that. How else do you pronounce it? Coordinated. Coordinated. Very coordinated. You know what's really cool? Pay Money Wubby actually watched me when I had like a hundred viewers. Pay Money Wubby was one of my earliest viewers on Twitch. No joke. Like he watched when I was like... No, I think he watched even when I was at like 50 viewers. Because he was... Before I made content on YouTube, he watched my streams because he watched my speedruns. Because he liked seeing, uh, liked seeing them. It's pretty cool. I missed your prime. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the prime. I'm focused on getting this. Yeah. Well, he's a pretty, pretty cool dude. Da, da, da. Shiny, if you gift a thousand subs, are you talking to me or chat? I bet you're talking to chat. Does someone want to gift a thousand subs? Apparently, your shiny will show up. Anyone want to test? No? Maybe? Any believers in chat want to get the thousand subs? <laughs> It'll guarantee your channel points. It's basically like buying channel points, which is against Twitch TOS. That's out of your pay range? Fair enough. Yeah, anyone want to drop 5,000 on a joke? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Max I'll do is like 1k. And that's like... Not very often. Like, I ratioed Eric for $1,000 last week. And that was it. 
Yeah, if you guys missed it, Eric tweeted out again. He replied to one of my tweets and he said, if this reply gets 5,000 likes, I'll stop tweeting forever. An obvious lie. And so I needed to make sure that he didn't get any attention. And so I replied, if this tweet gets more likes, I will donate $1,000 to charity. It did get more likes. And uh, yesterday I donated to uh, Birds Canada, uh, a charity that uh, works on like conservation of birds and some other things. So I gave money to birds that actually deserved it. You have proof? Yeah, I tweeted it. Like crows? Yeah, but ones that, uh... You know. I don't know. Anyways, oh, I gotta write something down for the Eric diss track. Some, I'm, I'm sure you could be like, yeah, I'm, I thought birds are supposed to be intelligent, but he's kind of dull. I'm sure you could make a, a pretty good diss. I thought crows, yeah, I thought crows were supposed to be intelligent, but he's kind of dull. It kind of like, you know, it goes with the point, you know, instead of a point, it's like dull and the crows are smart. You know, it's good. It works out. There's some good wordplay in there. You still doing diss tracks? I have- I'm waiting for him to start it. Because he said he was going to do a diss track. But then I, I got his favorite music producer to, to work on mine, and then I think he got demotivated. That's low, and I love it, yeah. That's the biggest diss of all. Oh, I have, like, a Google Doc. Whenever I get ideas, I just dump an idea in there. I got some good shit in there. It's so good. Wait, you rap? No. But if I need to, I will learn. I'm the type of person that if I need to be good at something, I get good at it. I'll just go, like, drive around for, like, a few hours every day just rapping in my car so no one hears. Literally just make it perfect. How much to rap on stream? I don't know how to rap. I don't know how to rap. Driving requires attention. Yeah, but like... I need a place that no one can hear me because I'll be embarrassed. Like people sing in cars. You like jazz? Drive out to the woods of the mountains? I don't need to drive, I just need to walk like 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, Prince George is in the middle of nowhere. Last shiny, the last chance. Oh, nope, alright, sorry, believers, my bad. Just sit in my car in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is taking longer than expected, I'm gonna be honest. We've been at this for what, 10 minutes? 20 minutes? Usually things happen in 20 minutes. Let's see. Never worth it to be a believer? So sad. First, there was the horse and carriage. 
No, wait, wait. You, you could have phrased that better, Luca Paul, for a copy pasta. First, there was the carriage. Powered by horses. Then came the bicycle. Powered by humans. Then the automobile. Powered by gasoline. Since then, transportation has evolved to the SMAT. The first ever spite-fueled vehicle. Your rap needs work? That wasn't a rap. I was reading a good Twitch comment. New prediction? Powered by rage. I'm a vehicle. I'm not gonna say it. Not, don't say it. Okay. Um... <laughs> You'll get it after 15 more tries? Okay. Snowball, thanks for the prime. What are you saying? Uh, a pickup line. There's gotta be like an anime where like, I feel like animes are always based on like random, like old stories and like, like random old English stories. I feel like that's like half of the animes that I've seen. They're just like tangentially related to old stories. Like, uh, what are they called? Like children's stories or whatever? God damn it. I saw a message to Twitch that that I'm not gonna read. Folk tales? Yeah, like fables and folk tales and stuff. Or just like inspired by a lot of random stuff. I feel like, is there an anime out there where, like, the main character is, like, some sort of demon or a bad guy? And his powers are fueled by, like, committing one of the seven deadly sins? But he's, like, trying to be a good guy? There's gotta be one, right? Wait, actually? There's a sh Seven Deadly Sins anime. According to Wikipedia, The Seven Deadly Sins is a Japanese fantasy manga series written and illustrated by Nakaba Suzuki. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently it exists. It's actually really good. There's two anime called Seven Deadly Sins? There's just so many. You're saying there's an anime for everything? No shot. Okay, what's... I'm just trying to think of a random idea. Uh... Uh... Where, um... That could actually be one. An an- okay, an anime where... Satan works at a coffee shop. That feels like that's something they would actually do, though. <laughs> Anime where Satan works at a coffee shop. This came back from a search. 
The devil is a part-timer. You've got to be kidding me. Little Devil Cafe manga. Bro! There's multiple? Anime where the protagonist can just jump really high. Oh, that's like any superhero. Oh, that doesn't count. No. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, um... That's literally like every anime. Um... Q. What? Okay, what's... Anime about a talking blueberry. This is from YouTube. No. Aha! There isn't one. Reincarnated as a slime? No. Reincarnated as a slime anime blueberry scene. I found this on YouTube. Is it? It's not a blueberry, it's a blue slime. It kind of looks like a okay. Whew. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. No. No, that doesn't count. Okay. Um Bro, how have you not gotten the shiny yet? I've gone through like 300 magic arbs. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. An anime where the main character's name is Cory and he happens to be in a house. This came back from a search. God damn it. <laughs> Cory in the house? What? That's so specific. How could it how could it have What are the odds? Okay, okay. I think I got one that probably doesn't exist. Anime where they look for seven magic balls that summons a dragon, but a bad guy from Mars tries to stop them. Oh my god. What are the odds? Jesus. He said Mars. Namek is like... That universe's version of Mars. Anime about ants. Terraformers. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Terraformers wa Yasumi Dezu. Terraformers is a Japanese...
There's got to be something. Hunter Hunter as well. There's a Chimera, Chimera Ant Arc. I don't know what that means. Anime about streamers. Here's a result from the web. The ones within. Oh, it just talked it just brought up a bunch of VTubers. But also the ones within. No game no life isn't about streamers, it's just about gamers. Right? Isn't No Game No Life the one where the dude is really creepy to his sister the whole time? And I was like, this is really weird. Yeah? Okay. I was like, this is kind of... Kind of weird. Do you have any idea of how little that narrows it down? Is that most- I haven't watched many animes like that, if any, except for that one. That's every anime. What the hell? The Ones Within is a Let's Play YouTuber? Huh. Okay, okay, I see. Huh. Anime where they look for a shiny magic art, but it's taking too goddamn long. They're not sure what I'm talking about. Pokemon. That's just Eric's stream. You know what's really funny? You know what's really, really funny, actually? Eric was gonna do a Magikarp only run of Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. But Chad convinced him to get a shiny one. And he gave up because he couldn't find a shiny Magikarp. And on this Nuzlocke, I've just been screwing around and we've caught two shiny Magikarps. Granted, the odds are a little bit better. Like, he spent seven hours trying to get one. And then just gave up. <laughs> he just never got it and gave up. Is the water normally red? It's because it's evening. It's 6 p.m. or something. This is the red lake. Go to the yellow lake. Hmm. We're naming it Squelch? No, we're naming it Techno. Because I promised someone that if we found one within 15 minutes, I would name it. I would give them a sub. So I'm naming it after them. They are the soul linked to it now. If it dies, they die with it. In Twitch chat, they get banned. Their souls are linked forever. If you die in Pokemon, you die in real life. Yup. Is a shiny magic arm against the rules? No. Dupes Clause says you may n not, like, you, you may choose to not catch it if you encounter a Pokemon, but Shiny Clause says you can catch any shiny Pokemon you want. 
So we're going to get shiny. This is probably the longest Magikarp we've waited for. Down. You look literally so bored. Thanks. You look bad too. How long have I been streaming? Four and a half hours. It's gonna be a long stream. We gotta fight the Elite Four still. Maybe change the title to The Finale? Dot 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 question mark? No. No, it's The Finale. We're doing it. The shiny's in the water next to the patch of grass. Sure thing, boss. You're just trying to make a new clip. If that if that happened again, people that see the clips is like, why is he always trying to get shiny Magikarps? What the hell is he doing? Like, people that keep seeing the clips are like, why the hell does he just try to keep catching these things? These stupid shiny ma- Okay, that would have been cool. Why is he Gyarados necessary? It's just one of the most useful Pokemon to use in a, in a Nuzlocke. It has Intimidate, it has good stats, its typing is good, it learns a good set of moves, it can learn Dragon Dance, and uh, it's, it's just really good, overall. Catch a normal one, then. No, that's against the rules. I can't catch a normal one. Story time? Maybe. What kind of story could I tell? We beaten this today? I sure hope so. If the shiny is bad IVs, uh it won't. It the odds of it of us getting three bad IV Pokemon in a row are just so astronomically low that it probably won't be. Cause like our Pokemon, it literally has two attack IVs, the one in the box. It's a one in thirty one chance. So you get a stat lower than that. There's no way that it just uh, the stats get worse and worse every time. What if it has a modest nature? Cry mostly. One in six for a negative nature though. That won't happen, though. No. Can you Mega Evolve in this? No, this is Gen 4. No Mega Evolution. You haven't unlocked Shinies yet. You need to pay $5 for the Shiny DLC. Okay. Aren't other Legendaries catchable for the Elite Four? We have a Manaphy. We have Giratina. And we have... Jirachi? I'm not exactly sure what else you can get, though. We have Zapdos as well. Yeah, we have Zapdos. Zapdos typing is actually so good. Just with the, the only... Like, uh, like, electric flying is such a good typing. Now I'm thinking about it. Yo, Gecko Gamer, make sure to read the rules. I don't know. I don't want to know that. What are you looking for right now? Nothing. He doesn't. He doesn't understand how entertaining you are. Please forgive him. Okay. Shiny Feebas. That would suck. Seems like Feebas is like a one percent encounter. Like a five percent. It's probably five percent.
Electric is a really good... Yeah, only one weakness. It's crazy. Well, cool, what is this stream? Uh, it's, um... I'm trying to catch a shiny... Magikarp to cheese the Ludlock rules. Because we're allowed to. Any ground type with a rock move? Yeah, I mean, any rock Pokemon would destroy it, but rock isn't a super common typing. And rock, like, no rock moves have good accuracy. Like Smackdown, maybe. That's rare. I don't even know if that exists. How much time left until champ is done? I think about 20 minutes and we're done here. Yeah, Smackdown's in Gen 5. Come on. There you go. Stone Edge? Stone Edge is 80% accuracy. There's no reason to ever use it. Okay. Can't wait to pass on a shiny on accident. I don't do that. Wacky meat. Thanks to the tier one. Power gem. Yeah, power gem is super uncommon. Power gem, like the po Pokemon has to have like a gem on its forehead or something. What about Gert? Well, yeah, I learned my from my mistakes. Out of curiosity, how do you determine what stream you want to be a YouTube vid? Literally, the only thing that determines whether a stream could be a YouTube vid or not is if I can think of a good title and thumbnail. That's it. If I think of a good title and thumbnail, it's a YouTube video. That is the only thing that determines whether it becomes a YouTube video or not. Because every stream could turn into a good YouTube video, but people need to click on it. <coughs> Do you have one in mind for this stream? I don't know if I'm going to make this one a YouTube video or not. Hard to say. How did Gyarados die? Another Gyarados Outrage Critit. <clears throat> Celeste video is getting uploaded? Probably not. Generally, like, overall viewership is a good test to see how well it'll do on YouTube. And, uh, I think the Celeste streams are my lowest viewership in, like, over a year. Less people thought about- less people knew about Celeste than I th thought. Mm -hmm. How many Gyarados have died now? Three. But you pretty much always have one on your team because they're just so they're, they're so good. Biggest streamer said I couldn't do this first try. Ah, he's not the biggest streamer. That would be a little too much. He was the biggest streamer for a while. If he still had all of his Twitch subs, maybe. Are you gonna try for Palkia and Dialga? They're pretty hard to catch, I think. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to not make a, a Nuzlocke video because, you know, I, I don't want to give Pokemon challenges more reaction content. It's got to work a little harder. <laughs> That's a joke.
If you get a shiny in 10, I'll get 5 subs. 1. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. It would have been a sick clip, though. Almost worth it. Bring your own do do do. Oh yeah, by the way, I need to mention something. Um uh the person that started running my clips channel, they actually, they started school and got too busy, they underestimated their school stuff. So I actually need someone to, to run my clips channel. Um if you want to just, like, make a thumbnail post clips to YouTube, like, two times a day, and you get paid for it, uh, check out the pinned message in the announcements in Discord. Because I'm doing, like, a little application thing, and the, the best person gets it. So check that out if you're interested. Because I, I do need someone to, to help out with that. I need to mention that. Well, give me, thank you for the five, though. But I didn't get the shiny. Why is someone doing that? Do. Da, 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 da. Nostalgia. Thanks to the tier one. You have a dream shiny you want to catch more than any other? Uh, right now, I'd say Magikarp. How are you crazy good at every game? Um, I'm not. So... What generally happens when I play a game is... How do I explain this? Whenever I pick something up, if I'm really into it... That is the only thing that my brain can think about for like maybe the next two weeks to a month. And if you only do one thing for every waking hour of the day for that long, you generally become a little bit above average at it. So, when I do something and, like, stick with it, it's like, I just get, I, I go hard. Yeah, hyper fixating, exactly. What's necessary for a YouTube-worthy clip, in your opinion? Uh, just look at all the examples that I gave. You can kind of get the vibe. We played Pokemon Unite. Yeah, those types of games aren't really for me, though. I don't. I don't really get the appeal. I played it, and it's just exhausting, mostly. OMG, Smollett, I've never bit realized how big your nose was. Yeah. Thanks. You post on TikTok? Yeah. So many people just joined the Discord? Nice. I was just looking through their messages. I think they got timed out. Oops. 
You post on OnlyFans. No, I don't have that. Is the Discord a sub-Discord? There's sub-only channels, but no, anybody can join. Have you played the Mystery Dungeon games? Not all of them. Where's the Elite Four? Uh, the Pokemon League. Happy to help. Da -da 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 -da. Have you ever pencil sharpened since the speed run? Uh, no, but uh, once I. I think tonight after the stream, I need to like fix my car so I can actually drive places and I'm gonna go drive and and actually do the preparation to get the world record because I need to pick something up uh, to get the world record. What do I need to pick up? I need to go buy some pencils, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have a way to what happened to my car? Uh, someone broke into it stole I, there's nothing in my car because it's been broken into like three times and so i leave nothing of value in my car um so they stole my jumper cables and the thing that boosts my battery and then left the door open so it drained my battery so i i haven't been able to drive my car because i have been too lazy I really should move to a place that has a garage. Just so my car stops getting broken into. What asshole does that? Well, they left over, they, okay, so they stole that, but they did leave two uneaten 7-Eleven chicken strips on my seat. So it's a fair trade. I had a snack. This is the start of my supervillain arc, by the way. They probably left DNA, because there actually is a chicken strip with a bite out of it, and they just were full, I guess. I'm gonna get their DNA from that chicken strip, I'm gonna find them, and, uh... Uh... We're gonna find another use for those jumper cables. <laughs> Monka... <laughs> That's dark. What do you mean? I mean, they stole jumper cables. They probably don't have a car. Another use than what they were using it for. You know, like... Jumping my car. Obviously. Didn't know crime existed in Canada. I think where I live was technically the crime capital of Canada for a while. Bro, the time changed again. Chicken strips, the chicken, yeah, the chicken strip bandit. What do you say, a different use for them? Like a different use than whatever they were using them for. I can't imagine if they're breaking into vehicles that they own their own. If they're breaking into vehicles, sitting in them, eating chicken strips and then leaving, I can't imagine that... You know, I, they probably like spent the night in my car and then left. Right? Do you really need a Gyarados? It helps a significant amount. They did it in your car, XD. With what? Chicken strips? My car is so small. It, it's 
incredibly uncomfortable. It would be incredibly uncomfortable. DNA actually breaks up quite fast. Damn. Well, I have his dental records at least. With the bite marks. Speaking of chicken strips, the chicken boss. Thanks to the prime like six minutes ago. Appreciate it. So unfair, Gyarados has never water dragon. Yeah. Sad. Can you catch a shiny magic art, please? Okay. It's just a matter of time. We've probably probably gone over odds by now. If you got a shiny Feebats, would you take it? I mean, I'd catch it, but I have no reason to use it. I've been repeating this for a while now. Yeah, that's kind of how shiny Pokemon work. Are you going to stop at any point? Yeah, once I get a shiny Magikarp. Is this just a video loop? No, I'm pretty sure it- uh, after this battle, I'm pretty sure it does like a- it checks another spot. Like it goes here, and then uh, then it finds the shiny, yeah. You can tell because of the pattern in the water. So just- it's uh, two more encounters, then we got the shiny. Oh. Yeah. It's just doing some RNG manip there. So there's one, and then there's the, uh, the shiny right here. See? Oh wait, that was early. Attempt one? Yeah, this is my first ever attempt. I'm just trying to clip farm, okay? I'm out here working for the clips. On average, it should take about an hour to find a shiny magic cart. Okay. For becoming your editor, what do I look in Discord? I, I never said for someone to become my editor. I'm looking for someone to upload clips to a YouTube channel. It's You don't even have to edit. You make a Twitch clip, you download it, you upload it to YouTube, you make a thumbnail. You just need to know what to clip. When your Gyarados die? I don't want to talk about it. I'm telling you, Ant, it's in the next 15 attempts. Sure, buddy. Sure it is. I believe you. Where do you find the application? Uh, the announcements channel. It's pinned in the Discord. Come on. Give me shiny. I need the shiny, please. What kind of lock is this? I only thought you could... You can only catch the first mom you encounter? What kind of Pokemon games are you playing? The first mom you encounter? Bro. I didn't even get a lot, bunny. Five, 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 let's go! Hmm. 
The Halo theme? Is the Halo theme copyrighted? Yeah? The It is? Wait. So, wait, if you play Halo 3 on your stream, you'll get copyright claimed? No way. It's Microsoft, that's why you can't play Pig Step either. What? So good. I'm looking. I'm looking for a, a different music. Wait. This will work. We'll just listen to- this is the Coconut Mall 10 hour mix. We're just placed for 10 hours. We'll just listen to Coconut Mall until I get a shiny. Is this possible without Adderall? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have any Adderall, sorry. Like coffee? Yeah. It's good. You're trying too hard to do the anime thing again? What do you mean the anime thing? Where where you just whip your hands around a lot? It's like I believe in the heart of the rod! The old rod! The old rod! I can do it! Shiny Magikarp! Go! And then it shows up. That would have been... Oh, well, it's a little bit late, but it works, I guess. <laughs> uh, techno! <laughs> the power of anime! Saves us again! It was so close to an amazing clip. Fucking bold again. Ah, I'm checking the IVs, though. 
I'm checking the IVs. It's gotta it's gotta be better IVs at least. Alright, uh techno type in chat so I can give you a sub. I said I was gonna give to you specifically a sub. Sub to Technoblade, one, two, three. Here's your gift sub. There you go. Alright, we need to get to level 30. Alright. All right, let's look at the stats. <laughs> Is there like a compare option? This one is better in literally every way, except speed. I think techno is the best one. We should use techno. Okay. Oh, lovely. Alright, techno time. We just gotta train it real fast. Salacian Town! Yeah, its IVs are actually pretty freaking good. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna raise its HP and special defense. We need to give it Earthquake. You. Yeah. Splash. And then... Waterfall. Yes. Give it a Tackle. Good. How long does Shiny Magic Up took to take to catch? Uh, I think it was like 20 minutes. We gave him HP, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go. What do I join in C736 Rare Candies? Check the rules. Yeah, it was like 20 minutes. Not a big deal. Gonna save late and finish? I mean, it's only 6 p.m. for me. It's not really that late. What's the nature? I don't want to talk about it. Do not want to talk about it. What is that emote? What is small gasm? I don't know. I'm just. It, I don't know. I'm just. Have you? Have you? One sec. Let me. Let me do something. How do you modify emotes again? Wait, it doesn't let me do th the thinking one? Bro, I have. Aw, uh, I was gonna do the point one. That sucks. It doesn't let me point. Never mind. I take it back. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, wait, why doesn't it. It doesn't let me do that. It doesn't let me do the Smogasm TK. Smogasm TK is so good. 
You have to modify an emote. For whatever reason, mine doesn't let me emote my own emote. Look at Chad. What is that? Uh, HP... You have to... Because you have infinite points? I don't know. Juggle not. Thanks for the prime. I'm not sure which battle we're on. This is battle number two. We just need to do six battles of this. And then we're good to go. Ah. We've done one battle? Okay. That's two battles. I think. I don't know. We're away for ten minutes. Yep. Haven't fought any Elite Four? Right. We haven't fought a rival yet. This is four. This is four. This is three. This is battle two. I don't know who to trust. This is three. So this is... Ooh, that was close. So now this is battle four. doesn't really matter. I don't think it affects it too much. It just wastes our time. What do you expect the hardest battle here? Uh, the late Elite Four members, if we lose a Pokemon. If we don't lose a Pokemon, it'll probably be this rival battle. Four done. Mm -hmm. Is this the hardest game you've nuzlocked? I haven't nuzlocked anything other than Pokemon Sword and Shield. And that was my first playthrough, and I destroyed it. So, yeah. This is the hardest, considering I only did that. Did you finish Coliseum yet? Yeah, last October. It took a while for the YouTube video to come out. Don't worry, I'll play XD soon. Irish Katana, thanks for the Prime, by the way. Imagine after all this, we lose Techno to the Rival. If we lose Techno to the Rival, fortunately, we do have two other Gyaradoses in the box because we just old rotted in two areas we hadn't caught a Pokemon yet. Was that battle number six? Was that six or no? Or one more? Yes, okay. Now we need to do special defense. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah, Techno never dies. Canonically, it's impossible. We should have done this from the start. Why special defense and not attack? Uh, because we're able to buff our attack with with uh, Dragon Dance, so we just need to have a Pokemon survive for a while. Why not speed? Because again, Dragon Dance boosts speed. Shouldn't it be defense against the rival? No. We're specifically getting Techno for his Empoleon. His Empoleon only knows special moves. You have Rest Talk? No, that's not worth it. The odds of that working are not high enough. We need a guaranteed way to win. There's two. You like Techno? Yeah, he seems cool. What's the best nature for Gyarados? Either Adamant or Jolly, probably. Chesto Resto. It could be worth it, but it depends on the battle. Yeah, I actually want this. Here we go. I should try Nuzlocking Temtem. I don't know what that is. Is that just like knockoff Pokemon, right? Bro, why you stream at 1? It's 6 p.m. How many bands are we at now? 
I don't know. We had one die today. We've done two... You know what's sad? We've actually done two battles. I mean, we're planning on only doing six. But, whatever. EU. It's designed to be more competitive, huh? To be fair, I started at one. Yeah. I start my streams at 1 p.m. The scoop! Thanks for the 10! Two digits, Seer with the Prime. Thank you as well. Oh, next stream. Yeah, next stream. Next stream's at 1 p.m. Exactly. How do you unlock training in the regular games? You can't. Okay, one to go. You can't unlock training in the regular games. It's not a... It's not a thing. It's only in these hacks. Oh... <sighs> Now we just need to item give leftovers and we're just going to use a few rare candies. Yes, get rid of flail. Good. Oh, 40, 41. How many is a few? Like 30 more-ish. How do you have so many? Uh, the better you are at a game, the more rare candies you can find. Just get good, kid. I'm not going to explain my methods. It's the actual answer. You're allowed to get infinite rare candies in the Ludlock, but you just can't overlevel. It cuts out all the mindless grinding, so you don't have to sit and grind for like 10 years to get a Pokemon to level 70. You just do this and you do it in like 30 seconds. Nice. Wow, this special defense is actually way better than our last one. Like significantly better. I'm pretty sure this one is actually way better than our last one. Because our last one, I think, was also bold. We've had three bold Gyaradoses. That's ridiculous. Its speed is god-awful, but uh, special defense is kinda... Oof. Shiny hunts four times? Yeah, well, you, usually you don't shiny hunt that much. Uh, just need to do something real quick here. Choice scarf? No. Okay, we just need a move that's super effective against a raptor as a backup now. With guard chomp. That's 100% accurate. Mm. Actually, that might have been our best bet. Wasn't it? <clears throat> Thunder Punch? Can Garchomp learn Thunder Punch? Can learn Fire Fang? Rock Slide? Iron Head? Stone Edge? <laughs> Iron Tail Frustration? I don't want to teach it rock climb. I think you can learn wild charge. Oop. You know what, just for this specific battle, I'm gonna reteach it rock climb. We're gonna have to unteach it that though. So I came here for literally nothing. Okay. Okay, our rival is I believe two full restores, so we're allowed to use two full restores if we need. Okay, let's double check that we have everything. So, our rival has... 
a Staraptor, a Heracross, an Arcanine, a Snorlax, and a Breloom. Here's how this is going to go. The Staraptor has a Choice Scarf. So, we're going to send in Dawa to hopefully have it use Close Combat on us. It can use Double Edge, Brave Bird, Close Combat, and U-Turn, but hopefully it uses uh, Close Combat. If it uses Close Combat, we'll protect first turn to see what move it uses. Okay. Item on Techno. Yeah, Leftovers. Um, if it uses Close Combat, we're going to switch into Bubble. Bubble will then use Calm Mind until it struggles. And then we should be able to take it out with an Aura Sphere. Or probably Psychic does more. We'll take it out with Psychic. Hopefully before it does too much damage. Um, then they will switch in Arcanine. We or Arcanine or Empoleon. I believe we outspeed both. We'll be able to one-shot with Earth Power and Earth Power. Um, then they'll send in either Heracross or Breloom. If they send in Breloom, we do still outspeed, so we can one-shot with Psychic. If they send in Heracross, again, we can one-shot with Psychic. Um, if they send in Snorlax, it can do literally nothing to us. If the Staraptor does not use close combat, we have to use our backup strats. Backup strats mean uh, it's either going to be stuck, it's either going to U-turn, it's either going to close combat, Brave Bird, it's, it's going to do something. Um, if it does do that, then we'll have to... I'm not even sure. We'll, we'll send in something. Uh, if it uses Double Edge or Brave Bird, most likely we'll stay in with Dawa. And we'll probably switch in between using Iron Head and Roost to take it out. The Pokemon that'll come in to defeat Dawa is going to be... Arcanine. For Arcanine, Breadstick can handle it. It resists every single move. Uh, we have Roost. We have Dragon Dance. We can set up with Breadstick if we need. Breadstick can sweep the rest of the team if we have to. Uh, Breadstick has Fly and Earthquake, which uh, I believe hits every single Pokemon on the team for super effective, except for uh, Snorlax. But, I mean, that should be fine. Um, okay. Um... You have a Focus Sash? Yes. Uh, if we need, we have a Focus Sash for Heracross if we need to switch in and we'll just Aerial Ace it to KO it. Uh, this is our backup. This can want to hit anything on the team, I believe. But only if it's been damaged a little bit, I think. Um, Techno deals with the Empoleon if something goes wrong. Munch deals with the Breloom because it has Spore, Stone Edge, Force Palm, and Bullet Seed. We have the Light Clay. We'll just set up the Light Screen Reflect, Synthesis, Body Slam. We can't get crit, so the screens are going to be there to stay. We're pretty much all set. We're good to go. Um, I think we're ready. Someone gives us all the TMs. I'm the technical machine collector. Do you need me to give you full use of every technical machine? Okay, we have every TM in the game now. It's just, it had to, like, change our entire thing. Is that a Ludlock thing or a vanilla game? That is not in the vanilla game. Fingers crossed. It's time! It's all led to this. No speed up.
Close combat, let's go! Yeah. Now it will struggle. I believe two is enough to take everything out so we can psychic now. It's gonna struggle. That's weird. Must have used PP ups. Oh, I don't have pressure anymore. True. I can call mine again. All right, we outspeed. Earth power. I forgot we don't have pressure. That's so nice. Good. Arcanine. We still outspeed. Earth power. Good. Staraptor. He's gonna Brave Bird, I guess. Yeah, figured. Heracross, Psychic. Good. That's totally fine. We can still use it as long as we don't go over 72. Snorlax, Snorlax cannot hit me. It's literally, it can't do anything. Good. Okay. Okay, good win. It's exactly what we wanted to happen. We got it just for the backups. Feel like it was easier than expected? No. No, if you plan everything well enough, nothing can go wrong. If we got crit with Brave Bird or something, we might have had to worry about it. We, we need to make sure we don't mess up, but now... Now is the big one. We need to prepare for five battles in a row. We need to deal with every single trainer, every Pokemon. I'm gonna go to the bathroom first. I'll be right back. But yeah, like one bad turn, if I misclick, we had a backup no matter what. That's what all that was for. If I make a mistake, we don't lose. That's what that was for. Looks like one of my roommates is taking a shower. Never mind. So. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> the first trainer we have to deal with is Eamon. Alright. Eamon. Eamon has an Umbreon with Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. With the ability Synchronize. So no status effects. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking for a lot of these fights. Um, most Pokemon have... There's a Golem with a Focus Sash. There's a Cyndaquil with a Focus Sash. There's a Cacturn with a Focus Sash. Right? Against an Umbreon, it is Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. He has a Snorlax with leftovers and thick fat. Yeah, so Eamon has an Umbreon, a Weavile, a Cacturn, a Swampert, a Snorlax, and an Empoleon. Shuckaberry. Shuckaberry Pokemon. According to Bulba 
Encyclopedia, Bulba Garden. Shuckle are naturally shy and are most often. Shuka Berry Pokemon? Here's what I found. Bro, okay, I'll spell it out then. What's a Shuka Berry do? Super effective ground type attack. Damn. Okay. I think for a lot of these, if we can get a Pokemon that can set up with rocks, that would be awesome. If we can get like, so Umbreon has leftover synchronized Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. Okay? If we can get a Pokemon that can set up, just like... Literally, I'm pretty sure if we get RX in on anything, like we give RX extreme speed with Swords Dance, and everything's gone. Like specifically for this fight, let me look at this fight, okay? Um, Cacturn is a Focus Sash and Sucker Punch, but it also has a Focus Sash. Yeah, hmm. A little Needle Arm. These guys have EVs. I don't know is the problem. I don't know if these ones have EVs. Let's see. Dark Pulse, Witch Toxic, Protect. I'm scared of Earthquake from other Pokemon. Can Agron learn Dragon Dance? I'm pretty sure it can through other means, but I don't think it can learn it here because we can't breed. Agron cannot learn Dragon Dance. No. I think here's what we can do for strategy, right? If we're able to get one Pokemon that can set up on everything, if we're able to get one Pokemon that can set up on everything, right? If we get one Pokemon for setup against Aemon, one for Neeper, one for Slime, one for Nick, one for Cynthia, then we should be able to only have one Sweeper and then a bunch of setup mons. <clears throat> Bulk up? We need to be faster, though, is the thing. And we can always change movesets with TMs, exactly. So if we can get one Pokemon that can survive... So Hippowdon, there's a Pokemon, uh, Hippowdon. It has Sandstream, it has Earthquake, Crunch, Stealth Rock, and Slack Off. Um, you know, there's two Pokemon with Focus Sashes that we have to fight against. It's a lot of writing on one mon. Yeah, Infernape, you're funny. Our Infernape died last time. Um... But let's see, if there's a Pokemon that can handle an Umbreon... That would be good. <clears throat> um... What should we do for prediction? I'm not sure. Don't forget to erase Rock Climb. We can later on. Umbreon is gonna poison you, so you can't stay in. Here's, here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's what I'm thinking. For the Umbreon. It has Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. It will Toxic first turn. There are Pokemon with Stealth Rocks. So... Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, Protect. If we can get a Pokemon that Stealth Rocks and then puts it to sleep. We could use our Pokemon, get our Pokemon put to sleep. 
Actually, wait, we can use up to four full restores. Because each member has four full restores. Per battle. Steel type does not resist dark. So here's an idea. Right? We send in Garchomp. We give Garchomp Stealth Rocks, Swords Dance. Um, we give it Stealth Rocks, Swords Dance, and uh, Empoleon needs to get taken out. Weavile has uh, Ice Shard. Cacturn has Sucker Punch. So we need to give it Extreme Speed. Cacturn has a Focus Sash. If you use Garchomp, a Pecha Berry. Yeah, like... So we give Garchomp a Pecha Berry. It's going to use Toxic first turn. Right? And then it wastes a turn. And then it uses Toxic again. Uh, we could probably full restore to get rid of Toxic. Uh, Extreme Speed Weavile, Extreme Speed Cacturn, Earthquake Swampert, Earthquake Snorlax, Earthquake Empoleon. Right? That works? Because we need extreme speed, and we can't have extreme speed to take out Empoleon. Uh, I'm gonna check to see... So... I'm pretty sure this is max attack, max speed on RX. I'm gonna do some calcs really quick. Because we can go into this fight as a level 72. All right, so Garchomp blank set. If it's it has, uh, I think 250 to attack. It's level 71. Uh, but it is brave. It should have 281 attack. Okay, well, its attack IVs are actual garbage. It is so fun. It has eight attack IVs. Yikes. Okay, it has 21 speed and 8 attack. Okay. With an earthquake... Um, anyone else think E4 prep will take 4 plus hours? No shot. Uh, we just need to see if it can take out the... Snorlax. Snorlax, blank set... Um, Earthquake is at plus two. Against the level 71 Snorlax. It's a guaranteed Oko. Mm hmm. I guess, wait, we could probably just use Brick Break instead. Brick Break would deal the exact same amount, though. Brick Break would deal the exact same amount. Does your Shroomish have Poison Heal? I believe our Shroomish is ass and does not have Poison Heal. No, it does have Poison Heal. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's fast enough, though. Extreme Speed has priority. I think, I think our Guard Chomp will work. Um... If the Snorlax has perfect IVs, uh, I don't know what nature Snorlax has, but I can't imagine they gave it a defensive nature. Let me see. Snorlax has leftovers, rest, sleep talk, earthquake, double edge. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's question marks. Yeah. It's jolly. Brelum gets mock punch. Yeah, but we need something better than just mock punching everything. Uh, Empoleon is a shuckaberry which reduces ground type moves, but I mean, that'll be fine, right? Extreme speed has the same priority as Ice Shard. So, they changed fake out priority to be increased in this. So I imagine they also changed, um, like, so we, we found out that they changed fake out priority to have higher priority than, um, than Mach Punch, as we unfortunately discovered earlier on. Um, so, I think it's probably safest, uh, to not do that. Uh, or, or it's safe, like, Extreme Speed has more priority than Ice Shard. I think all the priorities have been updated. Was a hoodie or coincidence or planned? It was planned. I think Garchomp is a really good pick to bring in, because if we can sweep something, we should. Because, like, it's, it's a perfect Pokemon to just, like, Swords Dance once and just destroy everything else. Like, um, against, let's see. Oh, we won't speed that Alakazam, will we? Because it's timid. <sighs> That's annoying. Okay. Metagross level 74, Muscle Band. Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Earthquake Agility. Yeah, let's see. Um Actually, now that I'm looking at this, what if wouldn't Plus attack minus speed. That's terrible. That's the worst nature. That really sucks. Encore would be really good. We could Encore Nasty Plot. Like with everything. Uh, unfortunately... do this brave is literally the opposite you want yeah how fast is is this because we need it to outspeed everything togekiss stats only 80 speed it's not gonna outspeed a lot of stuff hmm also nasty plots an egg move gross does it learn it normally, though? Yeah. You probably can learn it. If you have to wait out and start over, do those say banned? Yeah, they do. I think. That's how Ludwig did it, at least. Weavile's fast in Alakazam. We'll have extreme speed for Weavile. You could use Haxorus. Yeah, I could use Haxorus if it existed, and I had one. But it both does not exist, and I do not have one. Okay, I'm gonna look through this. So... We have a few Pokemon that I think that would be really good in this battle. Let's see. A 
there is a strategy that I really, really like. So, Elite Four Neeper. He has a Hapowdon, an Adamant Hapowdon. That has Earthquake, Crunch, Stealth Rock, and Slack Off. Every single Pokemon has a physical move. I think what we do with Munch in that battle, we give Munch lefties curse. Yeah. We get we give it curse. It cannot be critical hit because it has shell armor. <clears throat> we literally only need to boost our defense. Any other Pokemon? Do we also use Reflect? No. We'll get rid of Light Skin and Reflect. We'll only have Curse. So we'll probably have Curse, Synthesis. Um, Gliscor's there. That's fine. Because, like, no matter what, the, the best they can do, it looks like a Rhyperior Choice Banded Ice Punch. But if we're at plus six and it can't crit, how much is that going to do? Right? If we're at plus six, it's not going to do anything. Like, we'll be able to set up on Hippowdon, because it knows Stealth Rock, Slack Off, Crunch, and Earthquake. A level 73 Rhyperior. I'm going to calc it, but I mean, we'll be able to KO it in one hit. It has a choice band. And plus, here's the thing. We can just, instead, if we're in a bad spot, we can always just full restore. We can always full restore if, if synthesis isn't going to be enough. It does have a fear syndical with Sandstorm. No. None of the Pokemon have Sandstorm. So, I think we're bringing in Munch. Um, we're bringing in RX for Aemon. RX, I think, can sweep Aemon, no problem. Munch should be able to sweep through um, Nick, the first, uh, sorry, uh, the second one, Neeper. It should be able to, because we have four full restores that we can use, because they have four full restores. Uh, they don't have any phasing. Uh, is this really your first attempt? Yes. Backup plans? We won't have a backup plan. It literally just has to work. And I don't think that could go wrong. Because we can't- we literally can't get critical hit. So as long as I'm not an absolute idiot, we'll be fine. Special attack, I guess? They don't have any special attacks. All they have are physical attacks, no matter what. Um, so Slime comes out next, is the next trainer. Yeah, the 4x Ice Punch, I'll calc. We should be at plus 6 by then. Um, I'll calc it. Okay, so that is, let's just assume it's max attack. So that is a Rhyperior. Let, let's do this. So this is a Torterra. A Torterra, a blank set Torterra. Uh, doesn't Hippowdon have Sandstream? Yes, it does. That's actually really nice. Much as ground type. Doesn't matter. Uh, that'll also break Syndical's Focus Sash, I guess. Huh. Anyways. Um, Torterra is level 71 currently. Its nature is lonely. A lonely nature. It currently has 252 in HP and 252 in defense. Did they buff its def its defenses in this? Because its stat is higher than it should be. Oh, they buffed its defense by 5. Yeah, okay. So its defense is actually 110 here. Okay, yeah, 204. Bro. This Torterra has 31 IVs in defense. 
That's so sick. Okay, and 21 HP. This thing's a monster. Okay, so let's say it's at plus six defense. Uh, and we have a Rhyperior. A blank set Rhyperior. It's level 73. Uh, I guess we'll also be at 73. By that time. Rhyperior is a 140 attack. What the? F Jesus. Uh, Choice Banded. Choice Banded Ice Punch. Um, it has, it does 30% max. It might, it has a, a chance to four hit KO. It does only 30%. Let's say I only get to plus four. It does 38%. Let's say I only get to plus two. It needs to do... Less than 50. Just 48 to 56. Okay, so I need to get to at least plus 3. What about freeze? We can f use full restores. That's fine. We'll have full restores to play with. Yeah, as if we get to 3 curses, we're fine. And we'll guaranteed get 1 because of stealth rocks. No potions in battle. Shut up. Read the rules. You're allowed to use items if the other trainer has items. Each of these trainers has four full restores. We're allowed to use full full restores. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. There is sand up. Uh, we can use Garchomp as a backup if we really need it. So, this is going to have... Curse Synthesis. We'll need Earthquake for Rhyperior. Earthquake for Golem. Earthquake for Whiskash. Earthquake for Hippowdon. Gliscor is Ground Flying, I think. So we'll need Seed Bomb. Uh, looks like Cyndaquil is a Focus Sash, but the Sandstream will be up. So I think we'll be fine on that front. <clears throat> Seed bomb not better overall. Actually, we'll, we'll no, we'll seed bomb the Rhyperior. You're right. We'll seed bomb Rhyperior, seed bomb Golem, seed bomb Whiskash, seed bomb, seed bomb Hippowdon. Uh, Earthquake Cyndaquil. <laughs> yeah, you're right. See, it's a it's a relatively free fight as long as long as the Hippowdon doesn't switch out on the second or first turn. If it switches out on the first or second turn, that fight gets insanely difficult. Absolutely insane. <clears throat> da -da -da. It can only switch out if you are slower. And use a resisted move. Well, I'll be setting up curses, is the thing. Because I need to set up at least three curses to be guaranteed able to win the fight. What makes the AI to be able to switch out? I don't know. Um, but let's work on the next one. There is a Nine Tails that has Drought. No Pokemon have... Uh, it looks like... N hmm, wait a minute. None of the Pokemon... Wait a minute, what? Yo, wait a minute. Uh, for Elite Four Slime. Yeah, it says Mama Slime. It does say Mama Slime. I'm pretty sure that's just Mama Swine. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's a Mama Swine. Um... 
It looks like for slime, it has a Ninetales, a Mamoswine, a Quagsire, a Rapidash, an Infernape, and a Magmortar. What if I just Scarf Garchomp? It can Earthquake Ninetales, Mamoslime comes out. Can we one-shot it with an Earthquake? Because I think we might be able to Earthquake Quagsire. We can definitely one-shot Rapidash, Infernape, Magmortar with an Earthquake. Guaranteed, there's no shot. They don't have any priority moves. I'm going to check Mammoth. I'm going to calc the Mammoth line thing. <clears throat> okay, our 260 something. So this is a RX, this is a Garchomp. Blank set. What level will we be able to be? So that one will be able to be level 74. Okay. It could crit Ice Shard. It literally doesn't know Ice Shard. It knows Earthquake, Stone Power, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Super Power, and Icicle Crash. It can't. Nothing is Scarfed. So we should outspeed everything with a, a Scarf with RX. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Against Mammo Swine. I'm going to check to see if Mammo Swine was buffed. This line was not buffed. Okay. Level 73 Mammoth Swine, 74 Mammoth Swine. The Mammoth Swine is level 73. 73. I don't know its nature. Do, do, do. Has the six hours been strategizing? No, we've done a few battles already. But we're trying to prep for the Elite Four now because we just had to fight our rival, which was probably the, the most, the scariest one. Uh, we do outspeed it, but yeah, an Earthquake... Uh, it has... Wait, what? Okay, we are going to be level 71 right now. Our attack has 252. What's our nature? I'm pretty sure it's brave, yeah. We're brave. Mm. It's a guaranteed two-hit KO. Okay, so we can't sweep uh, that one then. <laughs> Alright, we will not be able to sweep with RX. Good to know. <clears throat> so, I actually don't want to have to sweep with any Pokemon just in case they die. Um, but yeah, the first one we have to deal with is a Ninetales, a Timid Ninetales. It has Overheat, Solar Beam, Moonblast, and Confuse Ray. I think... Gyarados doesn't hit with super effective damage on any of those. It's also very specially defensive. Okay? We could Dragon Dance. Because the strongest move it has is Moonblast. Because it is Fire Fairy in this. Is War Turtle Rain Dish? It turns into Drizzle. Yes. That turns into Drizzle? No shot, does it? Blastoise... Turns into Drizzle! Oh! Wait a minute! Because then they would Solar Beam first turn, right? It has a white herb. Which saves overheat. I think we might do a rain then. Because I need something with swift swim that's like banded or something to earthquake everything. Oh yeah, protect solar beam. That's true. Let's see. Rapidash has wild charge. We can't do that. Uh, what do you have, Pancake? Garbage? Does Wishcash have Swift Swim? Or what does it have? It says the ability wasn't changed. What's it normally have?
Yeah, wait a minute. I think we might be able to sweep here. So I'm looking at this, right? And if we bring this and this, right? Oh, wait. Can you learn any, like, dragon dance or something? Like, setup moves? Like, a dragon dance or agility? Iron defense? Uh, not really. Okay. Shell smash blast always. Good one. Good one. Okay. <laughs> With the draw is technically a setup. I need speed, though. Wouldn't you change? So, for the other- for the battles right now, right? We have this for the first one, and I believe that, um... This one is guaranteed to sweep the entire team. As long as we give it a Petra Berry, I think we're fine. If we give this a Petra Berry, it sweeps Aemon. Because we, we just, um... We outspeed everything, we Swords Dance turn one, and then we Earthquake sweep, and... We Earthquake and Extreme Speed sweep. Um, this one, as long as it doesn't switch out turn one or two, sweeps the Elite Four member number two. Um, then Slime. So we have two more move slots for Slime specifically. If we really need it and we could maybe set up somehow. Uh, what we could do is we could get rid of the Sun because Ninetales has Drought. So what we could do is... Uh, you come in, you're specifically slower than the Ninetales, so Drizzle comes out later on, right? And we'll probably use this for another battle or something. Um, uh, we'll, we'll use this, and then, to get rid of the sun, yeah. And then, most likely, it- I think because it's a one-hit KO, it'll use Solar Beam. Which will give us a free switch into Pancake, which I can protect on the Solar Beam. And you can- and this can learn Dragon Dance. We Dragon Dance, Protect, and just swap between that. Uh... What if it Confuse Rays? It has a white herb, so it'll use Solar Beam turn one. Remind me what a white herb does again? <laughs> That's for overheat. Power herb is what you're thinking of. Yeah, it should always Solar Beam if it sees a kill. Yeah. So it will see a kill. So if we bring... Pancake... And you. Okay. Then, let's see. If we set up, we can probably just Earthquake everything after that, because nothing has priority. Are you going to pick Barboach over Swampert? Swampert can't learn a Jill- or can't learn, um... It can't learn, like, a, a Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is better. Because we can Dragon Dance Protect, and then, like... Uh, Waterfall, Earthquake, or something. And I think Waterfall would be better for Mammoth Slime. Yeah, it gets Dragon Dance. Bar Barboach, it learns Dragon Dance in this. So, those two Pokemon deal with that Elite Four member. Uh, we're going to have to deal with... Nick next, though. Yo, not Secret Duck. Make sure to read the rules, man. Come back in 10. We need to deal with Nick. Nick has an Espeon that has Light Clay with Psychic, Aura Sphere, Reflect, and Light Screen. Here's what I'm thinking. None of Nick's Pokemon has a Focus Sash. So... If we can set up on Espeon somehow... Brick break and then destroy it that could work 
It has Psychic and Aura Sphere, though. So, maybe... Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking, right? We have Sidon. Sidon... ...has Shell Armor. We might just barely be able to use... I, can this learn Amnesia? Let me look. Let me, let me look. This seems like a Pokemon that could learn Amnesia. Amnesia Dragon Dance seems like a good combo. No, it can't. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Aura Sphere is super effective. Yeah, so it'll stay in. I'm just afraid that the Pokemon is going to switch out. Like, Espeon might switch out is the problem. Psychic and Aura Sphere. If it runs out of PP, it'll switch. Right? I'm fairly sure if it runs out of PP, it'll switch. <laughs> Do a spear to him? I wish. I wish. Psychic and Aura Sphere. What can take Psychics and Aura Spheres to set up on? If you're immune to all remaining moves, it switches, or if it struggles. Okay. I mean, strategy is good, but this is a lot. Alright, you want to gamble on 60 hours of your life? Take If I take an extra hour, I might... I, there's like a... I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I don't lose another 60 hours, dude. Um, this could set up screens, potentially. What Pokemon can set up screens on Psychic and Aura Sphere that we have in our party already? Is there anything? You, We could probably buff your special defense, right? Because we need to use you in some way. Let's see, can you learn screens? Probably not, right? Let's see what Blastoise actually learns from moves. Um, it looks like its special attack was boosted slightly. Let's look. Actually, wait a minute. You're male. What's the gender of Espeon? I need to test something. I need to see something. I believe this is a... Crit, though, that's a problem. Uh, sharply lowering its special attack. Anything can learn that. Okay. So we could open up with Luckiest, right? They won't see a kill, so they'll most likely go for Reflect and Light Screen. We, I, I, basically, I liked what someone said there, where we could set up a Captivate with Luckiest, right? And then... We Captivate, Captivate, Captivate. And then we switch in whatever the hell we want to sweep. Um, which I think it has to outspeed an Alakazam that is timid. But I think Pancake could probably do with that. It's the same straight you gave Ludwig? Yeah, it seems like a... It seems like that could work, right? <clears throat> you know what I think would be funny here? We use Yawn first turn. We give ourselves a... Um... We use Yawn. Or we, we captivate, captivate, yawn, captivate. 
And then Luckiest will get put to sleep. And we could switch out into, um... And that allows us to switch out into Barboach or Whiskash. Guaranteed it is asleep. It cannot attack, so we're free to use a substitute. Yeah. That's really good, actually. Shell Smash doesn't work, Icehawk, because it doesn't exist. Espeon is synchronized. So yeah, Whiskash. Uh, yeah, as long as it keeps Dragon Dance, we're all good. Uh, and then, yeah, the Tyranitar. It has Sandstream, which is fine. We'll be able to Earthquake that. Uh, Bronzong has Levitate. So we'll have to Waterfall, but luckily Luckiest is Drizzle, so it'll still be raining. Um... Alakazam will Waterfall if it's still raining, if not, whatever. Metagross if it's still raining, Waterfall. Gallade if it's still raining, Waterfall. If not, we can always Earthquake. They don't have any priority moves. Synchronize doesn't even work with Sleep. Okay, that's really good. That's nice. So yeah, so these two Pokemon actually... Um, this deals with both Slime and Nick. Does the Cheetar have a scarf? No, it is a choice band. Imagine the Espeon is male. The Espeon is male. That was close. Okay. Hmm. Do we have another Pokemon? That, uh, they will use Solar Beam on. I don't think so. I think we still have to use Luckiest. So we need another Pokemon that is female, that can take a single hit, that can learn Captivate. It has to be female. Alright. Do we have a female Pokemon that can Captivate? I don't know. We'll figure that out after. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I could... Sash, Captivate, then Captivate, Captivate. That's true. But it might switch out because it doesn't have any killing moves. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I think we'll lead Captivate on one of these two. Anyway, we'll be able to use these four Pokemon already. Um... Wait, is that all of the four trainers? Okay, so, yeah, these two are for Slime. And this is for Nick as well. Um... Huh. And then Champion Cynthia. A Spiritomb with Dark Pulse, Will-O-Wisp, Confuse Ray, and Rest. <clears throat> Check mark Andy, yeah. We'll throw you into a van if it switches. Has pressure. Yeah, Dream Eater it, for sure. Bait, Thunder Punch. Nothing learns Thunder Punch. What has Thunder Punch? Infernape has Thunder Punch. It starts with Ninetales, though. Confuse Ray stops your setup strat. Not technically correct. Persimberry? Or Lumberry? Lumberry Techno. Isn't your attack terrible? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're gonna use Bubble. I'm pretty sure Bubble is bad. It's ridiculous.
How many lumberries we got? None. And then Techno. Did he lose or something? Where's Duskull? You mean Dusk Noir? It's here. Dark Puss, Will O Wisp, Confuse Ray, Rest. So here's the thing. They have a jolly Garchomp with Earthquake, Outrage, Stone Edge, and Swords Dance. Yo, what if I just Lumberry Swords Dance and we could extreme speed the Garchomp? That might be enough to KO, right? Their Garchomp. Looks like there's no other priority. A Dragon Dance Focus Sash? Well, they have Will O Wisp and Confuse Ray. Yo, wait a minute. I think I'm being dumb. We have full restores, right? So. We don't need a Lumberry. If we have a Focus Sash. If we just give our, our RX a Focus Sash, right? Because it's it's a Spear Tomb with a Lumberry. Um, a Spear Tomb with a Lumberry. Does Dark Pulse, Willow Wisp, Confuse Ray, and Rest? Uh, if we give RX Dragon Dance and we just full restore whenever we need to. Uh, we're good, right? Might need to buy more. Oh yeah, we'll go, we'll make sure we have everything. Cause we could just like dragon. I don't I don't know. Wait, can Garchomp even learn Dragon Dance? Until they crit. Well, we have a Focus Sash, so it doesn't matter. If they crit, then our Focus Sash saves us. Okay. Uh, it doesn't learn Dragon Dance, but as long as we outspeed a Jolly. Uh, Lucario. Blank set Lucario. Lucario is level, because I think Lucario is the next, the only fast Pokemon that they have. Lucario. Level 77, Jolly. It probably has stats in that as well. So a Jolly Lucario. Level 77. It's 252. It has... 236 speed? What? My negative speed nature may ruin us here. Let's go up to 78. We'll have 206, and it'll have 236 speed. So, their, their uh, Lucario will be able to hit my Garchomp. With an Ice Punch. Don't forget Rough Skin. Oh yeah, their Garchomp has Rough Skin as well. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Why don't we just substitute? Here's an idea. We substitute on Spiritomb. We outspeed the Spiritomb, guaranteed. With RX. So we substitute. And then we Dragon Dance with one of our Pokemon. Uh, Altaria could work here. Substitute to outspeed Spiritomb. And then we can... Uh, Dragon Dance. Uh, Altaria would work, actually. Because if it breaks the sub, then Dark Pulse is not going to do much. Yeah, we substitute with a our, our Altaria. 
We dragon dance, dragon dance, dragon dance, dragon dance, dragon dance forever. And then we destroy Spiritomb. I believe we do outspeed Spiritomb, yes. Because then, um, we outspeed everything, so we can one-shot the Garchomp with Dragon Claw. Um, what do we need? So, we need to take out the Roserade. The Roserade will get taken out with Dragon Claw. Garchomp will get taken out with Dragon Claw. Actually, that might not work, because, uh, we need... Mm, it has Lucario and Togekiss are tough. We're not going to do a Baton Pass strat. Does Altaria have Natural Cure? No, I don't think so. Where is our Altaria? It is Cloud 9. Just get Frostlass. But yeah, this is gonna be really good, because Dark Pulse won't do much. We'll be able to Substitute and then Dragon Dance. Um... Let's see, I probably want something better than a turn one fly. Burn might be annoying. We'll, we'll have substitute. We can't get burned with substitute. That's the thing. So we substitute with breadstick, right? We... Dragon dance. Dragon dance. Substitute. Um... Probably Earthquake for Lucario, Milotic, Garchomp, and Roserade. And then we'll need something for the Togekiss. It can be anything. Um, I'm sure it can do that. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that works. Ice Beam the Togekiss? Yeah, after Dragon, after Dragon Dancing so much, I'm sure Ice Beam would work. Yeah, for sure. You beat the rival? I did, yes. <clears throat> um, yeah, we just give it anything that's physical. Yeah, let's give it a poison jab. Aw. Just give it a go! Nothing bad will happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, we can't Dragon Claw Togekiss because it's a fairy type. Shadow Claw? No? Okay. Um, fling. False swipe. Focus blast. Roost. Overheat. Bro, we might just have to fly the Togekiss. Do you think anything bad will happen if we fly the Togekiss? Stealing is 90% accuracy. We're never using that. I think we just stick with fly. Fly can't miss. Fangs can miss. I'm not risking that. Okay. I guess we'll just give it substitute right now then. Where is substitute? There it is. Fly isn't 100. Fly can miss. What are you going to give me if Fly has 100% accuracy? What are you going to give me? What are you gonna give me? A hug? Okay. Okay. Yeah, probably a few dragon dances and fly will do the trick. Um. Okay. So that's everything. Right? So here's what's gonna happen. Rx is going to... I 
Maybe Rx could substitute. That would help. Substitute Lumberry just in case. Focus Ash. I'm gonna go to the bathroom now that we're done. Anyways, I'll be right back. I'm thinking about it. Okay, so what the heck do we do? Right, let, let's review. So Elite Four Aemon has an Umbreon. It has Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. Rx needs to be able to one-hit KO everything on their team. The problem is... Rx can't do that. So the plan is to have Rx hold a Lumberry... Or a Pecha Berry, it doesn't really matter. Uh, a Berry. And... Um, have it hold a Berry. It needs to know Stealth Rocks and Swords Dance. I believe one Swords Dance makes it so Extreme Speed can outspeed Weavile's Ice Shard. And Cacturn has a Focus Sash, but it is broken by the rocks. Cacturn has Sucker Punch, but Extreme Seed will take that out. Uh, Swampert comes out. It does not have priority, so we'll be able to Earthquake. Snorlax comes out. It will be hopefully get taken out by an Earthquake. Empoleon... Hopefully, it gets taken out by an earthquake. Uh, we're gonna figure out a backup Pokemon after that. Um, is this a nerd stream? I might be in the wrong place. Yeah, get out of here. Nerds only. Who you think you are? Should you not add one extra person to the team? No, we're going in with five. Of course, we're adding someone extra. You might want two swords dances. Yeah, if I can get two swords dances, that would be good. Get the frick out if you're a nerd. Who do you think you are? Frickin' nerds. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to calc the level 71 Snorlax with the Garchomp. Garchomp has to be level 72. It can be level 72. It has Earthquake. Its attack is plus 2. Wait, no. It's level 71. Rx. It is brave. It is 264. 
Great, it has eight attack IVs. God damn. Against a Snorlax that is level 72 or 71, 71. Level 71. Level 71 Snorlax. It says it's a one-hit KO. It says it's a guaranteed one-hit KO. That's what it says. Yeah. If we're at plus two, it's a one-hit KO. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Is there a better Pokemon, though? Ah, you know, you're right. I'm gonna check the IVs of our Shroomish. Shroomish might be a good Pokemon to bring, and then our, we just use our, our thing as a backup. Plus attack, minus special defense. That's not great for Dark Pulses. Uh, Lickle Raid! Thanks for the little raid, Lickle! Appreciate it! Alright, I'm gonna check the IVs of this thing. Uh, Shroomish... It's currently level 15. Uh, its attack is... It's naughty. Literally almost the best it could be. Uh, 31, 22. Okay, it most likely has 20 attack IVs. Okay, 20 attack IVs. Uh, let's say we give it 252 in attack, and we level that thing up to level 72. Right? That is a, no longer a Shroomish, that is a what? What's it called? Breloom? Breloom? Breloom has 20 attack, but it has 252 EVs. It's level 72. It's 251 attack. Mm. We could probably get two swords dances out of that. So let's say we're at plus four. Right? Because we substitute the first turn, maybe. It just tries to toxic, toxic, toxic. It's at 251 attack. If it's at plus four and it knows mock punch as its only attacking move. Um. The problem is the Cacturn does have Focus Sash, but if we have our sub up, we're fine. Yeah. We have a sub up. What item should it have? I don't even know. Damage Calc, its ability, doesn't matter. Mock Punch against... I need to Calc a Mock Punch against the Snorlax, I think. The Snorlax is probably the biggest thing. Uh, I hate having to set this every single time. Snorlax level 71. Mock Punch is a guaranteed Oko at plus 4. Okay. Yeah, plus 4 it's a guaranteed Oko. Mm, okay, so I need to check... Shuckaberry is for Earthquake, but that'll one-hit KO obviously. We need to see if we can one-hit KO a level 71 Swampert as well. Let's check. Uh, Swampert. Blank set Swampert. Toxic Orb? No, we'll probably give it leftovers because they're going to toxic us anyways. Swampert, level 71. It's actually a two-hit KO. Even at, even at plus six, it's a two-hit KO. So that won't work. That will not work. Because uh, we'll need to deal with Cactor and Focus Sash. And Swampert. Even if we're at plus six, that won't work. 
because we're not going to outspeed. Swap out Substitute for Seed Bomb. We're not going to outspeed is the problem. And we need Substitute for Cacturn. Because Cacturn uh, is very strong. Is it still prep? Yes. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out the last Pokemon on the team. Spore is good? Yeah. Because, yeah, we could probably first turn Spore, get to plus six. Uh... If we max out Shroomish, maybe can outspeed. I don't know, dude. Let me check Breloom if any stats were changed. No, it wasn't changed. Yeah, no. It's not outspeeding anything. We can't risk that, at least. Maybe? Wait a minute. Capturn... Focus Sash. Cacturn has a Focus Sash, though. That's the problem. If we outspeed the Swampert, though, what's Swampert stats? Swampert is 60 speed. If we max out attack and speed... Doesn't Breloom learn Mach Punch? That's the only attacking move we have. If we get to plus six... Hmm... If we max out our speed, I think even Swampert can't outspeed us. This is probably a more this is probably a more reliable strategy, yeah. So what we're probably going to do with Shroomish is we're going to have it no Spore, Substitute, Swords Dance, Mock Punch. That's not good enough. Uh, Ice Shard and Mock Punch have the same priority, so we viable out speed. We have to have Substitute. This stream is so boring. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Never come back. Goodbye forever. Um, you know, you could have just been quiet. Right, I helped him. Don't worry. You have to get it to level 45 before learning Spore. You're wrong. You are wrong. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I think this is more consistent, but we need something to be able to take out the Swampert and outspeed it. The Cacturn's Focus Sash could be an issue. Ah, this might not work, because it because uh, of one Pokemon... Weavile 100% is breaking our sash. Or, yeah, sorry. Weavile 100% is breaking our uh, substitute. 100%. It's, it's ice sharding. It's breaking our sub. Then Cacturn comes in with a focus sash. And we can't kill it in one hit. Could you use a muscle band to increase damage? Yeah, maybe we could just give it like a fighting type thing. Deliberately get poisoned. Hmm. We can full restore this fight? Yeah, four times. What if we give Shumush a, ba a black belt? Then we're at plus six. Also, do we outspeed um, Umbreon?
No, or we... Yes, we do. <laughs> Isn't Shroomish just a backup? If it's more consistent, I would like to use it instead. Hmm. Could you change movesets after each battle? Yes, we could, for sure. <laughs> Are they guaranteed to use Toxic? Because... I need to check if a Dark Pulse would KO me. Oh, not even close. Oh, it's because Umbreon's special attack is absolute ass. Nice, so even a crit won't kill. Good. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, what if I give him a... Black Belt? Black Belt, Mock Punch. Uh, plus six. <laughs> it's a 18.8% chance to KO. It's a chance. That's so funny. Um, okay, but I need to check if this can one KO the Swampert now. Swampert. Length set. No, it doesn't. It does not KO. It, um... Spore, Sub, Sword, Stance, Mock Punch. It's a two-hit KO. So we couldn't have Sub. Yeah, this won't work. This won't work at all. We just did uh, four... We need five moves. For the Shroomish to work. Huh... Okay, what's a good backup? What I would like to do is not have to use Garchomp for the first battle, and have Garchomp as this just insane... Like, it comes in and can clean up if we are in a dire situation. That's what I think. So, is there any way we can set up on this Umbreon in another way? That is the worst nature. Um, honestly, I think Gyarados could do it. I'm pretty sure Gyarados could do it. Do it. Cause Gyarados, you you give it like um, you give it a lumberry, right? It's special defense is through the roof. You give it a Lumberry. Our Blaziken doesn't have speed boost. No, that's its hidden ability. We don't have that. Um, this is good backup just in case we need something else. Um, we give this thing... Uh, Earthquake doesn't take out the Empoleon. Swampert gets hit with a water move. Cacturn Weavile. Uh, we don't have any priority on this, and they got Ice Shard and Sucker Punch. That's not gonna do much, though, is it? Our defense is 139. Yeah, Gyarados can one-hit Snorlax with Dragon Dances. Yeah, this is the Elite Four? Yeah, this is the Elite Four. Lickle is still alive. are still live. <laughs> Forgot to end stream. <laughs> She's not though? She's not though? Oh, oh, that's good. That's good that she's not live. I'm trying to help you out, but you don't listen. Okay, Lampsauce. Give the Gyarados an inverted stun seed. You win the fight. Bro. Bro, it's not funny. I've been ignoring it. 
<laughs> Are you sure you don't want to include this? I don't know. Chad bag seating, yeah. <sighs> it's just so annoying. Ice Shard and Sucker Punch are such a big pain in the... <sighs> Have it hold Sash, so if we will break Sub and Sucker Punch, you get the Sash. I don't want to risk that. Is double team allowed here? I could be an ass and just double team. We could. Double team dragon dance. That would be really funny. That would be so funny. Stop farming and play. It's your first chat message, dude. It's not a good first impression. Come back tomorrow and try again. Um, it's kind of risky for a Nuzlocke. It really is. Sitting for a minute. Still don't know what the challenge is. It's in the title. Read it. Use your eyes. I know you can do it. Yeah, okay. Garchomp with Swords Dance. Extreme Speed Earthquake. Extreme Speed Earthquake. Swords Dance. Stealth Rocks. I'm pretty sure does it. I'm just so afraid of that Ice Shard. I don't know if, they, if they've if changed Ice Shard but not Extreme Speed. We need to test. Is there any way we can actually test that to find out? No, I don't think there's any way to test. How many of the Elite Four have you prepped for? All of them, but we're trying to get a backup for the first fight just in case. Because, yeah, this is for the first one. This is for the second one. These two are for the third one. Uh, these two, and that one is for the fourth one. Then, you'll yawn. Then, this one is for the champion, and we're just trying to find out our last slot. Giratina, almost everything is an ice move or crunch. Everything is ice or dark, so it's not really worth bringing a ghost type in. Uh, uh, uh. Extreme speed has a higher priority than ice shard. I don't know. Let me let me check real quick. I need to double check. Extreme speed. Gen 4. Extreme speed move. <clears throat> in, in generations 2 to 4, it has a priority of plus 1. It only has a priority of plus 1. In generation 5, it has plus 2 priority. I don't know if they changed it. This mod changed the priority of fake out. I don't know if it changed the priority of fake out and extreme speed. Because they we found out they changed the priority of fake out in a very terrible time. Is there a double battle you could test with? Here's the thing. The problem becomes... If they're the same priority and we're in a double battle... 
unless the Pokemon we're fighting against is faster. We don't know if Ice Shard will go first. Because if they have the same priority, then it's just the faster Pokemon. But Weavile is faster than Garchomp. So we need a Pokemon that both is faster than the Pokemon we're using Extreme Speed with. To know if Extreme Speed goes first. But then we also need to survive the Ice Shard. How about Blaziken? We have plus speed minus attack. It's Blaze. I think it can learn Swords Dance, but it doesn't have speed boost. Every move's priority was updated. I'm just going to check the Renegade Platinum documentation. Just so I know. Move changes. Okay. Move modifications. The numbers of all moves are updated to match Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Okay. So... That should mean we're guaranteed with this. Extreme speed is faster than Ice Shard. It says all moves priority have been updated. And we know Fake Out was updated, so most likely Extreme Speed was as well. So Extreme Speed, Earthquake, Garchomp will work. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna start with um We'll start with the Lumberry. It'll go for Toxic. The Lumberry will pop. We're good to go. They'll Toxic again. We'll Swords Dance. We'll Full Restore. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, hmm. What will we have to do here? I'm trying to think of how, how this is going to play out. They're going to Toxic first turn as we Swords Dance. We'll get healed. They'll Toxic again as we... S or, no, we Stealth Rock first turn. Hard to believe Ludwig beat this with the Love Disc. Love Disc was buffed an insane amount. I don't think you guys realize. It's base stat- 120 was added to its stats. Its special attack went from 40 to 95. Its speed went from 97 to 125. Dan! B Bapanada. You're playing Hollow Knight, I guess, huh? Thanks for the raid, Dan. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. Uh, but yeah, Love Disc was buffed an insane amount. Also, Water Fairy typing is just so good. Papanada. Have a good stream. Thanks, Dan. I am having a good stream. We're just doing the final preparations for the final five battles in this game. It's a nuz. It's my first nuzlocke of this. My first attempt. I don't want to lose and die. So, uh, I'm being very careful. Very, very careful. Um, those aren't insane stats? Yeah, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's not as bad as it seems at first. Yeah, if I lose 60 hours down the drain. But, let's go train our Pokemon up. What was Ludwig's time? I don't know, it took him a few months. If you lose, what do you do? Restart. <laughs> we restart. <clears throat> okay. So. Is he using the same Ludlock rules? Yes, the exact same rules. Is he not using rare candies? I am using rare candies. They're great. Mm 
Hmm. May Garchomp die? No, I don't want Garchomp to die. Don't forget about EVs, bro. You, I, that's the last thing I'm going to forget. Infinite rare candies? Yeah, you're not allowed to overlevel, but you're given infinite rare candies. How do you have 702 rare candies? Uh, so the way this, the way Nuzlocke's work in 2021 is that you're given infinite rare candies, but you cannot go over the level of the the next boss trainer. This makes it even more difficult than a regular Nuzlocke because you can never be over leveled at all. You're always, almost always, like under leveled. But it cuts out all the mindless grinding of fighting like level two Pidgeys. So, it cuts out all the mindless grinding and just makes you only strategize. So yeah, you're not allowed to grind and overlevel. And yeah, the opponents in this have insanely good teams as well. Like, they're incredibly competitive teams. Like, we're fighting against Umbreon level 71 with Leftovers. It is Synchronized, Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic Protect, a Weavile with a Life Orb. It is the Technician ability, which weakens up weak, or which strengthens weak moves. It has Ice Shard, Aerial Ace, Faint Attack, and U-Turn. Like, it's got crazy stuff. The AI is also better. Yes, it's Dom, dude. There's a lot of crazy stuff here. Eat dinner? Oh yeah, I guess food is ready. Okay. Wait, dumb or good? Like, the, they're... The AI is really good. The AI is, like, really, really good. Let's see. Is food ready? Okay. Would you recommend moving to Canada? It seems all right. Oh, there's pizza! 20 minutes ago, I got a message saying there's pizza on the counter. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a snack. One sec. We're so close to the end. The end is in sight, man. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. So, what kind of pizza did they get? Looks like a meat lovers and like a barbecue chicken kind of pizza. I think we have our team. I think I'll bring Techno. Techno just seems like a... Techno seems like a really good pivot. It's insane how many Pokemon have Thunder Punch, though. So many Pokemon have Thunder Punch. Electric's such a good offensive move, yeah. Just such a good typing overall. You're not bringing two level 25 Pokemon to the league. No, we're about to train them. It'll be like five minutes, though. So. so. Golem has Thunder Punch. Um, Rapidash has Wild Charge. Infernape has Thunder Punch. I swear, I just looked and there was like a million moves. Is that it? Never mind. Okay. Can 
Can I turn to Stone Edge? <laughs> what is Pancake's roll here? Pancake's roll is... Um... To sweep. Yeah. <clears throat> Pancake Gordon's Dragon Dance, so we're going to use it to clear out Elite Four member three and four. Three water types? It's not that bad. <clears throat> Beat your rival? Yes. Shatter. Thank you for the 50 bucks, dude. Keep up the amazing streams. I'll do my best. Wait, is Blastoise water steel? What? That's bad. No. Whew. Thank God. No, it's not. They didn't change it to water steel. That would have been really bad because that ruins my strategy for the third one. <clears throat> but yeah. Mm. This is for, for the first Elite Four member. This one is for the second. We open with this on the third to get rid of Drought on Ninetales. And then it's going to spam Solar Beam, but since it's raining, it won't matter. So we'll be able to um, just protect every second turn as we set up Dragon Dances. And then no Pokemon have priority, so we'll just be able to uh, Earthquake the whole team. Or, sorry, Waterfall, because I guess that's technically stronger. Mm. For the Psychic one, they have an Espeon with Psychic Ore, Sphere, Reflect, and Light Screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to open with the Focus Sash RX. We're going to Captivate, turn one. Mm. Yeah. We'll probably Captivate, turn one. We'll switch to Munch. So it can't get crit. And then we'll captivate, captivate. Can't get crit, so it doesn't matter. Um. Hmm. Yeah. We might switch into Luckiest. To go for a Yawn. We're going to straight into Special Defense, so we can take it even if it's a crit. To Yawn. Then we'll probably, like, protect on the Yawn. Switch into Pancake. Pancake will then substitute. Dragon Dance all the way up. Wait for their Reflect to wear out. And again, they don't have any priority. So we'll Waterfall and Earthquake through that team. Champion Cynthia comes out. There's a Spear Tomb that has Dark Pulse, Will-O-Wisp, Confuse Ray, Rest. We outspeed. We'll use Substitute turn one. Dark Pulse is going to do nothing, so we'll Substitute. And then all we need to do is just Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, and we win. <clears throat> and then Techno was there for support. Techno support, I guess. Hmm. Yo, Wyatt, thank you for those, the bits in the sub. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Is that gas station, Za? No. Let's get up 1 to 10. What are your chances? Like a 9.5.
Have you had homemade pizza? Yeah, my roommate makes it all the time. <clears throat> this one he didn't make, though. He ordered this one. Tell he didn't make it. You're enjoying it way too much. He makes incredible pizza. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> so. The Pokemon that Pancake is going to set up against. <sighs> Let me see. What, what is Wishcash's speed? I just need to check if I need to, uh, it's 60. Okay. At, like, plus 6, we're fine. <clears throat> I'm gonna check with Skash, see if it's been modified. With Skash, stats have not been changed, but learns Dragon Dance at level 45. Okay. So its attack is 78, but at plus 6, it's going to sweep most likely. What if they switch while you're setting up? We'll, uh, we'll cry a lot and then figure out what we got to do. <sighs> Man, this is going to be tough. Alright. We're going to buff. HP and something else. Yeah. We buff HP here. We also need a bunch of healing items? Yeah, we'll buy a bunch. Okay. Uh, promotes HP. So let's start with Pancake. When you do six of these. Yes. <laughs> Oh. I didn't think this through very well, did I? Mud bomb can miss. But we're fine. We need 10 healing items per Elite Four member? Yes, we do. Am I gonna run out of. Okay, time to teach an earthquake. <laughs> uh, where is earthquake? There it is. Mud bomb. Okay, good. Okay, did earthquake get nerfed? No, it did not. I believe we also need waterfall. And substitute. You're allowed healing items in battle. If the other trainer is healing items, we're allowed to use them. So, uh, each Elite Four member has four. So we're allowed to use four. So we're just going to go through six battles. This is battle number two. Thoughts on TMs being one use in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl? Stupid. Infinite TMs is one of the best changes they made to Pokemon. It's like one of my only complaints with Gen 4. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like I think we'll probably raise our... Hmm. Special Defense.
TMs are one-time use in the remakes? I don't know. Why the six battles? That maximizes our HP stat. Gives us all the EVs. Fills up our EVs. Uh, can you go past trainer level by grinding yourself? No. The point of a level cap is so you don't get over leveled. Man, seven hours in. Starting to... Go down. Does he pay the modders to do the awesome mods for Super Mario Odyssey and Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, I pay everybody that... I, any, Almost everything I do on stream, I paid for myself. Sometimes if I just find it, I'll... I'll uh, I don't have to pay for it because someone else made it already, but... Almost all the time, I have to I pay for all the mods that I use. This one I didn't pay for because Ludwig got it made. <laughs> yeah, also, instead of using rare candies, you could just use this trainer who has like level 65 blissies that kill themselves. They just know like healing wish. Yo, Z3, stop spamming that. That's battle number five. If you bring back one of your dead Pokemon, which one would it be? We had a really, really good Metagross at the start. That one died, that hurt. Metagross is just so good. Weakness to Earthquake sucked, but it's good otherwise. What? Pancake is evolving! Yo, your pancake evolved into a Whiskash! Thrash? No. Good. Gotta teach in the morning. Thank you for the 245 bits. It might not be on YouTube, but okay. Was that six? Was that the sixth battle? What happened to Metagross? It died. St stupid stuff. I think that was five? That was five, okay. A lot of people are saying five. I'll do one more just to be safe. Uh, it actually doesn't affect the training at all. It just wastes my time. You shouldn't rename Pancake to Waffle. Nah, it's named after someone in chat. <clears throat> okay, now we need to raise special defense. Alright, now we'll do six special defense battles, and then this one's done training. Did you lose half of your team? What did I miss? No? So, the way Nuzlocke's work is that you change your team depending on what you're coming up against. So, I've changed my team to be able to clear the Elite Four. So we just put stuff in the box. Yo, Visix. Welcome, welcome. I can definitely, I can start the Field of Fatigue right now, because, I mean, seven hours, the Ludlock is the one stream that it absolutely, by the time I'm done the stream, I am dead tired every single time I finish it, and it's just because it takes so much mental focus not to make a single mistake, because in a Nuzlocke, if you make one mistake, you can ruin the entire thing. It's just exhausting, man. Okay, Battle 2 done. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's just... It's a lot. It is a lot. After one month, does Prime charge me? No, if you use your Prime sub, uh, the next month it just won't sub. Keep old moves. You have your move set already. It's a prime sub, you say? Yeah. Okay, that was battle. I'm not sure which battle that is. Yeah, but you can manually resub every month with prime. Yo, speaking of shrimp, speaking of prime, shrimp and fuzzy panda. Thank you so much for the primes. Okay, here we go. This is battle number three. Double. Thanks for the prime. 
Okay, three done. More primes as you mentioned it. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm really nervous about the first battle. Umbreon doesn't have very good uh, stats to attack with, but I'm just really nervous about it for some reason. That was battle four? Okay, so I'm on to battle five now. Why does it call it high when they're only level 10? Um, so Pokemon gives different EVs depending on like what they are. This Pokemon gives three special defense EVs normally. Low, all the Pokemon give you one. Medium, all the Pokemon give you two. And high, all the Pokemon give you three. So it's a high EV training. So this is the last one. Mm, this trainer is specifically made for EVs, yes. <clears throat> Is that whited out yet? It's attempt one. I, if I whited out, it would be attempt two. Did the run die in the Elite Four? No, I haven't done the Elite Four yet. We're just doing the last bit of training. Okay, we're gonna switch you, item, take, then give. <clears throat> I think we do the same thing with Luckiest because we're only switching Luckiest in on special attackers, yes. Yeah, okay, so now we train up Luckiest for a minute or two. If you white out but still have Mons left in the box, can you continue with the attempt? No, that's not allowed. If you white out, you're done. Power weight is HP, right? This is attempt one. What does the title say? Train HP, hi, okay. Six battles with this, and then six battles with the other item, and then we're done. We're ready to go. Uh, this is gonna be a long battle. How many hours did it take for Ludwig to complete? I don't think he was tracking it. I don't think he had a timer up. Uh, do you ban everyone? With banned Pokemon? Yeah, if the Pokemon dies, you banned. Uh... Do we forget a move? Maybe? I don't think we need protect. I'm just gonna teach it like earthquake or something just to sweep through this real quick. Da -da -da. Or just like body slam. I just need a physical move. That's nah, not gonna work. Well, it's just a strong neutral move that I can learn. You probably can't learn any of these, can it? Brick Break? You can probably learn Brick Break, right? I... It's a, the fairy type, though. That'll work, right? Unable. Okay. Well, Psychic. Nope. Okay. Return? Sure. You're probably trash, though. If Infinite Heart Scales, the Move Tutor doesn't require you to have that. What battle were we done? Dig or Strength Works? Yo, actually, that's a good point. I don't know. How long you banned for until we beat it? Okay, that works. Little roll. Return is based on bond. Yep. Mm hmm. Which battle is this? I'm not sure which battle we're in right now.
I just finished two? Okay, so this is three then. Yeah. That was two, yeah, because the first battle sucked. Right, 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 Okay, so this is battle three. Gotcha. Out of curiosity, why don't it go on YouTube? I never... I don't know if it's going on YouTube or not. I have a... It's just because I have a massive backlog of Pokemon stuff right now, and there might be just better stuff. I got a huge backlog of Pokemon. Okay. So this is battle four. You just Pokehex and EVs? Nice. Nice. Okay. So it's five, I think, or that was four or five. I don't even know. Big backlog? Yes. Lots of good stuff coming up. How far do you have content planned for YouTube? Uh, the next video is the race we did with CJ yesterday. Uh, after that, it's Coliseum Part 2. After that, might be Minecraft. Uh, I'm not sure what's after that. That was Battle 5? Okay. I'm not exactly sure. Will we upload the 1550 PB? Yeah, Silver just needs to get to it. Coliseum Part 1, yeah, Coliseum Part 1 did way better than I expected. More people watched that than I thought. Is that Battle 6? Was that done? Do you still speed on Mario? Yeah, we did yesterday. That was 6. That was Battle 6, okay. Did Linkus stop? Yeah, Linkus stopped Minecraft. I don't know, just didn't feel like doing it, I guess. Yeah. Linkus and Simply, those are the two people that I was kind of doing. And I guess Eric did uh, it for a little bit as well. Is there a Coliseum Part 2 in the pipeline? It's already edited. I just want to, I don't want to upload two of the same video in a row because then, you know, if, if someone isn't sub for Pokemon, you know, they'll start to be like, ah, it's just another Pokemon video. So I like to split them up a little bit. So Coliseum 2 is already done. It's edited. I just need to look it over and render it. We're gonna find the Vod Coliseum. It's way back. Any more Breath of Wild coming up? Last one was good. I, the the hard thing is fitting it into one week. It's so difficult to fit Breath of the Wild in because I have so many other things that I want to do too. And there isn't too much incentive to do Breath of the Wild because videos generally don't do very well anymore. It it the uh, Breath of the Wild stuff it the interest in it died down like out of nowhere it was just like interest was super high and then i think eric and i just dumped out a ton of videos and like a few other content creators as well but i think it was mostly eric and i that were just dumping out videos like one a week boom 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 for like two months and then everyone's interest kind of died down or not everyone's but enough people's that it was very noticeable Okay. My Minecraft stuff is when, when you may come watch live streams. That's really cool. That's really cool. There is a Minecraft video coming out soon where I got all the advancements in under 12 hours. Do, do you aim to your videos to maximize viewership? I don't know what the question is. That was Battle 4? Okay. Were well, you not allowed to use vitamins? It's actually faster to do this instead. Crazy. But it's faster to do this than use vitamins. You wouldn't expect, but... Doing this battle, I just got more than all of the vitamins. Like, doing six battles, it also just lines it up a lot better. So this is Battle number 6. Vitamins give you plus 10, but you can only use them for the first 100, and then they do nothing. So I'd need to do, um, four battles of this anyways. So this just makes it so you just do six battles. You don't need to worry about any doing any math or thinking. You just do that many. Anyways, I think that was battle six. <clears throat> Alright. There's our Blastoise. 
Or a sphere. No. Why do you always paint train special defense and HP? I actually don't always do that. Um, so this one has... This one, I believe, is defense and HP. This one is attack and speed. This one was uh, special defense and HP because it is intimidate, so defense doesn't really matter that much. This one is special defense and HP just because we're fighting against Pokemon that use special attack. This one is defense and HP because we're fighting against Pokemon that use physical moves. And this one is uh, special defense. Okay. So we need to go do a few things right now. We need to go here. We need to reteach Curse. But yeah, HP. You pretty much always want to do HP in a Nuzlocke in defensive stats. <clears throat> uh, you, Munch, need Curse. Mm -hmm. Body Slam, good. Get rid of... Yeah, Curse, Synthesis, Body Slam, and something else. What was it? This one is for Neeper. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. No, this one we needed uh, Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb. Yes. Okay. And then we need to teach it Earthquake for the Cyndaquil. Okay. Earthquake for the Cyndaquil. You're good. Excellent. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. What's the idea behind Body Slam over another attacking move like Giga Drain? Uh, we're not using Body Slam. Isn't it better to max power so you can one-shot everything? No. So the way Nuzlocke's generally work these days is you have to have a set mode on. So you have to switch in and take at least one attack before doing anything, right? So what you have to do is have defensive Pokemon that can always take at least one hit even if it's a critical hit. Or you gotta have some like really tricky strategies to get around that instead. Or Seismitoad at? It doesn't exist. <sighs> is sub-60 possible? Um, Depends on how the fights go, but yeah, it is. Each fight will probably take about 5 or 10 minutes. Where's Klefki? I, Klefki is one of my favorite Pokemon. I really wish it was in this game. Okay. What if you stash focus sashes to take with you every fight? The thing is, the problem becomes when they have focus sashes as well. That's when uh, problems start to arise. Fairy type is added in this mod, yes, that's correct. 66. Seven. Eight. Is it on the VOD channel? Not yet. You can watch it on Twitch if you want, Plenish, though. Okay, special defense 184. Not great. HP is okay, though. <sighs> Just focusing on not using the rare candy on the wrong Pokemon. That's the reason why I didn't get it up to level 71 yet. Right before we'll get everyone to level 72. Okay, we're gonna learn Dragon Dance now. Get rid of Amnesia. What happens if it does? Uh, if the Pokemon goes over the level that we're allowed to use, then uh, we can't use that Pokemon anymore. I'd go and catch a shiny. Or we'd have to get a different Pokemon.
Is XP turned off? No. Okay. How long did it take Ludwig to do this nose lock? I don't know, like 30 attempts or something. It took him a few attempts. Okay, your water type, you have Drizzle. Um, we're gonna keep Yawn on you. I'm gonna give you probably Scald. I don't want to give it Surf because I want to be able to delete moves. Let's see, for the first battle, um, Swampert, Snorlax, Empoleon. Weavile, Umbreon. Mom! Thank you for the raid, Mom! Welcome, everybody, from Mom's stream. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I am gaming right now. I hope you enjoy that. Do we have Aura Sphere? Does Aura... Yes, okay. That'll be better. The return. Many raids today. Yeah, I mean, it is the finale. <laughs> okay. Um... We'll probably do Ice Beam as well. Instead of Bite. Are you winning? I am, yes. Three raids? Yeah, I think maybe four. Special attack 156, higher than attack, that's good. You have Seed Bomb, Kurt Synthesis, Earthquake. We're gonna get rid of that Light Clay. That defense is really bad. Um, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Earthquake, yes. We'll give you probably lefties as well. Where's the stab? It actually doesn't help in that next battle, because we were fighting against a lot of water and grass types. Um, RX is Brick Break, Earthquake. Uh, we need to get rid of Rock Climb. So we're going to go to the move deleter and get rid of Rock Climb right now. Okay, we're just doing the final little prep here. We still strategizing? No, the strategizing is done. You need to get rid of Rock Climb. Okay, you're slouching? Yeah, true. Okay, uh, we, oh, I forgot to teach it Extreme Speed. We need to teach it, oh, whoops. Let's go back at Extreme Speed. I've been streaming for seven hours, yeah. I have. How many attempts do you think the Elite Four will take you? One. If it takes me more than one, we gotta do 60 whole hours to get back there. Uh, RX. Extreme Speed. How much does Extreme Speed do? 80. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, we need extreme speed. We need to teach earthquake. It has earthquake. We need to teach it stealth rocks Or stealth rocks Did I pass it? No way I passed it. I would have seen it There it is God I'm scared. Why am I so scared? Heals allowed. We're allowed as many heals as the trainer that we're fighting has. So in almost every battle of the game, no. But for the Elite Four, we're allowed four full restores, which is huge and will help a good amount. Uh, we need Earthquake and Extreme Speed, right? Should I delete that yet? I think I should keep Brick Break just in case something goes wrong in Elite Four Aemon. No, we're going, but that's what we're starting with. Came from Crow. Hey, what's up?
Reattempts at Nuzlocke tend to take a lot less time. Yeah, but I didn't really make too many mistakes, it feels like. Okay, so you have Ice Beam, Aura Sphere, Yawn, Captivate. Uh, you need to have a Lumberry. Do we have any Lumberries? Or a Pecha Berry. Yeah, Pecha Berry works. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna go grab, uh, two more Focus Ashes. I don't know why. But just so I have the comfortability to know that I do have them. You know? Okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna go get two Focus Sashes. Good. Um, now, the thing is... Almost all of the Pokemon in Aemon <sighs> Like one has Grass Knot. I don't know, man. Okay, I, I, I need to talk through this again one more time. You have a Pecha Berry, so first turn, we're gonna fight against an Umbreon. It has Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. It has Synchronize and Leftovers. First turn, it will Toxic, because it cannot get the kill, no matter what. The maximum it can do is 60%. So it will use Toxic. Um, I will be using Swords Dance. I will be healed by the Pecha Berry. The next turn... The next turn, I will Swords Dance again, as it will use Toxic again. No, no, I have to use Stealth Rock first turn. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. The first turn I have to use Stealth Rocks. First turn I have to use Stealth Rocks. Petcha will pop, because Toxic. The next turn I will use Swords Dance as we get toxic again. What has changed the plan since two hours ago? Nothing. Why not pre-burn a regular poison? We want it to waste turn with Toxic. We want it to poison me so it wastes its turns. So we Stealth Rock and then Swords Dance. Okay. Then, what we're able to do, uh, we want two Swords Dances. Uh, then we'll get toxic after we Swords Dance the first time. We will be able to take one more um, what if it doesn't Toxic? I believe it has to use Toxic, or Dark Pulse. If it uses Dark Pulse, I believe we can just... F I don't know. It won't. It, I don't- I think it has to use Toxic. It, they prioritize, uh, status moves. So yeah. It'll Toxic, Petra Berry pops, we Stealth Rocks. That's the first turn done. Stealth Rocks are up. I don't have an item. It uses Toxic, I use Swords Dance. Um, I don't know Snorlax's EV spread, so I would like two Swords Dances to guarantee a KO on that. So, um, because I'm toxic that turn, what do I have to do here? Because I'm going to have to fit a full restore in there somewhere. I think I get toxic one turn, I take one eighth of my HP, then I take... Or, yeah, I take 1 16th and then 1 8th. It can deal a third maximum. Two thirds. Okay. So. Does he have this written down? No. It's 1 16 first. Yeah, so I'll deal. I'll take 1 16th of my health that turn. The next turn, it's either going to protect or it's going to dark pulse. If it dark pulses, it's kind of bad. But we'll probably Swords Dance a second time and allow it to Dark Pulse us. 
We will then full restore to get rid of the toxic. As it either protects, wishes, or dog pulse. I don't think it'll use wish because it hasn't taken any damage yet. It'll either dark pulse or protect, depending on what it did. Um, hopefully, uh, then we should be able to one shot it with earthquake. Then Weavile will come out with Ice Shard. We'll one shot the Weavile with extreme speed plus two. We outspeed the Ice Shard. Uh, after that, Empoleon will come out. We will earthquake the Empoleon. We'll earthquake the Snorlax. We'll earthquake the Swampert. We'll uh, extreme speed the Cacturn because that is Sucker Punch. What do you sound so stressed? Everything about this, the last 60 hours of my, of these streams, always upon these next five battles. So that deals with the first member. The next one is Neeper. Neeper has a Hapowdon that has Sandstream. It has Earthquake, Crunch, Stealth Rocks, and Slack Off. Most likely it will Stealth Rock first turn. I will Curse. The next turn, it will attack. I need to use Curse again. We cannot get hit with a critical hit because of my ability. So Curse is forever. We can never get critical hit after that. If we can get at least three Curses and they don't switch, which they shouldn't because Earthquake is neutral. We need to get three Curses. We cannot lose the battle. There is literally no possible way we can lose the battle if we get three Curses up, which we should. They shouldn't switch out. Hapaldon should set up Stealth Rocks and then it should attack. Oh, sorry, it'll use Crunch. Sorry. I'm gonna use six curses if I can, though, of course. Um, if... So that's fine. Uh, we need to get rid of the item that you have, though. We need to give you... Leftovers. Yes. I believe Leftovers is in the box. <sighs> crunch can lower defense. Yes. That's okay, though. That's totally fine. As long as it doesn't... As long as we don't get astronomically unlucky and it lowers defense, like, eight times in a row. But I don't think that's even possible. Like, the, the luck to have that would be so stupid. It, like, at that point, you just reset. The universe is against you. Synthesis will have lower healing in Sandstorm. I never considered that. That's true. Uh, thank you for the reminder. I forgot that. Good to know. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we need to PP max everything as well. Um, it does in rain too. That doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll have to PP max everything. I'm gonna do that now. think. Do we need to teach anything to our Pokemon beforehand? I need to 
fly. Feed Lud lose, yes. I'm so focused right now. Sorry, I just I'm I'm a little stressed. <laughs> We need to buy a f 10 full restores for each trainer. Okay, so we have 10 for the first first one. 10 for the second one. So we need six after the battle, just in case, and four during the battle. Good. Okay. Bye. We'll need... How many do we have? 20? Okay. That's another 20, so that's 10 for the battles, and then we'll need 4 for Cynthia. Yes. Okay. Battle animations have always been on. Because I can use as many potions as it can do. What about put a burn orb on Garchomp to ignore the toxic? No, we want to get toxic, so they waste a turn. We want them to toxic us, so I can swords dance, the f or so I can stealth rock first turn for free. Okay, we need these as like backups just in case. So I think we'll just give both of these maybe focus sashes. We need to have at least one focus sash saved for RX so we can captivate later. We'll boost everything to 72, because 72 was our level limit. What are the odds of winning? <clears throat> I believe the only way we lose is if I misunderstand how the mechanics work. In some way. I would say there's a 5% chance we lose here. But if everything works as I understand it does, we have a guaranteed win. But only if everything works as I think it is. Okay, cool. You can level past 72 during a battle. Yes, you can. Have Shell Smash with Blastoise. Bro, that doesn't exist. Like, I think the only thing that could go terribly wrong is if we get Dark Pulse crit twice in a row in the first battle. That would be really bad. Uh, I'm gonna check the learn set on you, Techno. Earthquake, Waterfall, Dragon Dance, Crunch. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dark Pulse could flinch. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's good. We're gonna outspeed. Dark Pulse can't flinch. Ow. Yeah, we're faster. Dark Pulse can't flinch. It's an Umbreon. Do I have everything I need? But what about Assault Vest Gyarados? I don't think Assault Vest exists. <sighs> Can Guard Jump Dive gets hit with a Dark Pulse crit and Toxic? No. Dark Pulse at most, I think, deals 68. <sighs> if it's a crit.
Okay, we got our 44 full restores. That's the exact amount we need. We need to level up to level 40 or 72. Yeah, that's true. Revives. <laughs> Good one. Um, you have a Petra Berry. Did anyone need a Lumberry at any point? Or no? You outspeed. Guaranteed. You have Substitute and Dragon Dance. Yes. So you'll need that for Spiritomb. Fly and Earthquake should take those out. Yes. Da, 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 da. Aura Sphere is a backup. Lefties. Yawn. You have Yawn, that's good. Captivate. You actually can't do anything with Captivate. Literally, Captivate does nothing. I should teach it a different move. There's anything else. Uh, aura Sphere, Aura Sphere. Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Aura Sphere, Aura Sphere. Like, literally anything else. That's not gonna help at all. Scald? Yeah, sure. Okay, we have a Focus Sash. Uh, we're gonna need a Focus Sash for... Uh, Luckiest. We're gonna need a Focus Sash for RX. In case we get crit twice, or crit on one of those. For when we're fighting the Espeon. Uh, Munch doesn't need a Focus Sash, it just needs Leftovers. You have the Petra Berry. You have Leftovers, you have Leftovers. You have leftovers. We can just full restore you if you get outsped somehow. Okay. Techno is like a backup to a backup to a backup. You know, item for RX after he uses the Petra Berry? Yeah, he'll hold a focus sash. I'm gonna get one more focus sash. In case everything goes wrong. If everything goes wrong, we'll need one more. Fly optimal? Yeah. It yeah it is. Fly does 100 damage and it's 100 accuracy in the tech. Need 15 more thousand. Ha, da, da, da. Can you save after all this prep? No. If we mess up, we can't go back to our save. If we mess up, we restart the whole game. All 60 hours down the drain. Oh, if the game crashes, yeah. It would take that long to get back? Probably not. I'd be really reckless and rush through it again. Dun. 
listen to the music for a few minutes. Level 72, I know. Okay, I'm gonna say this now. If we need them, I'll just hack in Lepa Berries because we're allowed to. Alright. I'm just gonna hack in Lepa Berries because I could hack them in now. I could go pick up a Lepa Berry, get a million of them. Right? I'm just gonna acknowledge that. If we need it, we'll do it. I don't want to take the time to do it, though. Level 72 is the cap. Let's get to level 72. Be very careful not to misclick here. Okay. I'm going to do a save state just in case. Like a hard save state, right? Like save a file. Why are we wreck any stressful? If we overlevel at all, we can't use that Pokemon. <clears throat> we have 44 full restores. I need to heal to restore PP, apparently. Yeah, one misclick and we have to find a new Pokemon. What's level cap again? 72. Level Caps to Elite 4 members, 72, 73, 74, 75, 78. 
Are the teams edited? Yeah, they're incredibly competitive, difficult, well-crafted teams. Why six full restores after every battle? Uh, one for each Pokemon, potentially. Because you you can use up to four in a battle. So if we use all four in a battle, and then at the end of the battle, every one of our Pokemon is injured in some way, we can use them. We do a prediction. Will Small Ant beat the game? hide my phone so I can't get distracted by it. I need to block everything out. I don't want to accidentally misclick. It's alright, I got the prediction. Two minutes. Prediction starts now. <clears throat> After 60 hours, we have done so much prep. I'm not turning emote only mode on. You guys might remind me to do something. You're bringing ethers. If we need them, I'll just get lepa berries. I'll hack in lepa berries. That's fine. You're, I'm, I'm allowed to do that. I can also just reteach TMs, yeah. Does he not have to fight Barry? I did that at the start of the stream. We did that at the start. That was the first two hours of prep. We've been prepping for the last six hours for the Elite Four. I did talk to the TM guy. We're good on that front. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks for the prime.
Where his ears at though? Let's go. I love gamers. They're nasty, mean, but beautiful. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here? It's because I want to become gamer, just like Shroud. Okay, let me take you on. Show me how you've grown. First turn, we stealth rock. We hope it uses toxic. Good. Second turn. We swords dance. As it toxics again. This turn. We swords dance again as it either dark pulses or protects. If it crits, we're fine. We can full restore next turn. Good. Actually, that's not, that's probably a worst case. I full restore now. So that's plus four, right? Plus four guaranteed KOs everything. Your dark pulses? No, double protected. Okay. Now we earthquake. That's fine. Could have got another one, but it doesn't matter. Full health, that's good. You could probably take an Ice Shard from Weavile still. Eh, it's Life Orb Technician, probably not. Okay. If we level up in this battle, that's fine. Weavile. It will be using Ice Shard, Extreme Speed. If the documentation is correct, Extreme Speed has been updated, so we should outspeed an Ice Shard. If we don't outspeed, the documentation is incorrect, and I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. Thank God. <sighs> that was the thing that I was most concerned about for this battle. Good. It is fine if we level up during this battle, I said, as well. And Polyon has Ice Beam. We can Earthquake. Yes. I forgot about that. It should still KO. But I forgot about that. Please.
Swampert with the dab. Hitting the dab. Earthquake. The worst this thing could do is waterfall, but I don't think it survives. Good. Earthquake should be a guaranteed toll. Guaranteed KO. <sighs> okay. This is Sucker Punch. So we have to extreme speed. Okay. First one down. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Got this, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Synthesis, curse, seed bomb, earthquake. Yes. We level up everyone once. I don't think there's any situation in which we need 11 earthquakes. Sea bomb's 100% accuracy, yes. Okay. Seventy-three is the cap, yes. Yes. So I just I couldn't remember if Protect was a TM or not, for whatever reason. And we need it for the battle after this. 
<clears throat> Rolling River, thanks for the five subs. Crit, so focus sash isn't necessary. Focus sash, leftovers, 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 leftovers. Old lady, what you've learned. Okay, Neeper. <sighs> Synthesis only heals 25%. Remember that. 25%. Stealth Rock first turn, please. It should. It should. Good. We need at least three curses. Good. No defense drop. Good. Two. We guaranteed win now. I play wrong, we have a guaranteed win in this fight. Lock on wood, or whatever. Four. There's no reason not to do more, because we're going to heal more and more each turn. And we'll be at full health for... Uh, Rhyperia, which is going to come out next. You just don't want to see a defense drop. And that's six curses. Beating a crit? We can't get crit. We have an ability that makes it so we can't get crit. That's why we're using this Pokemon, even though we're slower. We have shell armor. Okay, now we'll seed bomb. No defense drop, please. Good. Good. <clears throat> this went well. Do you need all six? No, I didn't. The score. Interesting. Weird. I guess maybe wing attack or X scissor? That's strange. Doesn't matter. 
Very strange. Why is it strange? They have a Rhyperior with Ice Punch. It's Choice Banded. I should have switched that in. Because this is going to do more. I guess we'll do a fair bit. It's Choice Banded. He has 140 attack. It'll probably deal a quarter. Yeah. That's the most any Pokemon on the team can do, other than um, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil will come out next, maybe? No, Whiskash has a super effective move. Whiskash, probably. Yeah. Another Seed Bomb. It'll either bounce or Dragon Dance. Doesn't matter. Freeze would have been devastating. No, I can just full restore. Literally didn't matter. Okay. I'm just hoping we have to deal with Syndical last. Syndical last would be good. But most likely Golem's gonna not come out. So I think, er, we'll see. That's actually super good. Okay. That's a lot of pressure off. Uh, seed Bomb, it's going to Stone Edge? No, it Earthquakes. Okay. It's fine. <sighs> Cyndaquil or Typhlosion? Cyndaquil. It's deliberately really weak. Um, it does Fear Strats. It has, like, Endeavor Quick Attack. But, uh, because in the Sand, Endeavor... KO is a Pokemon. What? Oh, okay. That's fine. Literally doesn't matter. We'll gain more HP than he dealt. It survived it out of Focus Sash. Uh, doesn't Golem have Sturdy? No, this one is Rockhead, and Sturdy doesn't work that way in this gen. Does that look furious? I'm just focused. I'm very focused. Lots of stress. Uh, it's going to endeavor, but it'll endeavor first, so we might as well earthquake. So we're gonna lose some HP here. But that's fine, because it'll hold, hold on with its focus sash, and then the sandstorm will take it down. Nipper said Syndical was his favorite Pokemon, so they did. <laughs> Endeavor quick attack? That's so funny. Well, they all have their favorite Pokemon on the team. Is Slime's favorite Pokemon Quagsire? That's disgusting. <sighs> Battle 2 done. Battle was very easy. Yeah, if everything went well, great, it was really easy. If we got crunch defense drops, if we got frozen, could have been, uh, could have went differently. Is this slower? This has to be slower than Ninetales for this to work. I just realized.
way faster. There's no chance that it's slower. There's literally zero chance. Okay, good. I need to teach Pokemon Protect. Instead of Substitute. Yes. Lucky use. I'm just making sure that I have everything here. Yawn, I guess? No, no! We are not getting rid of Yawn. Oh my god. Who do you think you are? We get rid of Aura Sphere. We don't need Aura Sphere anymore. Should get rid of Ice Beam. Yeah, I think we get rid of Ice Beam because we can teach it back. PP Max Protect. Yeah, yeah, okay. <sighs> we can level up one more time. Yes. Level 74, Slime. What's next? After Neeper? Yes. Slime has a level 74 Meg Mortar. Yes. If you have so many candies, why not make them all level 100? You can't make them higher than the Elite Four members' highest. So you can't just make them all level 100 and make it super easy. I shouldn't have talked during that. It didn't matter, but I shouldn't have. You have Drizzle, you have Protect, you have Scald and Aura Sphere. No one else has Drought. No. Motor Absorb, remember that. Slime looking kind of good though, yep. <clears throat> Leftovers, you have Dragon Dance, Protect, Waterfall, Earthquake. Good. You have a Sash? Yep. You have a Sash? Yep. You have Leftovers? Yep, an Earthquake. You have Leftovers and Earthquake? Yes. Probably the riskiest strat that I have the least confidence in, but someone guaranteed me that it will work. But I have the least confidence in this specific battle. <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, 
Yeah, remember, we can always throw that... We can always throw him in a van if it fails. That's leading, yes. Let's do it. Yo, look at him. You're facing a fire-type user with me. Let's slime see how hot your spirit burns. <laughs> He's got a sick beard, doesn't he? Look at that. He's looking good. Oh my god, the muscles! Is this di- Was that hanging? Bro. Bro. Okay. So, I believe they're guaranteed to use Solar Beam on this turn. Which should charge it up. So, we need to switch so I can protect next turn. Is that correct? I need to switch right now. No! That is so bad! Actually, no, it's not. Why the hell did it use Confuse Ray? Somebody lied! That- that completely ruins the strategy! I can full restore, but... Cause it, they said it was a guaranteed KO, so they have to use Solar Beam. This could ruin everything. I need to not speed up, not speed up. Okay, don't use Confuse Ray. I can't pee pee stall because I can't pee pee stall because Confuser has more than Solar Beam and it'll switch out before it it uh, it'll switch out. Okay, I have a backup. I have a backup. I have a backup. I have a backup. Yawn. Why did it moonblast? It's not doing what it's supposed to do. I actually need to ban that dude. No speed up, right. The rain is messing with the AI. I need to check stats. 195 special defense, 256 HP. 172, okay. Giving bad advice that seems ban worthy? They said ban me if I'm wrong. That's what they wanted. Scald works? No, we can't. I did not prepare for any of the Pokemon on their team. I prepared to set up on this Ninetales. Maybe it's because- maybe because Solar Beam isn't a one-hit KO. This may be fine, this may be okay. I need to not speed up. 
It, it, it might be because uh, because I raised up my special defense so much that Solar Beam wasn't a one hit KO. That's probably what it was. That has to be it. That has to be it. That's the only explanation. That's the only thing that it could have been. We need to, I think, use six of these. You should still ban them. I'm not going to ban them. They were, they, they, they're really nice. <clears throat> uh, even if we get a crit Moonblast, I think we're fine. Really bad. How many do we have? Okay. Why? Okay, that's really weird. That is so weird. Okay, we've used three dragon dances. I don't think three is enough. Um, I'm gonna dragon dance again, cause we can we can take a uh, a moon blast crit. Yeah. Because we can full restore. If they confuse Ray, we can always full restore. Good. Okay. We'll protect next turn. That's what it's supposed to do. Back to pretty much full health. Good. Good. Uh, I don't think we can Dragon Dance one more time, because if Confuse Ray's me, I don't think I can Full Restore Confuse Ray if I'm at full HP. So... I think we have... To, I think we have to Waterfall now. Five should be enough. Everything is super effective, except for a Quagsire. Yeah, we have super effective moves with everything except Quagsire. Is Quagsire physically defensive? I'm gonna calc Quagsire right now. Quagsire is level 73. Defense is 151. What's its nature? We don't know it. Let's just assume it's uh, defensive. Against uh, Pancake. Um, Whiskash. Blank set. Level 74. It's at uh, Pokemon. Do not switch. Summary. Has 131 attack. It's at plus five. Earthquake. Thirty-seven percent chance to one hit KO. We have to do it one more time. <clears throat> we have to do it one more time. It's 
Solar beam, come on. Solar beam, solar beam, solar beam, solar beam, solar beam, solar beam, solar beam. Yes. We had to do it. It wasn't greed. It was literally required. Protect. We don't have to protect, but I'm going to do it anyways, just in case it doesn't kill for whatever reason. Yes. Waterfall. Good. We out speed. Yep. Is an earthquake squat stronger? Not in the rain. In the rain, waterfall is stronger. But we have to use uh, Quagsire's water absorb, so we're gonna have to earthquake that. Rapidash. Oh, this is Flame Body. Rapidash and Meg Mortar had Flame Body. Jesus. What? I should have earthquake. There was no reason not to earthquake there. That would have ruined everything. 100%. Because Quagsire... Uh, it would have toxic, actually. We would have been fine. Yeah. Oh, no, it couldn't have toxic. It would have had to have earthquaked or waterfalled. It would have waterfalled and one hit KO'd us, wouldn't it? Damn. Well, we got lucky. Couldn't one shot me with waterfall? It might have. Stab waterfall in the rain. There's a chance. I haven't raised my defenses at all. With the crit, it would have. Nice. Okay. So member three down. Woo, burnt right down to cinders. You need to have a Focus Sash. You need to have... Leftovers? Yes.
Okay. Um, don't need to increase Dragon Dance at all. This one is another Waterfall and Earthquake Sweep. Uh, actually, no, it's not. They have Sandstream. Do we one-shot a level 74 Bronzong? best you can do is Zen Headbutt. Or Reflector Light Screen. Okay. Okay, we need to level everyone up once. I need to check items. You hold the Focus Sash. You hold the Leftovers. You hold the Sash. You hold the Leftovers. You hold leftovers, you hold leftovers. Okay, almost done. We now need to teach some moves. Um, we need to teach Substitute. Where is Substitute? There it is. To you, yes? Yes. Is there a reason specifically why we're using Pancake instead of someone else? Why not Techno? Maybe Sandstorm. So we get rid of Protect. We need to teach two things. Captivate. You? Yes. Stealth Rock. Yes. I think it's a sash, right? Correct. Okay. But we also need to teach you captivate. Seed bomb does nothing except for take out the bronzong. But if we're in with the bronzong. If, if this is the only thing we have against the Bronzong, we're fucked anyways. So here's the way this battle is going to go down. Arx is going to go in and going to captivate. If they get a psychic critical hit, it'll survive. Because it has a focus sash. That's the first captivate. Munch is going to come in. We know Munch can take a Psychic now because its, it's a special attack has been reduced by half. So when we're free to capti captivate more to bring it down, we cannot get hit with a critical hit. So this is fine. We'll be able to captivate two more times. Synthesis however we need. Then after that, we're going to switch into luck Luckiest. We have a Focus Sash, so the if we switch in... And the Espeon gets a critical hit, we will survive, we'll yawn, and then protect. We'll put it to sleep. That will give a free switch into Pancake. We'll be able to set up a substitute. Yeah, Synthesis will not be doing 25%. No, it'll be 50% because the weather hasn't started yet. We will be using Substitute, which guarantees us a Substitute because it is asleep. It won't be waking up that turn. And then we'll Dragon Dance as much as we need to. We'll Substitute if it ever breaks my sub because we will outspeed after a Dragon Dance. After six Dragon Dances, we can Waterfall the Espeon. We can Earthquake the Tyranitar, Waterfall the Bronzong, Earthquake the Alakazam, Earthquake the Metagross, Earthquake the Gallade. <coughs> Won't Garchomp set up Sand? No, it does not have that ability. <clears throat> Magic Bounce Espeon. No, it has Synchronize. And it is totally fine if our Blastoise gets asleep. 
Doesn't matter. So we need to level up our Pokemon once, and then we're going into the next battle. Earthquake deal with Tyranitar at plus six. I don't think there's any chance it won't. What about first turn wake up? Uh, that won't happen. Because the first turn won't happen and it doesn't happen. If Espeon gets a crit on the switch into Blastoise, you can still yawn. No. It'll kill me. It outspeeds. Magic Bells doesn't... Okay, wait. 75. I cannot mess this up at all. All of these Pokemon are pretty critical. PP max, right? Okay. <sighs> Just in case they change something to screw with people, I'm gonna teach Cash to captivate to one Pokemon that is the opposite gender. Uh, we're gonna teach captivate to Luckiest, I think. of Aura Sphere here. Just in case. Aura Sphere doesn't help us at all. Focus Sash. Captivate. Leftovers. Captivate. Focus Sash. Captivate. Leftovers. Captivate. Focus Sash. Captivate. Yawn. Protect. Scald. Substitute. Dragon Dance. Waterfall. Earthquake. We have enough PP. Fly. Earthquake. Substitute. Dragon Dance. Earthquake. Waterfall. Dragon Dance. Crunch. PP Max Captivate, there's no way we use it a million times like that. We need to use it three times. Captivate, if you're the opposite gender, lowers the special attack of the Pokemon you're fighting. This is Nick. Nick is terrifying. Cynthia is after Nick. <sighs> Psychic types. Let's do this. I'm not forgetting anything. Everyone has items. Everyone's been leveled up. Let's do it. I'm the toughest elite form. I'm afraid I'll have to go out all against you to live that reputation. I missed his custom text. It's mail. Good. 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 Awesome. Good. No speed up, no speed up. Don't you speed up. Don't you speed up. Okay, so now it can't crit me. Mm -hmm. If it switches right now, we are so fucked. But it shouldn't. It should use Psychic.
I did a decent amount, but now it's doing less. It has light clay, yes. at minus six so we switch into luckiest now to yawn no crit no crit please even if it crits we survive this I think I don't know fuck it yawn if it crits, I'm going to scream. Good. We protect now. Good. Yeah, it's asleep. We switch into Whiskash. We guaranteed get at least one turn for sub. Reflect War off. It'll try and use Reflect then. Instead of Attack. That's awesome. So we set up a sub. Nice. Lefties, light screen will off. It'll use light screen next turn. So we can dragon dance. We need to do it six times. I use psychic. No crit. Awesome. <clears throat> now we shut out speed, so even if our sub breaks, we're fine. There's light screen. Good. Good. No speed up. Yeah. Good. So we've used two. Now we'll use three. Is SP on still faster? What the hell? Sub didn't break. Awesome. Is Reflect okay? No, we need to wait for Reflect to run out. Okay, we outspeed now. Good. Does he have Psych up? That'd be hilarious, but no. Break it. Yep. That's fine. Because we got speed now. So there's substitute. Even if it crits, we're fine. More dragon dances. I don't know when um, Reflect wears off. It might wear off this turn. We need to keep an eye on it. As long as this is not a crit, it won't break it. Good. No crits. Did Reflect wear off yet? I'm not sure. That's six. We're going to hope Reflect wears off this turn. Aura Sphere. Did they run out of Psychics? Interesting. Don't break the sub. Good. And the Reflect wore off. Perfect timing. Let's go. Okay. Literally perfect timing. 
Yeah, we use six. We can waterfall. Yes. Waterfall will deal more because it's in the rain. There you go. We have the sub up, so even if uh, uh, Alakazam outspeeds somehow, we're fine. That's the only one that could possibly outspeed us. Alakazam, because uh, it's timid. I don't think it will, but it could. We still waterfall this, right? Life Ward, Timid, Magic Guard, Psychic Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, or Sphere. Rain is still up, so we'll waterfall. Yes. And we outspeed. Good. Good, good, good. So a lot of stress off. Guaranteed Oko. There's no shot he survives this. He was just outspeeding, I was a little concerned about, but I mean, we're at f times four speed. There's no way he has 400. I don't know why I was scared. The lights we are off. Oh no. Uh, we want to see Bronzong before Tyranitar. This is Leaf Blade. I don't think it's going to outspeed, though. 60 hours in. Let's go. Do -do -do -do. Good. Now there's only Tyranitar and Bronzong left. Please show me Bronzong first. Good. Oh, sorry, and Metagross. Good. This means Waterfall is going to do the most amount of damage because it does Levitate. Awesome. This is Impish. I believe that raises defense, doesn't it? Or special defense? I don't know. This should KO. If it doesn't, it might just reflect. If it reflects... Oh shit. But it shouldn't survive. No, good. Good. Impish is special defense. Impish is plus defense minus special attack. Okay, good. Everything worked out. That's good. This is going well. Metagross. Okay, now I believe Earthquake does more here, so we will Earthquake. It doesn't have Air Balloon or anything. Levitate. It has Mad... His Iron Fist, it's naughty, it has a muscle band, Zen Head, but Meteor Mash with quick agility, Earthquake. Good. And finally, Tyranitar comes out to finish. It's fine if he levels up. Doesn't matter. Next level cap is 78. Now, Waterfall is going to do less, so we have to Earthquake here. Because it's not raining anymore. Okay, that's the Elite Four done. It's just Cynthia now. Hmm. It's just Cynthia. If I was trying to need Elite Four, that's fine. Retsuka is going to come out, and Techno, just here for the support. If everything goes well, this should work fine. So what we're going to do is just, uh, we're specially defensive, 
We have a lot of HP. We're gonna substitute on the Spear Tomb, who will either Will-O-Wisp or Confuse Ray first turn. We'll sub on that, so his uh, Will-O-Wisp or Confuse Ray does nothing. And then we'll Dragon Dance six times. To which we'll be able to Earthquake and fly everything. Yes. Time to level everyone up, though. Uh, we need to get rid of moves that we don't need. Like, we don't need Captivate, so I'm just going to get rid of that. We're going to get uh, Ice Beam back. You. Instead of Captivate, you need Ice Beam. Yes. You have a Focus Sash. Yes. You have Leftovers. You have Leftovers. You have Leftovers. Good. You have a Focus Sash. Awesome. Uh, Techno, we got rid of a move. I'm not sure which one we got rid of. I think we got rid of... No, we didn't get rid of one. We got rid of a move on you. What did we get rid of? Sword Stance. Stealth Rocks. Okay. Um, just in case we're up against the... Let's see. Earthquake deals with... Earthquake deals with Roserade, Lucario, and Garchomp, or Lucario, Roserade. Earthquake deals with Milotic, Lucario, Roserade. We'll do some to the Garchomp. Um, what should I... Uh, they don't have screens. Brick Break won't do anything. Probably Dragon Claw just in case for Guard Chomp. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because we can Dragon Claw and then Extreme Speed to finish it off. Or no, we won't be able to because it has. We'd have to Earthquake, because it has rough skin. Huh. We'd have to Earthquake. That's fine. Okay. Munch, we need to give you your Earthquake back, I think? Or what can we give you? Oh, you got... Oh. Earthquake... Can I give you, like, Giga Drain or something? Just the Milotic can't- oh, you have Milotic as Ice Beam. Never mind. Curse Synthesis Earthquake. Just in case we need to, like, Curse set up somehow. What are we gonna get rid of? Um, Earthquake deals with- we need something to deal with the frickin'... I don't know. We're screwed if we have to use much in this battle. Absolutely screwed. Um, but... We'll give it... <laughs> Blood Seed. Yeah. Deals at least... at least 50. It'll deal... It's 100% accurate. We gotta give it a Sash then, if we're having it go up against the, uh... Milotic. Seed Bomb isn't a TM. Yeah, we don't- we can't- we have to use Bullet Seed instead of straight- uh, instead of that, but it's a physical move. It's a physical attacker. Grass Knot would be good. No, it's special. We don't have any special attack. Okay, we can level up to level 78. Yes. PP Max Ice Beam, we're not going to survive that many hits. Six. 
Leveling up in battle is fine. Leveling up, I've been told, is is totally fine. If you level up above the max, it's fine. They they don't uh, they don't. It doesn't matter. You're allowed to level up in battle. If I lose this fight, I have to start the whole game over from the beginning, yes. Came from Lud, let's go! the odds of brute forcing it? It depends on where the, the strategy fails. If this, if the strategy fails, the odds are, if the, if the strategy fails at Spiritum, we don't win. We don't win. If the strategy fails at Spiritum, we lose the battle. If it fails halfway in, it's like a 50-50. Max level is 72? No, max level is 78. Let's do this. I think we're ready. I just need to double check. Okay, save in case it crashes. Leftovers. You have Substitute and Dragon Dance, Earthquake and Fly. Yes. We'll outspeed... We'll outspeed the Spirit Tomb. The Spirit Tomb will be using either Will O Wisp or Confuse Ray. I believe with Substitute, none of those do anything. From there, we'll be able to Dragon Dance a bunch. Uh, it will try to break the Substitute, but it won't do much because we have both our special attack, our special defense, and HP maxed out. Um, <clears throat> uh, once we're at plus six with Dragon Dances, we're allowed to use four full restores in this battle. Um, once our Dragon Dances are maxed out, we are going to Earthquake the Spirit Tomb. Earth. Er, fly on the Roserade, fly on the Tokakis, Earthquake the Lucario, Earthquake the Milotic, and Earthquake the Garchomp. Yes. Earthquake should take out Roserade. Yeah, that's true. There's no reason not to Earthquake. It'll just give it more time to figure stuff out. Fly is 100% accuracy. It's it's a really good move in this hack. In the uh, Mogul Platinum. Okay, I'm just gonna double check. You have leftovers, you have a sash. You have a sash, you have leftovers. You have a sash, you have leftovers. Okay. How do you get so many rare candy? You have infinite in this because there's a level cap. I think we're ready. This is it. We didn't lose any Pokemon on the way. First attempt. Will I do it? <sighs> Let's go. One battle left. <sighs> After 60 hours, we're here. A nine hour stream today. This is it. The final battle. My first real Nuzlocke. Sword and Shield doesn't count. <sighs> Thank you for Mount Coronet. That's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. It's time. Superior Tomb. All right, Breadstick, let's see what you freaking got. 
Will-O-Wisp. Come on, Will-O-Wisp. Get stuck on Will-O-Wisp. Let's go! There's a chance that it just spams Will-O-Wisp, because the AI might not be smart enough to recognize a substitute. We're gonna hope that happens. Use Will-O-Wisp again. Come on! No? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Not a big deal. Didn't break the sub? Didn't break the sub? Let's go! It didn't break the sub. Oh, that's so good. Okay. It didn't break the sub again? Oh my god! Bro, this breadstick's a monster, dude! That's three! Okay, it's smart enough. Okay, that has to be it, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but we're back at full health, so we can just sub again. Okay, almost full health. Because now it's just going to Will-O-Wisp, waste its turn, it'll give me a free turn for sub. Or Confuse Ray. No, oh, Dark Balls. What a dummy. Okay. Good. We can take. We know we can take three of them. We need three more Dragon Dances. I'll probably have a sub up as well. Uh, it doesn't look like... Okay, yeah, it looks like Lucario has extreme speed. So we'll need to, we'll need to have a sub up for that. For Lucario's extreme speed. That might break the sub? Is that not the third? Huh. Okay, no, this is... This is this one. Okay, good. Uh, most likely it won't use extreme speed, though. It'll probably use Meteor Mash because it's super effective. Confuse Ray failed. Let's go! Stupid AI, baby! Stupid AI. It... it didn't recognize that I was behind a sub. That's plus six. Okay. It confused rate again. Let's go. We're at full HP. Almost. We will be. We're at plus six. Yeah. Let's earthquake. Let's do it. <sighs> this might not one hit KO. This thing is defensive. I'm at plus six. It has to one hit KO, right? I'm at plus six. Doesn't matter how defensive this thing is. Yeah, okay. Let's go. And we're full health. Left leftovers. Togekiss. Uh, we have to use fly. See ya! Of course. There we go. That should be a one hit KO. I can't imagine it isn't. It's really interesting they sent out Togekiss though. What? It survived? Oh, but it used Thunder Wave. How did it survive? She's gonna use an item. No, she didn't. Hmm. That must have been the lowest of low rolls. It's bold. Yeah, I guess it's bold. That's true. It is Thunder Wave and Roost. That's true. I, I don't have any attack investment, it's true. Now that scares me. This is Surf, Ice Beam, Recover, and Hypnosis. It Ice Beam's here. If it survives. It shouldn't, right? It's Calm. Is Calm physically defensive? <gasps> 
Okay, we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go. Common special defense? Okay. It's fine if we level up. It's totally fine if we level up. Uh, this has extreme speed. I don't think it'll use it, though. I'm pretty sure it's going to try and use Meteor Mesh. Yeah, it used Meteor Mesh. Because <laughs> it didn't hit me. Okay. Ooh. Leveling up during the battle is totally fine. Not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna Earthquake just so this Roserade doesn't have a chance to do anything. I'm not gonna fly. It doesn't have Poison Point. It has Technician, but just in case. Just in case! That should KO. There's no shot that doesn't, right? We just- we, we took out the- the bulky Pokemon was the Togekiss. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I think there's only one left, right? It's just Garchomp! It's just Garchomp! Let's go! Come on, Earthquake! Let's do it! Breadstick! I think that's it! There's no shot it survives that, right? No! Oh, the idiot. The greed! The greed! The absolute greed from this man! Bro! Sword stance! <laughs> Sword stance! This freaking guard chomp, dude. Get a higher roll this time, Breadstick. Come on, finish it off. We still have speed. Yeah, we're good. First try! First try! Let's go! I did it! No deaths in the, in the Pokemon League? The most powerful of all the trainers. Let's go! Finally! 60 hours! Let's go! Let's go! I'm just gonna scroll, just give me a sec. Small Ant couldn't beat my ROM hack, guys. It's too hard for him. Where's the scroll? It's too hard for him. It's too hard for him. I just did a first try. That was my first time doing a Nuzlocke, too. I, well, okay, I did one in Pokemon, uh, freaking... I did one of Pokemon Sword and Shield, but that game's so easy it doesn't count. Let's go! <laughs> the Ludlock is done. We get to unban everyone now. All right, all 13 of you. Right? I don't know. We'll unban during the credits, I suppose. I don't know. Anyways. Let me see, let me see all the bands. All the bands here. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. 16 of you. Let's go. Ludwig. Thank you so much for the raid 60 hours ago.
In stream time, at least. Every Wednesday. Um, Ludwig said I couldn't beat his, his, his Ludlock. But here we are. At the end of my first attempt. Of my first Ludlock. And I did it. Let's go. Thank you for the gift subs, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. I've been streaming for nine hours. But I'm just gonna unban everyone. Here we go. Good job. Thank you. That was longer than I expected. I really didn't want to mess it up, so by the end, like, literally, we spent four or five hours preparing for the stupid Elite Four and stuff. But... Everything went pretty much perfectly. Had a few deaths along the way, but, you know, never any close calls. Here's how we did it with Breadstick to level 79 Altaria. Munch, our starter, level 78. Stitched the last of the whole time. Luckiest, also level 78. Jubilife, right at the start of the game. Of course, Wish Cash, Pancake, Ravage Path. It's pretty good. Way better than I expected. RX! Wayward Cave. That was a static encounter. And, uh, our sixth Gyarados, who didn't do anything. It was just there. Techno... It was there for support. Techno support, I guess. There you go. It lines up. And that's a sick team. 136 in-game hours. Let's go! Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the sprite. Let's ignore that. We did it. And everyone... ...is getting unbanned. Unban! Scorpius. Did it work? I can't even tell. The chat is scrolling so fast, I don't know if that unban worked. Unban! Shit. uh, sh Shiny Metang! Unban! Lostish! Unban! T dot dubs! Unban! Mothaldus! Mothatus! Unban! Fantry! One of the earlier Gyaradoses! Unban! Stack! Another Gyarados! <laughs> we got so many stupid Gyaradoses. <laughs> Unban! Lucky Owl749. Unban! SlyFan64. Unban! Pulse Panic. Only a few left. Unban. Mr. Fancy. A Slowpoke. A shiny one. Unban Nixus, the Metagross. That was so heartbreaking when you went. Nixus, my heart was broken. Rio Blitzel. A another Gyarados. Comeback. Timinator, our first death, I believe, the Elekid. I just I just let it die because I thought I was prepared for the battle. Coda, the Piplup! Uh I didn't think a Mareep had a, an electric move, and then it did. Insanity, probably the most heartbreaking of deaths, the Infernape. He got hit with a fake out. And did not need to die. Welcome back, everybody. Let me finish the prediction off. Prediction! Will he beat the game? The answer was obviously yes. There's your payout. Yes, I beat the game. Welcome back, everyone. And thanks for watching. This was fun. I'm never gonna do another Nuzlocke again. They just take too long.
So welcome to the only Nuzlocke you'll ever see from me. But that's it! That's all I got for you guys. I see a ton of subs, a ton of bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That is a large number. 25,000 bits from Microrific though. Oh my god. Nice job. Th thank you. So much, Microrific. Good to see you back. I'm fantastic. And the next Pokemon challenge. I gotta come up with something new. Because this took so long, we've had... We've had some ideas. We got some really cool things coming up. Um... The next Pokemon challenge I'll be doing... I'm not sure if it's finished yet. I'm not sure which generation it's gonna be. I don't know if I want to announce it. I don't know. We'll be doing something new and exciting next Wednesday, though. I can guarantee that. It'll either be a, my first playthrough of XD Gale of Darkness, or a Pokemon playthrough, where you can only use each move once. Not possible? We're gonna find out. Anyways. That's it. That's all. I gotta go fix my car, so uh, it's 11pm. So I'm gonna have to go. But thanks so much for watching. We're gonna raid someone. Who should we raid? I don't know. Uh, let me look who's live. Who is live? Who is live? Uh, let's raid someone new, maybe, huh? Someone playing Pokemon? Who seems cool? I stopped by someone's stream the other day that was playing Pokemon. Who were they? Uh, I don't know. No. Did we win? We did win. Yes. I don't know. Switch? Yeah, you know what? Switch is really nice. We'll raid Switch. Thanks for watching. Raid Ludwig? He raided me! <laughs> But we're done. Feels good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Playing 3D Land for the first time ever. Mario 3D Land. Yeah. But that's it. That's all I got. See ya. Ooh. Do do do.